Man, we're so badass. Look at us go. I'm sure this is very fresh in your memory, Jerry. <laughs> you literally just completed this part. By the way, I'm waiting, Cloud. I also have this. <laughs> I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. Just in case I need it. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a Jesus. statement declaring the tornado Oh my god! Weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. Weather warfare? The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai. And it's of course, of course. Wutai just get blamed for everything, don't they? <laughs> They're literally just minding their business. <laughs> this is Zack's timeline slash world slash dimension. Right? They just casted wind, Aroga. That was just an Aroga spell. <laughs> the dog! I saw the dog! Stamp! of the expressway search and rescue operations are already in progress we still have one soldier right that soldier armed with a foster sword highly dangerous oh oh fugitive is an ex soldier armed with a foster sword Zach's like ayo that's me that's me he's talking about <laughs> not you Zach not you oh my god Barrett the rescue team has pulled Tifa. people from the rubble Oh no! <laughs> so I was like, I know what I'm gonna do. Excuse me, could you look after my friend just for a bit? Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. 
<laughs> oh. do anything. I can't like attack boxes. I can't. Is that gameplay right off the bat though? But I can't. I can't attack anything. An ex soldier is working with avalanche. Uh oh. Armed with a buster sword. Uh. Uh. Zach's like, hey yo, why are they mad at me? Make sure the mud's not a problem. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god, no! I don't want to move forward. They're, they're pointing their guns at him. Get away from her. Yeah, let's go, let's go to save him. Oh my god! I'm <laughs> fucking screaming, what? This is so crazy! Ooh! Zach can kick him! Shit! Oh yeah, we need activating combat mode. It, it feels wrong without it. Oh, uh, uh, um. I'm not sure that was the best idea either, but that's not the, that's not the helicopter that had Barra and Tifa in it, was it? Was that, was that, did, that wasn't... That wasn't... Holy shit, Chad moved though. <gasps> run, Zach, run! Wait, is he... Is he... We can save him too! Can't we try and see Red too? <laughs> They'll never see us here. Oh my god, we're jumping straight to this! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My heart is like really, it's like raising a lot right now. Like I need a second before we jump into this. Before we jump straight to Nibelheim. Oh my god. Wait, I need more context. 
for everything that just happened. Is Red alive? Did Zack take down the helicopter with Bart and Tifa in it? Like... Oh my god, why did they cut it off there? That's so much. That's so much. <laughs> Who's cutting onions? Yeah. Game's not pulling any punches. Guys, how are we feeling after that intro? How is Zach finding Aerith in the introduction? <sighs> Man. <sighs> deep breaths, guys, deep breaths. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Why didn't we see a red too? That's hard to watch, man. That was so... That was... What an opener. Let's see how it goes. Stoked to see how it fold, unfolds. Me too. Me too. Should we do Nibelheim, guys? I think... I think... I, I'm open to doing it. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's... No worries, I say, Birdie. Music. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. The little there was. It was boring I'm shitting myself. <laughs> wasn't in then, out of nowhere, the job of a yeah, we could speed run. A mission. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. You can only skip the Mako vacuum parts. Oh, really? Oh, then I'm happy with that. Maybe we'll just skip the Mako vacuum parts. Oh, I thought you skipped the whole thing. It's really coming down, huh? If it's only in the Maku, Maku vacuum, then I'm okay with it. Oh, good. We're not here to speedrun. It's true. We are here to take in everything there is to take in from this game, guys. Truly. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Genki Claude is back. <laughs> Genki Clyde. Hey, rain it in. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is so cursed. <laughs> no, that yeah. Like Those NPCs, they're not important. Don't worry about it. Don't look at them. Gigs, you can let me off right here. Particularly that one that is uh, motion sick. He's the most unimportant of them do? all. Come on, a ceasefire with you. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join soldier to be an errand boy. Zach's literally like, I, I wanted to kill like you. some Wu Tang soldiers. <laughs> well, I mean, Clyde. Is to serve a rundown reactor. Freudian slip. Another one of those Turks gigs. Bro, watch one movie a minute. His entire personality. Listen, this is why I can relate to Clyde because that's literally me. <laughs> When I find a special interest, it becomes my entire personality, too. The difference between us is... Claude's special interest is, uh... Dark-haired twinks. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, I, sheet music. Should we try the piano, guys? I practiced a little bit. Let's go, Sefi! Scooby, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. Sephiroth is so freaking awesome. It's so it's so um, interesting to see him before he turns so evil. <laughs> Literally like night and day. Even though he still looks kind of evil, he still got that evil boy design. But he's still kind. <laughs> Sephiroth redemption arc, perhaps. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be completely against it. I mean, there are multiple Sephiroths. One of them is going to be a good guy still. No need to rush any part of it. So true. Dark-haired 
two wings, Tifa? <laughs> Wait, I don't think I I don't think she could be a twink. In a different league from the rest of us. In twink lore, I don't think Tifa could be a twink. Could she? Guys, can you update me on twink lore? I'm pretty sure twink is for. That's where they built the first reactor. Boys only. No. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was It's okay. Tifa could be an honorary twink. And the whole village was up in arms. <laughs> Talk of strange new She's Twinkle. Mountain, oh, so cute. People were scared. Desperate. She's only got one materia. The villagers to take care of the Is that because I don't have two materia so equipped good. in there? You ended up calling Shimmer. So the company sent help. Best they had. Fanboy Tifa <laughs> alternate universe. Let's go. Even Clyde's she facial expressions are very jarring. My father. Oh, there. Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. In um, Ever Crisis First Soldier storyline. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Um, Alexander, the mayor here. Sephiroth carries around a photo of Lucrezia. To, uh, welcome you to our humble and calls town. and he thinks Please, her name is Genova. It's actually really fucked up when you think about it. He has a picture of Lucrezia that he carries around Consider with him. yourself off duty till sundown. And yeah, he he. Thinks that's his mother, but he thinks her name is Genova. No, I'm pretty sure that uh, Sephiroth sleeps in the fetal position, so his feetsies don't hang off the bottom. He's scared of the monsters, so he curls up into a ball. And then his little fox tail curls around him. So this part we cannot skip, huh? All children, return to your homes. His dad is an a-hole, true. I, I, I still need to know what Hojo had going on to have Lucrezia pick him over Vincent. Like he must have he must have had some the D must have been fire. <laughs> because what? <laughs> Peach noted him up. Oh! <laughs> Filling you in with the Final Fantasy lore. Um, as far as Ever Crisis First Soldier goes, I haven't actually completed it. Um... So I don't know all the ins and outs about it, but I'm I'm working through it. It's it's kind of difficult because my characters in Ever Crisis are not that strong. Can the giveaway next giveaway be for the Dombe Udon? Can I buy it? Hmm. A soldier. I can if I can purchase it, I will, and I'll give it away. Richard Sanya, a humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. This is Tifa's martial arts teacher. This is where she learned to be a fighty pow pow girl with this guy. Zangam. Also talks a little bit about him in Ever Crisis. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Feel up that twink. <laughs> Don't be 
The game audio dropped a bit? At last count, 128. Hmm, I'm not sure how to turn that up. In fact, one of them from this very Lou, do you know how I would turn up the game? Will you open Tifa's wardrobe again? Tifa. Sure. I might. Talent, that one. I might. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? Lou, do you know how I, I can turn know. up the game? For everybody? I don't want you guys to be forced to read subtitles, especially if you need to, like, step away. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boys, so take your pick. You'll find them just up... Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've all even only a couple of years. Per Clyde. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Is this just, like, what Clyde wishes people would say to him? You know? This is what he, like, was hoping that one day, if he came home as a soldier, people would say about him. Wow, Clyde, you look so... It's like, it's also, it's quite a childish interpretation of how people would react, right? I wonder if that's on purpose. Like, people being like, wow, Cloud, like, you look so good. Wow, look at you, Mr. Big Shot. Like, it's almost like, like a childish thing. And then everyone clapped. Do you know what I mean? I wonder if that's intentional. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not! <laughs> I won't be mean to Tifa. I will be taking the Aerith route, of course. But I don't be mean to Tifa. With this, you I think it shows you what the affection rating is. So, like, I should be able to get the affection rating that I want while still being nice to everybody. Uh, nostalgic, I guess. After two years away, you know that. Uh -huh. Bees means that's what uh <laughs> my brother when he was like really young he used to say Sufi bees means to me. <laughs> so I've kept saying it <laughs> for the rest of my life. Bees means. I want bees means. <laughs> Sophie bees means to me. <laughs> Vermilion, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. Tifa's sitting there knowing the truth. Yeah. You went to my place? <laughs> This is so messed up, this part. Why does she have to... <laughs> Why does she have to call us I She's like, um... Clyde, this part of the story is really weird. <laughs> Remember my cat? Her name was... Coolest Peach Milky Stress. Peach Milky Stress. Peach Milky Stress. Extremely creepy. And then, uh, like... Okay, if we look through her stuff, you could omit that part, Clyde. Like, you could omit that part of the story. Clyde, no one liked you. Oh, poor Clyde, man. Ah, bless his cotton socks. You went into my room. Ah! Ah! Don't admit it, Clyde. You went through my stuff. Don't admit it, Clyde. Don't. You know what? My second playthrough, uh, or I played this demo twice, and on the second time, I was not on stream, and I chose the no. I was making a joke. And they still got mad at me. <laughs> they're still... They're still mad at me. Maru? 
Mudder. Mudder is cuter than Fluffy. Fluffy's a very lazy man. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I was I'll let you guys hear this dialogue. It's pretty funny too. If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Ah! I know you better than <laughs> Damned if you do, you damned if you don't! Stuff? Oh we can do both. I know I should. I love that Barrett says nothing this time. Okay, okay, okay. Did you okay. play it? Went to time on it. On second thought, yes, I did. We. I don't think that changes the relationship. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, I can't... Oh! It doesn't give me the song. Eh. It does in the OG game. Is it negative if you look through her stuff? I guess it is, right? Yama, ohayou gozaimasu! Ahiya gozaimasu! Hi. You didn't pick it up yet? Oh. Wait, can I pick it up in Nibelheim or... No sheet music for this part? That might have been a demo only thing, but why would they put the piano here if you cannot play it at all, even in the main game? Surely. Where do you learn to do that? Uh, I didn't hey, do anything. You gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a Merkel Minute Dallas. Wasn't it near the piano? I'm pretty sure in the, it's demo only. Later in the game. Ah, okay. No. Yeah, I can't pick up any of this stuff. And, um, in the demo, I didn't need to pick anything up. It was just there. So, I guess... Cannot. Tifa has a big bedroom. Just play it without the sheet. <laughs> um, sure. Okay, uh... Oh, I need to go to Clyde's house. That was Tifa's house. Then I stop on my Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Fine. Tifa's so like, um... I want to hear what you have to say, liar. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. I'll be right there. Claude and Claudia look exactly Come alike. In. Let me get a good look at you. My my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could get your shoes off the bed, Clyde! When you're being a silly goose. Clyde feet. Why are we being deprived of Clyde feet? He's on the bed with his shoes on, his dirty shoes that he was they wearing out there. Properly, aren't they? 
We demand clawed feet immediately. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons are that most of the this is where Sephiroth is, huh? Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. I wish at? I had a home time. <laughs> it's not fair. I want a home time. This landscape. I could swear I've seen it before. Mm. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. We'll do. It's true, Scoot. It's true. She's proud of him no matter what. I saw like a TikTok that was like <laughs> Tifa while listening to Clyde's retelling of the Nibelheim incident mentioning about how <laughs> Sephiroth was calling him a puppy. <laughs> She'd be looking at him like <laughs> I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? Then Sephiroth called me a little puppy, and our swords yeah, touched. I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there? That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. Tifa can just call him out, but yes, sir. that would ruin the game. <laughs> She's doing it for the plot. I must insist that I take you Let's appreciate her efforts. Tifa. Eee, so you cute. Back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going and that's that. Be Tifa was so sassy when she was younger. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. Look at the size difference, the height difference. So adorable. You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. <laughs> For a posterity, sir? Not today. You talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Na, 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 na. Before, you know, the trauma. Thanks. Say cheese. Sounds like you were having a good time. <laughs> yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Sephiroth is like six, seven, I think. He's the same height as Barrett, I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah. Oh, I can actually like break stuff this time. This is one thing I don't like when you're going directions you're not supposed to go. It makes you walk. I wish it would just tell me you can't go here. So then I don't waste my time. Just 
put an invisible wall. It's fine. I would rather an invisible wall. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time. Han Solomon, thank you so much for this sub. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome, welcome. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. Trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. He's practicing social distancing. <laughs> Show us that photo, right? Where is it? Does Tifa have it? Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? I guess it was for like a local newspaper or something, or just for them to put up. Even so. You'll burn yourself out running like that. This I'm music, man, it right gets now. me. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. Actually, that would have been pretty good if Sephiroth stopped you. He's like, where are you going? Stop that. Shh. We got Sephiroth. It's Seen fine. Near the village and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. <laughs> then they're all yours. Copy that. To tech class sword holding the button daylight. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, the photo is proof what he said wrong. Exactly, exactly. Oh, first trophy unlocked? Staggering learned. Ooh, staggering. I got this. I don't know what that one is. You think? If this is how it's going to be. It doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Uh, to be fair, Tifa's hiding a lot of stuff pretty well at this stage. Oh, we can skip the macro reactor investigation and resume play from the village. Note that skipping will not affect gameplay. Skip to the village. Skip to the village. What? How much does it skip? I guess we see him burning down the village, huh? And Jill was already dead at this point in the story. Yes. He died and became a weird ass angel dog thing. I totally forgot about that until I played Crisis Core Reunion and I was like, oh my god, why is that a thing? I'm here on my sea of game. Hmm. Okay, we'll skip through it, I guess. Since it's just the macro reactor section. We'll find out. Okay, okay. Yes, this makes sense. Okay, this is a good place for it to jump ahead to. For context, for anyone that doesn't know, uh... We climbed up the mountain, one, one of our infantry guys died, ripped to him. Don't worry, the NPCs are not important anyway, so we don't care. Um, both of them are very unimportant. Then uh, Sephiroth is like, oh my god, they're growing weird uh, monster alien things in this lab. Oh my god, I think I came from one of these weird monster alien things. Oh my god, I'm one of them. And then has a mental breakdown. Okay, that's all you need to know. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Looking for Sephiroth? 
He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Mm -hmm. Several. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Hope you have a meteor? We have what? Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Nothing. Everything was great and fine and daddy. He pulled up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Okay, we still get to see all this part, so that's good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No worries, David. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out today. Yeah, it's not a super big skip. It's just the gameplay section, really. The important parts, the, uh, the important story beats are still here, so that's pretty good, I think. The Shinra Mansion! Wait, I might explore a little bit, because I remember in the demo there wasn't really anything around, but maybe it's different in the game. Oh my goodness gracious me! Um, I guess I can jump up here. That was a big jump. I just want to check and make sure that there's no, like, treasure lying around. Secret boxes with mega potions. Parkour. Do a little quick little bit of parkour while I'm at it, you know. Man, I can't believe we can't go up the spiral staircase. I want to go up it! Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. I ruined every table so then I parkoured up the fence then I jumped on then I jumped and kicked over a couple tables smashed a few plates then I ran around in circles um <laughs> and then I took the elevator you know never knew it had a basement it was news to me too the thing about it is, in the OG, the basement is kind of hidden in the mansion, right? But in this version, it's just an elevator that takes you to the basement. And the elevator has a big glowing light. So it's like, how could anyone not know that it was there? I feel like, how, how could they not see that elevator? <laughs> right? In the OG game, like, the, you know, it's kind of hidden away. Because you have to go up the stairs and, like... Do a little puzzly puzzle to figure out how to open it but in this it's just an elevator like right there by the entrance so it's like damn the door is locked oh no what is in here i need to get in here for reasons i need to get in here right now yeah i can understand why i guess because at this point it's like it's just about the um, the story, but they could have at least put it up the spiral staircase. Life form and stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. He did. -E 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, -E 913 Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. 
He's brooding, Clyde. You can't interfere. It's a canon event. You can't interfere. That was it. <gasps> J-Rex, happy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth release day. Welcome on in. How are you feeling today? Excited? I know I am. God, is such a reliable narrator. Oh my god. The elevator was never there. Clyde lied. We got you, Nova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Don't forget that. His voice totally changes. Fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. So I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey! Hold on! Oh! keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. And this is where shit hits the fan. What? Oh, I remember this being so painful to play through the first time. Here we go, Nibelheim guys. Hey, you. Get in the villagers need your help. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Nibelheim is cooked quite literally. Literally cooked.
check on mom. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh it was him alright. Oh my gosh. I'm kinda wondering if they fixed that weird glitched guy near this part. There's a part where a guy runs out of this uh, door, at least in the demo, and then he just kind of like walks nonchalantly. It's very uh, odd. <laughs> I wonder if that's been fixed. Smell of burning tragedy, it certainly is. Someone in this village said, Let him cook. One of you said it. Oh, that guy. No, it's still, he's still chilling. <laughs> that guy's breaking the atmosphere. Oh gosh. Go Clyde, go Clyde. Go Clyde, hurry. He's like, what's going on you guys? The firebenders attacked. That guy's like, what am I even doing here? He has like dementia or something. Bless his soul. Bless his cotton socks. Mom. Jesus. There goes the water tar. Please. Please be okay. Jesus, look at the house, man. There's no way. Look at the windows. Tifa's house, too. Security officer, huh? That security officer is also looking for his mom. What a coincidence. What a coincidence that I, Claude, and the security officer are also looking for our moms. What Clyde Steve Clyde Strife needed more trauma. Don't worry. I got you. Come on, let's get you up. Bro, I hope I hope that Rude has some Tifa simping moments. Like I really, really do. <laughs> the fact that he has a crush on her is like the cutest thing from OD. It's like so random. It's so random. But I love it. I also had canon that Reno has a cross on Aerith. Uh, because in Remake, he was, whenever Claude was like, oh, I'm her bodyguard, and then uh, Reno during the battle is like, I'm her bodyguard too, you know? What's he, what's he jealous about? What? And calls her princess, so that those are all the crumbs I need. <laughs> those are all the crumbs I need. Hopefully we get some rude... What's the rude tea for ship name? Rude tea crumbs. I just need one crumb, that's all I need. A singular crumb. Wait, I should be focusing on what's about to happen here. <laughs> Shoot, my guy! 
die! Shit! Shit! Uh. Sephiroth gets some bad news and has to make it everybody else's problem, huh? God damn you, Sephi. I'm gonna turn the sound up a little bit, guys. Let me know I followed if it sounds better. The back to the reactor. If the sound levels are okay. Dad and I had gone there to hide. But Sephiroth showed up. Dad decided. Oh no, Tifa's dad. Didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> mm. Don't do it, Tifa! <laughs> sword is like three times the height of her. We get blood in this camp? Oh. You promised you'd save me. If I was ever... To be fair, taking on Sephiroth, Tifa got out pretty, pretty well. He be slicing people's throats like butter. Maybe there was still a bit of humanity in there? Here I am, your son. Mother, 
Together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the Oh, planet. he's really lost it. Your planet. Oh, he's lost it. But there's no need to be sad, mother. Oh, he's gone. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. my mom you killed Tifa my village my home <laughs> they were mine by right this planet too for I have been chosen I believed in you no not you! Whoever the hell you are! Get him, Clyde! Get him! convenient high convenient that's all you can remember <laughs> i'm all right thank you I so remember. much for the sub welcome the rest is a blank the hell it is what happened it was all over the news i remember watching it with my mom they said he went missing during a training exercise but then the story changed a couple days later they started reporting that he was killed in action yeah that was it the news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbass Hell yeah! Need that shit. Hell yeah! So, does that make me a dumbass? Oh! Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I meant was, screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. <laughs> oh my god. Look at Barrett's fears! Look at Barrett's fears! He's like, I didn't mean it like that! Oh my god! This is why she's the goat! She's too freaking cute! Look at Barrett! Okay, Barrett Aerith interactions are gonna be amazing. I'm ready for it. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. Mm hmm. But why come back now? After five years doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Me too, me too. Oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was gonna joke. Oh my 
my god, Tifa should give her a massage. It, oh my god, I was gonna, let's go, let's go. Top tier. <gasps> you weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. <gasps> Are you joking me? No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Okay. The girls are gonna go back to their room to give each other massages? In oil? Oh, no, you don't. That bed's <sighs> mine. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Tomorrow. Nanaki. Oh, poor Barrett. Wait, Barrett doesn't get the bed. Oh my god, feet! <laughs> hey, Eric? You awake? Wait, we can get air tea. Barely. Feet, Why? but not Cloud feet. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. Hmm? All that stuff was taken from me, though. Hmm? Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Oh my god, the girls, the girls, the girls! You know what, it makes total sense that Tifa would tell this to Aerith. Like, girl talk, like, it makes so much sense. And it wow. makes sense that she would at least tell yeah. someone. Oh my god, is she gonna confront him now? Let's have a little look at sleeping Nanaki. Kitty. 10 out of 10 kitty right there. Oh my god, another 10 out of 10 kitty over here. <laughs> For Barrett. He doesn't get to sleep on the bed. Bless him. He's so tall that he cannot like sleep lying down on the sofa. He has to sleep sitting up. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. We're doing this not I don't know. I mean Oh You again. What are you doing back here? Oh my god. Oh I killed her. So who is she? Oh oh I see what he's trying to do. Oh he's trying to fuck around. Oh he's trying to mess around. He's trying to make Clyde not trust Tifa. Wait, where did she go? Tifa? Wait, what? Tifa was here a second ago. Where did she go? Oh, 
Oh wait, she's over there. But wait, I want to go talk to that guy first. I feel like I'll miss something if I skip it. Let me go talk to this guy first, then I'll go up and talk to Tifa. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting Killing up perhaps? Nova, thank you so if much so, for the I five months. Welcome back. Oh, I do I need a stretch. For the company once upon a time. Thank you. And my bodies never let me forget it. Ah. Uh, oh. Roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders. Ah, oh, it feels good. It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. Might I suggest retiring to your room for the evening? Sorry. I feel like I'm supposed to know who that is, but I can't remember. Who's playing jazz at this time of the night? Isn't everyone asleep? Someone's in their room playing jazz. You know, there always seem to be people that go to hostels and play their instrument. It's like, what are you doing? Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Oh shit, okay. We're just gonna say it. Saw no holding mind. back, guys. Yeah. All the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? Okay. Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? Why can't we see? After you left, Zongan found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? <gasps> and Whoa. Fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Claude, what are you doing? Scar. <laughs> Tifa flashed in Booba and Clyde looked away. Clyde was literally like, uh. <laughs> Damn it, Clyde. You're never escaping the zero Riz allegations. You're never escaping them. <laughs> right, exactly. You done gift, Clyde, you done gift. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Oh. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Damn. I 
guys to leave them alone for now. Dom Clyde, once again, messing it up. Not even trying. He didn't even try. No. How do you know? We Can he hear everything? Problems as it is. Copy. Take the shoes nice. off, Clyde. The shoes off. That's what we want to see. Tomorrow is another day. Thank you for your wisdom, Nanaki. Everyone left already? Red is the wise one. I can't wait to spend more time with Red, I have to say. He's so cute. Cosmo Canyon is in this game. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Oh. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Oh! Let's go! It's a children's card game. You cannot play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players. Um, around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, you'll often give you new cards to add to your collection. Defeating players will also give you an opportunity to fight other opponents in different times. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks from the main menu. Finally, guys, we're getting into the real gameplay. The real meat and potatoes of this game. This, this is where we're going to be spending our time. I can promise you that. I'm assuming Queen's Blunt is kind of like Triple Triad? No? Yes? Okay. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board uh, in one of three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on the highlighted tiles adorned with Emerald Pawn. Uh, okay. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, this is not making any sense yet. Once your card is placed, its part is added to your land total. Okay. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles of emerald pawns in which you can place cards. The yellow number on the top right corner of the card is its par. Okay. While the positions a card will add to the board are indicated in the yellow squares in the graph. Yep. Got it. My turn. Okay. Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Okay. What? This is a lot. Perfect time for a card game. <clears throat> when one of your card's position tiles overlaps with a position you control, uh, the position rank rises. As there are two pawns in the tile now, the position rank is two. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of this icon, the top left of the corner, yep. You'll have to raise the rank of your positions. Okay. Uh, don't really know what I'm doing. As you know how I have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card on it. Okay. When one of your card's positions overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position as yours. Ah... I think it is kind of like Triple Triad, but a little more convoluted. When your card position overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position is yours. That claiming a position will not raise its rank. Okay. That makes sense. Damn, okay. You can keep track of who is winning a land by looking at the point total on each side of the board. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. 
You notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are the tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities. And a mouse par in a more lands than your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you can pass with triangle. Okay. Uh, I think we just have to keep pushing the lands, right? Is it just we just keep pushing until we take over their side? Crystal and Crab. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tile by two by while this card is in play. I don't know if that was the right thing today. Yeah, I'm still a little bit confused, not gonna lie. I'm not really sure how I win exactly yet. How do I win? My opponent's not really doing anything. Oh, do we have to fill the board and then whoever has the most numbers at the end wins? Nope, I guess not. Oh, okay. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabu- Ah, okay, okay. Only the player with a higher number in a, in a lane has the par added to the score. Okay, in other words, no matter how high your par in a lane might be, it's less than your opponent's par in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. After calculating the winner for each lane, and the lane scores, the player with the higher total score wins. Oh, okay, okay. I see. So we have to build up the numbers for each lane, and then at the end, you see who wins. Okay, it kind of makes sense. That concludes Queen's Blood tutorial. You can add more cards to your collection by winning them and other players. Yeah. Cool, okay. Let's try it. Let's try it on some actual uh, players out there. Pay to win game. <laughs> kinda is, kinda is, it's fine. Oh my god, is there a gacha? Queen's blood gacha? Let's go. Hopefully you can get some nice uh, pretty cards. That would be good. No, I play 200 hours of it, let's go. Oh, this is my room. This is it. That's This is the gameplay. This is the gameplay we came for. I mean, I did hear a lot of people that did reviews on this game saying Queen's Blood was really fun, so I am excited to try it out. All things considered. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh. But Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Yes, to me! Adjust your party's gear by accessing material equipment. Yeah. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Excuse yeah. me? What did you, what you call me? You might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh, wait, there's someone that I could play Queen's Blood with over here, I think. Oh, he's outside. Uh, I want to play, but what if I lose? Finally. Red! Rough day yesterday, huh? Ah, so cute. You've been waiting for me? <laughs> I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. <laughs> Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. <laughs> Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yeah! So cute! I love him! Oh. Uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Finally. Sure thing. Finally, we're getting some red content. He was shafted in Advent Children. I don't understand. Hmm. Well, he gets like one way. line in the whole movie. One line in the whole movie, goddammit. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skill and abilities you will be able to will be available in your folios. Cool. If you lose, blame it on Zach's deck. <laughs> Poor Zach. He's getting the blame for everything. Just go up and challenge someone. Yeah. Oh, bless him. What do you want? Don't scare me like that. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. <laughs> oh, God, this is too much. Yes, that's Germa. Yeah, that's Germa. That's a Germa reference. Yes, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the only deck I have, so it's fine. Start the match, yes. This is all I have. If you don't like some of the cards that you've drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. Oh, If you cannot play high rank cards right away, it's often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. Okay. Select the card you wish to mulligan. Oh, okay. How do I confirm my choice? I select this one, then what? Oh, just play. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, I see. If it's high rank, you can't use it right away. Why not? Oh. Ah, okay. Wait, I am a little confused. Why can't I use a high rank card right away? Needs two of the pawns. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, so the pawns are not what is counted. It's the the number in the top right corner, right? Okay. Okay, starting to make sense of it, slowly, slowly. Um. Ooh, I'll still only have three here, but I'll have five there. 
Let's try this. He's winning the top land by far, but... Shit! Now he's also winning the bottom land. Or, we're tied for the bottom land. It's pretty fun, actually. No! Damn. Okay. Uh-oh. He might win. No! My turn. Okay. There. Surely it's game over now, right? Okay, I lost the top land, but the other two should be fine. Yeah! Let's go! You need to stack pawns to use the higher level monsters and grind on the cards and grind on the cards to show which base it adds pawns to. Grind on the cards to show which space it adds pawns to? What do you mean? Oh god! I love it. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like <laughs> a game dude. of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Jeez. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. Oh, the it's grid. All over your face. And the grid on Trust the me. card shows which spaces it adds pawns you to. You really ought to try it. Right. Tifa. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Are we friends again? Are we friends again? Any other Mako tank, the water tower, and Nibelheim? Ah! It's time! It's kind of like the water tower and Nibelheim. Why is it time so quickly? Weird to think how much it meant to me. Pod's affection affects his relationships with his allies, and the strength of his bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view comrades' feelings towards Clyde as indicated symbols. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Tifa's not happy with me. She has a blank face. Who's this guy? Bless, bless. Kick her ass with that card game. Tifa, let's play. Let's play. Tifa, to settle our differences, I challenge you to a children's card game. No? My washing machine's given up the ghost. You don't think it's got something to do with the drop in my We're not going to be mean to Tifa. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to anybody. I don't think I got minus affection points, surely. Uh, surely, if you say, if you say, it's just another water tar, that would be minus affection points, right? Right? I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? Pretty boy. Let me introduce you to Nene, master ventriloquist. Now she ain't much Nene. of a talker, but give her a deck of cards and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. <laughs> These card you game NPCs have so much personality. <laughs> yes, let's go, let's fight. We got this. Okay, high ranking cards we should put away. Uh, we don't have any high ranking cards, so let's just go. My turn first. Yeah. Okay. You have a tier 3 card there? Yeah. Oh, that counts as a high ranking one? Uh, I see. 
Whoops. It's fine. We can maybe use it later. The more pawns it requires, the higher the rank. I see, I see. Ah, so I need three pawns to play this one. Sugar. How do I get three pawns? Are stacking cards using their grid? These are not stacked. Once I've laid down a card hard, I know what its grid looks like for stacking. I was sleeping myself for it. <laughs> PC release? Might be a while, might be a while. Check the card before placing it. But, yeah, I, the only part I'm not really understanding is the, um, to double up the pawns. Because how do I know if it's overlapping or not? Why can't I put this one down up there? Because it's rank 2. I'll learn as I go. I'll learn as I go. I think I win. I didn't... We were drawing on that one. I win anyway. Hehe. <laughs> Ooh. Cactua, raise the power of ally cards on the affected tiles by three while this card is in play. Nice. Okay. Okay, so all the cards have special abilities as well that we need to keep up with. You can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a Jinky, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid. He got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. <laughs> I love that all the NPCs have so much personality. I feel like there's gonna be some fan favorite card game players. It says to fight three people, but I can only see two. there mister seen plenty of action by the look of it but saying that it's still only a shadow of what it could be with a little love that baby will sing if oh. you like i could show you joey wheeler hey joey wheeler was literally the best character in that show i loved joey wheeler so much adjust your weapon skills by upgrade weapons in the main menu raise your character's weapon level skills to unlock more of these skills Changing characters' weapons will not reset this level. Oh, okay, that's useful. Uh, let's skip the tutorial. See what I tell you. I'm sure it'll be fine. Singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. 
Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Okay. Many of the merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check often. Awesome, okay. How much gil do we have right now? Peach milky granola, peach milky granola. I think we've only got 2,000 gil. Frostfang, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Yakuza, like a baby dragon featuring Joey Wheeler. Oh my goodness. I remember that too. I mean, I guess I'll come back when I have a little more gil. I'll come back when I've got more gil. I f it feels kind of pointless Take to do it now. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been known. I know. Yeah, I'll come back and buy stuff later. Wow. Okay, Kam is pretty big. It definitely wasn't this big before. Wow. Ooh, look at the Moogle! I want one! Oh my goodness, look at this! Is it Daifuku? Moogle Daifuku? How cute! I want one! I want some! Oh, is there someone I need to talk to over here? Hello, and welcome to my humble shop! Okay, this is where we get our items. I already have five of these. I'll buy an antidote because probably we're... You know what? Probably we're going to need a few of those. Um, And a phoenix stone for good measure. Healing material. We've got all of this material, so we don't need to buy any more of it. Steel material I do not have. I should buy one. It might come in handy. Oh, and queen's blood. Queen's blood decks. We can get those later. Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to go to the gold saucer. You just reminded me. Gold saucer? Yeah. I want to play all of the mini games for sure. Apparently there's a lot. So I'm excited. Aha. Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up. Hey, don't call me, I. Right? Yeah. Clyde's sleeping so in. what you been doing? Very in character. I'm waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Yes. 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 Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. So cute. Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. Oh my I'll god. Oh my god, she's paying? Ayo, of course she would pay. <laughs> She's paying to take him on. Let's go, Aerith. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not taking her on a date. She's taking me on a little date. Let's go. Let's go. Jinku, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back. This shop's so cute too. Ooh, it's like a little magic shop. Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit she to pain. one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's She'll show time. us a good time for real. Spend SP. Okay, to get the books, yeah. You skill co cores in a character's folio to increase their stats. Nah, I don't need and to destroy that's it. that's all we can do for now. I want to look at everyone's books. Believe you me, there's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. What'll it be? Cute. Oh, Red has the best book. 
Okay, so this is our skill tree, I guess. Claudia uses Aerith's magic to unleash ranged attack, firework blade. Synergy skill, ranged blade. Form a ranged attack with your partner to activate the sequence. Wait, I thought this was Claude's, but how come this one is... This is... Oh! Oh, this can be either Barret or Red for this one. And Aerith for this one. Okay. I'll, of course, unlock the Aerith Firework Fleet. Not that I'm biased or anything, but I'll unlock that one first. Completely unbiased, random decision. Not like I have a favorite character or anything. Not that I play favorites or anything, but... Air's my favorite. She making bank off those floors. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this town is, guys. Bro, I think I think we should all just live here. We should just stop the story here. We should just go on dates to the clock tower every day and get some Miggle Daifuku, buy some ice cream and uh, live here. I think it's a good idea. Cloud, over here. Ah, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I'm charmed. <laughs> Let's get started then, shall we? <laughs> let's go, let's go! Oh my god! She's so excited! Damn, she's speeding up those stairs! My god, Eris, slow down, please! Damn, she's zooming! She is zooming! She's got the zoomies! She got the zoomies! <sighs> she's just so excited! <laughs> I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. This away. Ah. So adorable. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. The girls know everything. The girls tell she each other something. everything. Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. <laughs> I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Stop ruining the moment! Helicopters! We're trying to have a nice moment. Aerith didn't have any friends when she was growing up either. She knows what it's like. Imagine Aerith and Tifa getting to be friends as kids. Oh my god! Wait! I wanted to live here! I wanted to live here! <laughs> and they were roommates. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. I didn't know we would be chucked into a battle so fast. I didn't prepare. Convenient of them to put a pool there for us. Fortnite? <laughs> battle Royale? There you are. To 
to be fair, the game did tell me to there isn't much get time. ready. We need to get back to the end. What? Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. I didn't get to talk to no Barrett friends. or Red Please. either. This did I miss stuff so already? Can't be better on the right. Then we can see the attack menu and the NPC text. Okay, hold on. I can do that. But it kind of looks like I'm not looking at the game anymore. <laughs> if it's on this side. Let me know if this is better or if it's blocking things. I can move it up and down. Around. Wherever kind of suits the most. Oh, because like this wig is so like... Ugh. Tight. I like loosened the stuff at the back and uh, now it's like falling backwards so I need to keep an eye on it top left and slightly shrunk to not clip the text maybe up there like up here Maybe a little lower, like up there, maybe. How's that? I'm not sure how to mirror it. Let me know how this goes. We'll try this. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Up and over, let's go. Come on, Aerith. Come on, baby girl. We got this. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Oh my god. Aerith, we're sneaking around the rooftops again. Another day for Earth, true. She's used to it. Earth has your posture down right? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? is my walking stance. Keep going, keep going, keep going, Claude. Oh, another pull for us to slide down. <gasps> Wait, I want to watch Aerith slide down in. I want to see her slide down. That went well. The end's not much further. Let's stay on your ah, 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 ah! Wait, where'd she go? Is she still up there? No! <laughs> I was cold blocked. No! By the bushes! I just wanted to see her doing it! Oh! Damn it! I missed it! Oh, where did Broden go? Oh, he's over here. Below, waiting for you. 
basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Bruh, guys, I missed stuff and calm already. I thought I could stay. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. I didn't know I was gonna have to leave so soon. I thought I would have time. Take this. Oh well. It's a transmuter. Converts raw I will know for the future. More practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. His son, Chadley? He doesn't look anything like Chadley. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Mm. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. He's sick? What's with all the sick characters lately? From the item transmitter screen in the main menu, you convert raw materials into practical items. Okay, yeah. That's the crafting system. Gotcha, gotcha. No, I don't want tutorial. I'm too impatient to do the tutorial. I just got my up. Hold on, okay, let's check our equipment and stuff. Um... Clyde. I've already got one weapon because I didn't buy any others. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Whoa! Earthquake? 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 Oh dear. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, there's an earthquake right now. I think it's stopping. No, it's still going. It's still going. Can you stop? Can you guys see it on the, the screen at all? Okay, I think it stopped. It's hard to tell. I think it stopped. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're fine, we're fine. Crisis averted. Crisis averted, we are good. Earthquake early warning, 11-13. I think it's over now though. It wasn't that big. 4.2. I guess I can't just like go back to calm and start a uh, head into the shop, huh? <laughs> Too many enemies. Yes, sir. Oh, so cute! Stop! <laughs> Nanaki is stealing my heart. Oh my gosh. Too adorable. Ah, I'm dying. Calm 
turned into panic very quickly. So true, right? I, did, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know that was going to happen. But hey-ho, you know? it's fine. It's fine. Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Yeah, I know for the next run. It's all good. I maybe I'm pretty sure we will get a chance to visit Calm again, right? Maybe. <sighs> I think this is where the true beginning happens. You know? The open world starts. With the first taste of freedom. Oh my god, this is it. This is it! Oh, into the open world. It's ours! We're not limited by demos anymore. We can do anything we want. Falling per Barrett. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Damn it! Guess not. I missed out on a Queen's Blood match. Let's go. Conspirator? Who's the co-conspirator? Look at the size of this map. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys. We're gonna be here for a very, very long time. Oh my god. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Oh, and okay, so you can get on the, um, story. So you can see what you should be doing next if you want to continue the story, so that's good. I can't wait to meet you, I know, me too! Can we, like, place a little marker or... Not oh, okay, I guess we can. That's interesting. Fun to play as. Going in, 
ahead of ourselves. Okay, these are ingredients that we can pick up, I'm guessing. Yes, yes. The materials required to transmute items can be obtained while exploring the world. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my allergies are so bad at the minute. Walking through this nice green field's got my allergies going. Let's go for a swim. Oh my gosh, look at them swimming. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness, my three cuties. Look at them. Look at them. Adorable. Thank you, thank you. All this greenery. You might find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Okay. Open all the chests in location to mark it when your map is complete. Oh, that's useful. Okay. So, I guess this is like a some kind of abandoned place. And if we open all the chests, it'll mark it as something. Where's the chest? Oh, here it is. And there's one more. There's two chests in this area. Yeah, I would assume so. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot to discover. Can't jump down there, damn it. Oh, I can jump up here. He can jump pretty high. That's gonna be something I need to keep in mind. Oh? Okay, it got rid of the chest discovery, so I guess I'm st I am out of the designated area for for that. So uh, let's go back. Uh, how do I get back? <laughs> uh, uh, cannot jump up there. Must walk around. Get distracted by these materials over here first. Then go back. Oh, this looks promising. This conveniently placed piece of wood. Thresher water wheel. Okay, if Aerith can jump up there, so can I. Okay, the chest is still... Where is it? It's not on the... Did I... Did I complete this area? No, 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 I'm still missing one. I thought it would be up here, but... Oh, oh, that's it, that's it. Here it is. There we go. Nice, okay. Now it's on the map, perfect. Look at all the little floors, the yellow floors. All the nature. Elden Ring could never. This is way too cheerful for Elden Ring. Elden Ring's gloomy AF. It's all dim and gloom. There's no color. I I would know the name of those flowers. I would have no idea. Wolf versus wolf. Ow. Go on! 
Oh! Aerith can teleport now. Someone looks kinda shaky. Oh, very useful. I wonder how we said where she teleports to. Level up, let's go, let's go. What's up here? Generic unnamed flowers. Yes, that's that's what they're called. Monkey! Hello? Is that a monkey? What is that? What? What? What is that? Um... I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what that is. Oh, can't go the down this way. Fair enough, fair enough. Looks like the pep pecoras. Oh my Jesus. So it's true. She got a monkey. To be fair, people in... Yeah, in Japan you can have exotic animals. There doesn't seem to be a law against it. Even though there probably really should be. Not probably. There definitely should be. Right, this direction. We should be going this direction. Oh. Whoops. Over here we get a chocobo, I guess. A push boob is a pet? Yikes! Yikes! I have no choice but to unstand. There was a lever to pull, but I wasn't able to pull it. I think that I need to talk to Chadley before I can um, start activating those tires. Was with my bird since he was hatched. Chadley might be around here. Hello. You be the avalanche, folks. What? It's okay, I'm on your side. Oh, Heard you okay. My way. You're safe here, but not How'd you long. know? How did you know, sir? Shouldn't leave no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Hmm, okay. What is this? Ah, this is to level up. Gotcha. Increased Punisher Moon Strong Tap. Yes, that sounds good. Red. Fire sends red flying towards the enemy at high velocity. Team up with your partner to charge forward while guarding against incoming attacks. Yeah. I'll go for that and... Increase max HP by 200, yeah. Let's go for that. Ask your partner to defend you while you move the field. Oh yes, okay, that sounds useful for Aerith. Unleash a, li unleash a lightning magic attack without expending MP. Ooh, useful. Increase max MP by three. Tifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area. Yes. Yes, please. Alright, and red hone their focus. Yep. I'll take that, please. Unleash lightning magic without MP. Increase overcharge damage by 5%. Yes. I mean, I'll unlock all of them eventually, so it doesn't really matter that much. Claude and Tifa leap into the air and deliver a spinning attack. Yes. Yes. 
Team up with a partner to perform a jumping attack. Yes. Apparently, Pecker's monkey is named Jill. Interesting, interesting name choice. Jill, why Jill? <laughs> Jill. Healing materia, blah, 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 blah. I don't have any money for any of this stuff. How much gil do I have? I only got 1,000 gil. I'm broke. I am broke. So I'll buy that stuff later. Don't really think we need to heal. I'm okay. What was that? Barrett? What was that? Barrett? What was that noise? Sounded like a lot of wanton destruction was going on back there. Doggy! Two doggies! Three doggies! Where do you tell us to go? All the way down there, wow. Find a place to lay low until the heat sure comes off. Okay. Nice I guess we can explore more when we get chocobos. These environments are so loud for no reason. <laughs> I mean... If Barret was over there knocking stuff over, that's what it would sound like. Use assess and then to reveal elemental weakness. Oh, you want me to do that now? Go on. Cut. Assess. Um, splitting their elemental weakness will pressure them. While the guard is up, landing powerful offensive abilities from behind will pressure them. Okay. Uh, they're weak against fire and and ice. This one's for you. Oh. Can you take he has fire. Point? Does Claude have fire? I think he does. What about Red? Does he have any magic on him? No, he does not. There we go. Easy. All right. Pray. Give us all a little bit of health, please. Moving on then. Wait. I wanted you to pray, Eris. Is that the same tar that I was at earlier? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh! A bus stop! Okay, I remember seeing those in the demo. Is there a little chocobo nearby? This marks it as a teleport spot, right? Eh? Cannot? I can't pick it up yet. When Chukabo stops build in the day, yeah, yeah. If you have a cushion, you sit down and rest. Uh, okay, but I don't need. I don't want to use up my cushion here, you know? But I can't pick this up yet either. I guess I need to have a Chukabo first before I can start picking those up. Fair enough. <laughs> Damn, red is too fun! I wonder, how does Vengeance work, mode work exactly? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can teleport with her. Pray. Let's do this. There we go. Virgin Clyde can pick up a bus stop. Chad Zach takes on a helicopter with a light pool. Honestly, true. One more month for the 69. Stella, thank you, thank you so much for the 68 months. Oh my God, you're almost there. You're almost there. Thank you for the continued support, Stella. Welcome on in. Do the prey, the prey, do the thing, the thing. You know the thing, Aerith? I feel like Aerith should have the healing materia. Clyde, I'll give him the steel materia. In case I want to steal items. Teehee. Teehee, uwe. Wow, these environments are so beautiful. What the hell? It's on you. Heading down this path, I guess. Anything around here? No. Okay, I thought maybe that was like an abandoned area where I could pick up some. Uh, should we be worried about those things? What? What? We're fine. What? How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their mm, territory. Are you Seems sure about that one, Clyde? If they're attacking, what does it matter? Press X it to die. Your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. Ha! <laughs> Tell him. Wait, what's what are they worried about? The little deer? I don't think we have to worry about deer. Red is so adorable. <laughs> oh! Oh! These enemies look kind of cute. That's sad. Okay, pray. Come on, we need some help. I'll 
take care of you. There we go. Feels good. Feels good. Ow! Not bad. I wonder if we can eventually increase the distance of her ward shift. Listen, X to die because I know for a fact, I know for a fact that this boy cannot read. There's no way I'm believing that. There's no way Claude's drive can read. That's a lie. That's how we find out he was lying. Sleek Saber? What is this? What is this? Ooh. Imbue the sword with fire and lightning. Ah, okay, okay. Sounds good to me. Let's use this one. First new weapon, let's go. I wonder if the weapons that we get in this game look like have the same skins as Remake or we get all brand new ones. I really hope we get all brand new ones. Some of Aerith's staffs uh, were missing like from the OG in Remake. So I would really, I hope that we get some really cute staffs. Swanky. And we find it at a Swamp too. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. It looks like an old Republic landing. A what? We could borrow a boat and make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junai. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? <laughs> I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> this swamp <laughs> is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Midgard Swarmer? If you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Phil the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> Can we rent some birds? Can we? <laughs> yeah, no way anyone's gonna say no to that. No one's gonna say no to that. <laughs> no one, no one would say no to that. Anything you want, queens, anything. Yes, anything. Yes, a mom. You want, you want some chugaboos? I'll get them for you right away, mom. Yes, miss. I fooled, I fooled. <laughs> Especially to those two, right? I fooled immediately. Anything you want, yes. I'll make it happen. Yes, queen. Stardust Ray from Red is so extra. I love it. RT is so true. True. No, actually, Midgar Summer is from Final Fantasy XIV, obviously. 
That's a Final Fantasy XIV reference. Duh. Don't you know? Didn't you play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Word? Critically acclaimed MMO? <laughs> you know the one. Here it just comes unlocked, right? It's just an ability. It's not even a limit break. I love how you can see, like, little sparkles of the live stream everywhere. Isn't it wonderful, Aerith? Isn't it wonderful? Oh, another Chocobo stop. But I cannot pick it up yet. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Follow my lead. <laughs> is also the name of Claude's bike, huh? His motorbike. Doubt. Also a mind in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> This nerd is armed. <laughs> oh no. Take the lead. Am I gonna be a red man? Go on! We won't hold back. I'm gonna be a red man. I can't help it. Super fun. He's just super fast, but also strong. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. This one's for you. Go on. One more shot. I think they made a very good choice in changing um, Aerith's. Uh, Tempest ability to ward shift instead because when you were playing with her in remake she was good for hitting at a distance but if someone came close to you you were kind of fucked right like she wasn't very good at evading but now she can kind of teleport away which makes her a lot more useful like when I in remake I would always switch to Aerith get her to do something and then have to switch off so they wouldn't target her well well if it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. Hee <laughs> hee But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can get on It's Chocobo Bill! Anytime. Really? Uh, give Anywho, us a lift to Jun on them. <laughs> You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. Chocobo time. The next best thing, though, chocobos. Yes. To them, a bottomless yes. bog's no worse yes. than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Mm -hmm. uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing. To a hard working chocobo. Nature's two legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. 
Mine got more risen than Clyde. <laughs> True, Chuka Bill. He knows what he's talking about. Hmm? There's something I can help you with? Uh, I want to know about Midgar Summer. A Chukabo would be nice. Nope, nothing. I want to know about Midgar Summer. Tell us uh, some lore. Let's surfer hear some lore. Lives in the swamp. Uh huh. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, gaping maw and all. Mm. Gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most Chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Huh? Really? If there's one thing I know, sir, the subject Chocobos, of a few roads. To spot a seasoned frontiersman. A Chocobo would be nice. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. Yes, He'll yes. Be happy to tell you all you need to Hell yeah! We're helping out on a local Chocobo farm. What is Red doing? What is Red doing? Guys. It looks like he's trying to use the litter tray. What is he doing? He's literally using the litter tray. Oh. <laughs> Chocobo, hello. Don't walk away from me. I just want to pet you. I just want to pet all of you. They're so cute. Hello. I really like the way the Chocobo was designed in this one. Oh, well. How come Aerith could jump over but I can't? Oh, there we go. Red's about to have the zoomies, the poomies. Pick up some materials. Go. What does that do? Is it an accessory? Oh, a glimmering chocobo feather go for decorative purposes. Increases speed by 10. Maybe that's useful for red? Not sure, but... Inside this little house. Chocobo time! Howdy! It's all the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. Aww. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Jesus! The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. We broke. Well, there is one other option. I would spend all her money on those Only cost tickets for the, the date. Is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, Sorry. by far. 
And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> Pops? You can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the beat that made him. Now, while Claude is 21, you can't call him people. Pops. That's so wrong. Play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Let's go! Oh, we got a we got a staff for Aerith. I'm curious to see what it looks like. Oh, okay, that is new. That's definitely a new design. So, all the weapons are going to be new for this game? That would be good. Yay, cute. about my brother all he thinks about is money he's just doing his job we understand i suppose but he's been a real pain about it <laughs> ever since our parents left hmm say are you guys from midgard yeah the undercity then do you happen to know chocobo sam um hmm. not very well but yeah i guess we do we do There's know him Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. Why is it his fault? But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Mm. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Anyone who played the OG is a bit more of a can, can also no confirm. Pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for Chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. The second someone says, in the OG, it was like this. They've aged themselves up. They're showing their age. <laughs> Bombcats, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you for that support. Hmm. Arantia's tag shop will have chocobo gear for sale, which can be traded for golden plumes. Ooh. These rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Okay. Makes sense. They don't have too much right now. I've got two golden plumes though. I like that they made models for everything. Very cute. Very cute. I hope Nico doesn't give you all too much trouble. New discovery. Chocobo plums. Does it want one me to shop for all your Does it want me to spend needs. them to complete this quest? Oh, I don't have enough. We hope to cannot, see you again. cannot, cannot do it yet. Not yet. It's K. Okay. We're we're all old in here. Guys, we, guys, we don't all need to come up here. <laughs> God, I can't even go to the bathroom in peace. You mean Pico? 
Ah, this wig is crushing my skull. It is. This one is particularly heavy, though. Because it's uh, Aerith. And also, because I'm, like, sitting against the ponytail, the ponytail is getting wrecked. But I will, uh, fix that next time I use it, I guess. There's no point in trying to fix it now because, like, I'm gonna sit back on it again. <laughs> Aerith, how do you do it? How do you do it, girl? Tell us your secrets. So, is the purple... The purple dot an indicator of, like, a side quest? How does it work exactly? Upgrade spells, inventory, card decks, party manual... Is there, like, an, a place that we check our, like, current quests and stuff? That's what I'm kind of wondering at this stage. But we need to go catch a chocobo first. Materials? Play standing up, we are why? Come on, Claude, you can do this. on point as always wouldn't expect anything less Ooh, what's up here I know that there's something that we do for Chadley that is to do with TARS I'm assuming that that's what these are not sure yet though to see if the ponytail oh my gosh for how long? <gasps> Hopefully the OST out soon, right? I think because I got the digital deluxe edition, I get a... Um, I got a digital soundtrack, but I'm not sure what's on it yet. It wouldn't let me check it until the game came out. Oh look, the chocobo tracks. He went this away. This away. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. We got this. We got this, you guys. Keep hmm. it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Approach him without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. Okay. You can distract chocobos by throwing stones you use to pick up. Use L1 to EM and throw. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Go 
proceed when the chuckle's back is turned. Okay. Wait for him to turn around. up this this rock okay okay oh, okay okay um okay I guess it wants me to throw this rock um let's throw it over there go no nope. uh well that went well Okay, I guess it won't go wherever you want it to go. <laughs> what? Got it! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ooh. Good bird. Okay, not too bad. We got it. Yay! That's a huge rock. I know, we could knock it out with that. Actually, I wonder what happens if you hit it. Hopefully nothing. <laughs> Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> they do look the same. They got a what point. They got a point. Okay, chat, I really want to know your uh, honest opinions right now. What are your feelings on this chocobo thing? <laughs> it's like the only thing so far that I am like, mm, no, <laughs> I don't like it. It's like the one thing that I'm like, no, no. <laughs> It's very bizarre to me, this chocobo theme. Banger? Really? I think it's, it feels so odd. It feels so odd to me. Oh! It is unique. Oh my god. We can just take photos like this. How do I take the photo though? <laughs> do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. He's not happy. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. We did it! Hey, yo, that chocobo's smart. He can speak English. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's weird. Nothing will top the heavy metal chocobo theme from Final Fantasy 13 to the heavy metal version is the best. Nah. It's just not my vibe. kind of cool that but this part I don't like it just feels odd
guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's at his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Pet, pet, pet. Can I pet the chocobo? Can you pet the chocobo? Pico doesn't much like eating when strangers are nearby. Oh, sorry. Oh, I wouldn't want to disturb him, to be fair. Not when he's in the middle of eating. I that really is quite rude. Thank you enough for bringing Pico back to us. Desert Claude, thank you for the 35 months. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well today. Half arrived, we probably won't add this to thank my playlist. Yeah, it just, I don't know. It's lacking a bit of punch. That's just my opinion, though. Oh, it's. Hey Chadley, there. best boy! Oh, our favorite surprise. character! <laughs> He's not that bad. You do remember me, don't you? He's cute in his own way. Yes, Chadley, how could I forget you? How could I forget you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create it looks like so much material. Chadley up a little bit? No. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? Whoa! He can read minds? I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always <laughs> I like how everyone else is like, who is this kid? What what is going on? <laughs> Barra is like, what is happening? But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally uh -huh, uh -huh. constructed by the Republic. That's what of I Juma, thought. Just as I thought Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world the more my processing power will grow. Okay. As will the area I can survey. Mm -hmm. I might Makes even sense. be able Makes to sense. construct a communications network independent of Shinra. Just like Genshin. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Sounds good to me. We find any. We'll turn them on. He's checking to Wonderful. see what Aerith thinks. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started. Kid needs a new see hobby. That tower? That's your first target. <laughs> and this will activate it. Oh my god! As the Obtain the chat module! Where can I get one of those? Where can I get myself a chat module? I'm gonna need a Chad module. <laughs> I can buy with this. By, allow me to accompany you. Hell yes, the Chad module. Let's go. When are we gonna unlock the Chad mobile? Clyde really needed that. Thank God I've got a Chad module now. Here we are. scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Thanks, Chadley. 
because he will actually be pretty useful this time. Let's go! <gasps> Thanks, Chadley! For consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Chadley will employ the data that you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, embark on other scientific endeavors, activate the remna of TARS you encounter, and help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. Okay. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the, the information chat search. you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, Chateria? I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? How do I become a Chad like you, Chadley? I've always wanted to know. Uh, developing materia. How do I develop Chateria? Intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. Okay. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. Oh, okay, okay. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Mm. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? Mm. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Combat assignments, life spring surveys. Whoa, you haven't told me about any of this. Tell me about all of it, Chadley. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. Mm -hmm. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about mm -hmm. World Intel, please ask away. Mm. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you okay. still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. What is crystal analysis? In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. What is a proto-relic salvaging? Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects proto-relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. I would have preferred Chato Relic, I would be but... grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about World Intel, please... Okay, I think we're good. Do you happen to have any questions? Nah, I'm good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. Let's start! Let's start exploring! Tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Freedom! Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Yes, yes. Which of these would you like? Ooh. Ooh. A lot of knowledge that automatically using unique brothers would not actively control it. Yeah, I want this one. How many data points do I have? I've got 20, so I could do another one. Allows you to turn enemies into a morph. Enemies whose health has fallen below a certain can be defeated in this fashion. Autocast. Autocast also seems useful, so I'll get those I two. wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Ah! Should you require assistance... Oh my god! Guys, are you all Chadley hitters? <laughs> Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data that he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Yeah. Completing these challenges are a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning material. Yeah, that was the same in Remake, right? It was the same. Oh, I can do Titan now? But I feel I like we're not strong Titan, enough yet. The mythical Colossus of the Grasslands in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity. So Already? Whoa, is that another earthquake? Yeah, another earthquake. Uh oh. Is 
still going. Yeah, the fact that there's two now, now I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> if it's just one, it's like, okay, whatever. It, it happens, but... A second one worries me a little bit, because then there might be more later. I think it's stopping. It's so hard to tell, to be honest, sometimes. Yeah, it, it's it's not. Any questions about World Intel? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Nothing more. But yeah, there might be more later, so. I look forward to Hopefully seeing not. You Hopefully you not. In your travels. Cloud, have you heard of golden plumes? Yes, I have. There are a variety of chocobo feather noted for their especially unique luster. Titan and unlocked an earthquake hit. Coincidence? Purposes. I think you not. Pick up any you find, as certain shops might be willing to trade them for goods. Are we strong enough to take on Titan already? Probably not, right? A three-person battle. Emerge victorious against these mighty entities in combat simulator to be rewarded with their summoning material. Okay. Oh, I think if we do this, I'm going to die. Because, oh, uh, you guys can't kind of see that my camera's in the way, but there's a difficulty level. Um, analyze the summon's crystals to face off against weaker versions of the deity. Right now, the only thing available is to face off against the summon entity at its full strength, but also there's par down, par down two, par down three. And I guess it will make it easier, of course, if you collect more of their crystals. Let's, let's just... Let's just test the theory, shall we? If we die, we die. It's fine. It's a simulator. We're probably gonna get our asses beat immediately. Look at Titan's design. So it's my turn? Oh! Yikes. Four chest, four shift. Ah! No heals left. Okay, yeah, I'm assuming that this one is uh you have to be a little stronger to fight him at full strength. Makes sense, makes sense. Makes sense. No, collide! Almost pressured though. Yo, this is not- Oh my god! I'm calling PETA! That's animal abuse! That's straight up animal abuse, Titan. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you good? Haha. <laughs> Let's go. We got this, Red. Oh god, that did no damage. That did no damage whatsoever. Ah! Ah! No! Destiny. Okay. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it.
We'll come back to this later. Don't worry. Even incomplete trials can provide me with useful data. This camera angle. <laughs> if there's anything else a little questionable. Me, please let me know. Okay. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Chadley. Is that what's this over here? Chadley show. Oh, okay. That's just Chadley. He's always going to be marked on the map, huh? Moogle Intel, excuse me. Everyone doesn't like me. Oh, Red, why are you in the pen with the chocobos? Oh my god, he's so cute, you guys. He's so adorable! Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Cute! It's Aaron's first time riding a chocobo. That's so cute. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't have anything to dress you in yet. I need more chocobo plumes. You get them by uh, picking up the chocobo stop that's fallen over, right? 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 Imagine having to get across this entire map on foot. <laughs> it would take forever. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Good question, Krim. Do they dance? Oh my god. Are you okay, Claude? He looks so confused. <laughs> This way. Oh, whoops, my bad. Where are you going? Uh, where do you want me to go? Oh, just you just want me to jump okay. on and then talk to you? Okay, never mind. Well, how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Use the training grounds on Bill's ranch to get the hang of the chocobo riding. Okay. Ooh. We're timed. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. I need to win. For the top prize, we need to be under 40 seconds. We can do it. We can do it. We got this. Yeah, yeah. Six, seven, eight. Oh gosh, maybe not. Maybe, okay. Ne next try, next try. Next try. I wonder if you have to go a shortcut or something. Yeah! Oh no! It took almost 
60 seconds. Yikes. Oh no, first is 31 seconds. Third is 40 seconds. Oh no. Oh no. But hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Yeah, we're then flat broke. you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the hmm. troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Yeah. Well, don't run off just yet. I knew we could My go back to Calm. I had a feeling. Help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. Oh. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need of to course. On. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. We got this. Let's go, Clyde. People all over the world are willing to pay top gill for Clyde's hand for higher services. Let's go. Track these odd jobs, open them up, and select quests. Oh, great. Certain sentinels will, settlements will have notice boards. Upon which citizens in need will post job offers. Accepting a job will mark a new employer on your map. Tackle the odd jobs listed here to earn rare rewards, deepen your bonds with your allies, and increase the party level! You can warp to any unlocked waypoints such as towns, repaired chocobo stops, and activated remnantware towers. Oh, okay. So we can also teleport to those towers. That's good to know. Press uh, this button here to open the map and select a location to instantly travel to. Awesome. I want to try this chocobo practice. race again. Yes. How do we how do we do this in 40 seconds? Is there like a shortcut? Cool. I thought it wasn't gonna hunt that one. Surely you can't go a shortcut. This way? Yeah! But I'm assuming it's something like that, right? If I didn't miss it, it would have been good. If I didn't miss it, it would have been sweet. If I didn't miss it, it would have saved some time. Deserved? I didn't cheat! There must be... You must have to use shortcuts. There's no other way to get here that fast. Unless you can make your chocobo faster? Gotta be in sync with your bird to do well. Hmm... You must hit the sprint button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I am hitting the sprint button. Um, R two to sprint. Otherwise, it just walks. Oh, oh, oh. Well. That's gonna help. That's gonna help. Uh, I see. Uh, it's uh, R3. Ah! <laughs> no! Go back! No! So close! So close! I've messed up the last one! One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. R2 to Maybe dash, R3 right to sprint, I see. Okay. And that's where the confusion was coming in. I see. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, you must have to hit all of these without missing once. Oh god, okay. Oh shit. Fucked up. Da -na 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 -na. Damn it! I done got Yeah <laughs> This one keeps messing me up! Uh, that's the second time that one got me! 
Okay, again, 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 again. Another lap wouldn't kill one you. One more, one more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Damn. It's fine. Wait, restart? <laughs> retry, retry, it's fine. It's fine, this is fine. So close, so close, so close, and yet so far. Got nothing left to teach you anymore. <sighs> no, but huh? What? I need to get to rank. I need to get to rank three for the beast talon. Not even first. Oh, but I, I messed up. I messed up because I banged into one of them. I did bang into one of the TARS. If I didn't bang into it, it would have been perfect. Yeah! Retry. Messing me up all of a sudden. I never had any problem with that one before. Oh shit! Fucked up my camera angle. I I think if you I think if you uh hit even one it messes up your time because I was only like two two seconds behind the last one
made it. I win. Did it. We're good. GG's everyone. GG's. <laughs> we don't need any more chocobo racing. <laughs> Participate and hustle the chocobo. No, thank you. I've got everything I need from this. Thank you very much. Hello, little chocobo. Oh, whoops. I guess I don't need it right now. I need to go talk to, uh, what's her face? Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Oh, hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how oh I could. Oh my god! Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking Our for you. Our and Error, they're sure. gonna go pick flowers well, to make flower yes. crowns? Yes! What happened to your parents? Ask your brother, we'll take the job. If I ask about parents, is that rude? I wanna know. The truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for dates. How do you know Sam? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. Oh! That's what Billy says. Oh my and god, Chocobo Sam. He Sam's. always changes the subject when I ask. Hmm. There is a lot to know here. We'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Of course, Chloe. Of course, we will help you. Head to the Wild Flower Plateau. Oh, it is really far away. It is... Is it on the map? Oh my god. It's all the way over there. It's all the way here, okay. Where are we? We're all the way here. Okay, I guess on the way there, we'll probably discover a lot of stuff. There's bound to be a lot of chocobo racing in Cold Saucer as well though, right? You know what I mean? Let's go chocobo! I'm gonna call my chocobo Titus Blitzball. Let's go, let's mosey! Wait, let's all just take a moment to appreciate Red riding a chocobo. Of the year everyone game of the year if that isn't perfection I don't know what is okay okay so uh, we have to get off to fight stuff I guess the journey is worth it to be honest right yeah it's pretty far and it wouldn't be fair to have Red not riding his own chocobo like everybody else. See you in like six hours or something. Good night, get these, sleep well. I will be here. Six hours from mine. I shan't have moved. 
This is where I'm staying the rest of this entire weekend. Um, this way. Oh, can Chukaboos jump down? No, they can't jump down there. Keep an eye out for Tars as well, guys. What was that? The little Chukaboo! He's gonna take us! Wait, stop. I know we can pet this Chukaboo. But I don't understand why he has a little turnip on his bum now. <laughs> what, is th what is the meaning of this? Why does he have a turnip on his butt? Maybe it's not a turnip. I mean, I don't think it is a turnip, but it, it just feels like it's a turnip to me. There's no need for this. Ahem. Oh my god, the Chukabo can pick it up! Yeah! Hooray! Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Need to get up, need to get up. Pet this Chukabo. I love it. 10 out of 10. They don't look like they grow into adult chugables. They look like they evolve into Poco True True. Yeah, 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 because their heads are so big, right? Definitely doesn't make a lot of sense, but. <laughs> I'll let that one slide. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious about the, yeah, the thing on its butt. That's what I want to know. I haven't done any crafting yet. Maybe I should do that really quickly. I can craft potions. Transmitter XP? Oh, okay. So I also need to get XP in the transmitter to uh, keep crafting new things. What is that? Is that... What is that? Do I follow it? No, 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 no. Get back on. Where is it taking me? I guess I'll use the Chad module. Surveying life spring grants the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Follow the spring seeker aisle. Okay, that's what that was, a spring seeker aisle. Duh, of course it's a spring seeker aisle. How could you not have known that? Will lead you to a life spring. It's natural how oh, that... A life stream. Ooh. 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 Is that Aerith's theme playing? Oh! Oh, okay, okay, rhythm game, rhythm game. <laughs> We're playing a rhythm game. What? Oh my god, how beautiful is that? Okay, expedition intel for grasslands completed. New region of intel is now available. Surveying live springs allow you to decipher the knowledge of the live stream, revealing regional intel. Select Chadley, then regional intel to learn about the history and 
ecological ecological ecology of the area. Yes, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait, I'm kind of curious what the difference between the the purple things on the map are. I thought that they were what what does purple mean? Side hustle. It's a discovery. Check Cam's community notice board to see if there's any odd jobs there. Oh, so it's not really a quest. It's like a... Like a new thing? Oh, my floors! My floors have fallen down. I didn't know. They fell down on both sides. Hold on, guys. I want to fix my floors real quick. <laughs> Up like this. There we go. I don't know if you guys can even see them on the screen. Yes, you can. There, that's better. That's what they're supposed to be like. Not the floors. Don't step on the floors. <sighs> okay. So, discovery. It's not really a quest, but it's like something you should do. Look at all. Look at in the bottom left corner. All the different stuff that you have to do. Look how much intel there is to gather. Tars, combat assignments, summoning crystals, life spring, and proto relics. Dude, this is a lot of content. There's so much to do. Quests, which are the main quests. Side quests. Intel. And then Chadley. <laughs> I guess when I fight fiends, I should also keep using assess, right? That's what we had to do in remake, if I remember correctly. I think I already assessed those uh, elephant thingies, but maybe I should do it again now that like I've got Chadley helping me out. <laughs> Just assess everything, right? <laughs> You ready? So it's my turn? Why don't you lead the way? Let's do this. One more turn! So did that send intel to Chadley or no? <laughs> My combat assignment has not gone up, so maybe not. Sanfin, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the support. I guess let's keep following until we get to these flowers and then just pick up stuff on the way. Aerith. Okay, hold on guys, I need to show you something. Hold on, get on your chocobo. Everyone get on your chocobo. I check out Aerith real quick. Watch Aerith, okay? Wait, you can't see her. Let me make it so you guys can see her. Okay, watch watch Aerith when she gets off her chocobo. <laughs> she gives a little head pat. I saw that on Twitter the other day and I was like, oh my god, you have to be kidding me. She's so cute, man. She's so cute. It's so cute. Seen better days. 
Much of the Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well, Shinra ain't about to spend a single gill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it, cause Shinra's run by Tightwads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. You do you. When the question icon appears above Chocobo, bright treasure is nearby. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, there's bright treasure, so we gotta sniff it out. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. It's right here? Obtained a play arts rest spot? Ex what? What? What's a play arts rest spot? What? what? What's that? Chat? Do you know anything? Oh my god, no, I'm not trying to attack bunnies. Oh my god, I thought those were the other enemies. I am so sorry, little bunnies. I am so sorry. I'm not trying to attack little bunnies. That's. Look at it go! Look at its wee butt! Hmm, what do I do with a play arts bench? Do we get little figurines that we can, like, put in a little house or something that's that's the only thing i can think of like we get like a little toy house to put stuff in or i don't know yo what's with these beats it's hollow the theme from remake banger another banger Where are we? Oh, are we back at calm? We are. Currently on high alert. Please limit your activities to essential business. Once you finish, hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. <laughs> Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the association. Of course, of his name is Snaps. Aficionados. Listen, if, I get a shot of you? if your parents named you Snaps, what else are you going to do in your life? You're going to be like, I've, there's literally one career path that I can take. Posterity. I was given no choice. Oh my god, collide posing. Let's go, Kane. He has a picture. Let's go. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. Yes, he does. And what about behind it? I'm not so, sure about that. Apparently, there's a rather scenic spot not far from here thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. <laughs> Snaps marked a picturesque area on your... Oh. Okay, so we also take photos. Oh, sorry, sir. No, I'm not ready. I don't have my scenic snap yet. If you find any other scenic locations, let me know. I will. A Pokemon snap mission? I mean, unless we're moving, it's not really Pokemon snap, right? I guess we just go there and take a photo. A screenshot, maybe? Bro, I was looking through my screenshots on my PS5 um, yesterday just to make sure that I had room for this game. Um, like, I was deleting some old stuff. And, oh my god, I've got so much, like, accidental screenshots. It's just accidental screenshots from <laughs> Genshin over and over and over again. And I have the same screenshot, like, 20 times. 
I'm like, what was I doing? I'm looking for a pro to win it back on my behalf. If you got it takes, drop by the bar. Oh no, okay, I, we should really take care of what, there's so much, there's a lot. Hold on, I need to go and do this Queen's Blood match. Okay, let's track this first. And we still need to find those flowers for the flower crown for that girl, for Chloe. Look at my map, look at all the icons on it. What's the girl to do, what's the girl to do? <laughs> oh, what a glorious wall keeping us safe and excuse me that was my barricade you just destroyed oh come to admire the Bailey I'm sorry I'm sorry or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match and all trophy <laughs> ones especially I'm if Zahira. it records vids a pleasure just oh like yes wall, that's true I yield to no one refusing to give a single inch to my opponents don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Damn, okay. I'm interested in this girl. Zahira. Zahira, what a name too. Do I have any other? Oh, I do have some more. Um, maybe I should put a cactuar in there. This... I could put all of them in here right now. Okay. Okay, I think we are good. Challenging oh. me would have been like banging your head. No, no, no. I do, wall. I do want to challenge you. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, I can't include more than fifteen. Okay. Oh. I need to get rid of one. Two. Which one to get rid of? Maybe this one? And this one? Okay. Then this can be my deck. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this, Sahira. Let's fight. Draw blood. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go for this. Go for this. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what kind of feels right at this point. Do anything. Shit, I lost. Okay. Is 
Damn. I messed it up. I need to pay more attention to the chess pieces. <laughs> Guess I was too formidable for you. Oh no. One more, one more. Let's go again, Sahira. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I was captivated by your voice. That's all. That's all that was happening. Hello at Peach Milky and Chatwow. We in twerk! Thank you so much for the 44 months. Oh my god. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome on in. Thank you for that continued support. Um, okay, this deck, this is fine. Oh, you know what? They might end up taking my cards because I hear them talking. I hear the characters talking about like losing their cards. So it's possible that in the future I might. That's good to do. I don't know. She's got pretty strong cards. That's what the issue is. Hey, Brintorg. I, I, I am. It's true. This is true. I can only really place this one right now. Ah! Wait, what? No! Oh, you cannot play any cards? Oh, sugar. Damn, this girl's good. I can't play anything. I'm stuck. She got me, I can't move. Oh, rematch, 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 rematch. Maybe I need better cards to fight this lady. It's like the cards you wish to mulligan. Um, these ones are fine, I think. can go here. Maybe this. I need to draw my one card that I need three things for. I'm not drawing it. If I drew it, I would be living in my best life. Put it there.
maybe I'll win this one. Not not a good win, but a possible win. No, no, she's still got more turns, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. I can't play any cards. No. Yeah, her cards are definitely a lot better. Damn it. Uh, it's not a win. It's not a win. Let's try one more time. And if we can't get her this time, I think I need to try and get some better cards to fight this girl because she is too strong. These are fun. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, too late. I guess I'm doing it. I have that magic pot one that like, I need three. And I was hoping that I would draw it last time, but it didn't work out. That's okay, that's okay. do anything again damn she got me okay i definitely i definitely think if i want to fight this lady i need to have some better cards huh in no way okay fine i'll come back to you Perhaps later you should shore up i'll be back defense. sahira i will be back you haven't seen the laughter of me Yeah, she's got good cards. But it's a good learning experience. Teaching experience. The bartender's request. Okay, let's let's try this quest first. Too. You are. So then you know. 
We'll take the job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's feet in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Oh, shit! I have to do him first? Okay. This could go very wrong very quickly. He seem he had a rare card, so it seems like he might be pretty good. Let's try. I know this is me starting to get good at or trying to get good at uh Queen's blood, huh? It is fun. I could definitely see myself pouring time into this mini game. You wasted your turn, bud. You wasted your turn. Okay. This guy's not as hard as the other girl. My turn. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. The game's over. Let's go. I win. About, you'll beat Virgil, no problem. That's the guy Virgil. Okay. Took my card. He works at the clock tower. I'm coming for you, Virgil. Kicking his ass for me. Hell and yeah, let's done, do this. Come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Hell yeah. It's a great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Mm. Oh my god. Security forces. I would love a little cocktail right now. I. During which time it was placed under a temporary lockdown. That would be so perfect. As of this report. The suspects remain at large, though public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are both Should be told I have beers in the apartment right now, guys, but uh, I don't really feel like drinking beer. Like, I feel like a little cocktail would be so cute right now. Track time Virgil. Oh, he's... She's late. Too late. That guy's been waiting on his day for a very long time. Tom is such a beautiful little time. Oh no, not this girl again. I'm scared of her. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I do need to remember. Oops. 
Uber Eats one? I'm not sure if I can Uber Eats a cocktail. I don't think there's anyone that anywhere that does it nearby. How did I get there? Everyone, please. One at a time. Do I have to walk through the rusty arrow? Can I do that? Oh, can I go out these doors? Oh. Cannot. This way? No. Here he is, Virgil. Oh, I'm coming for you. Hell here yeah. For the card you took from the bartender. Ah, We're gonna kick your car. ass. So, Vash has resorted to this. Yes. Hiring people to win its games for it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Let's do this. Oh wait, he's rank two? Um... This could not end well for me. There's a good possibility this will not end well for me, but that's fine. Take like the card you wish, uh, no, these ones are fine. I'll stick with these. The Shinra infantry one is a very useful one to start with. It's maybe better to just start with it every time. Camera angles, I love it. Oh, if I do this, I can take one of his. Let's do that. Let's do that. Poofy TV, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome on in. I appreciate the support. Damn, he's got it. Oh, Jesus. Do this one. Have I turned it around? Have I turned it around? Let's go, let's go. Yes! I win, right? GG's. Your cosmo of Earth is beautiful. <laughs> Globy, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so sorry that you had to... <laughs> You had to sub. I'm on sub only mode today just to make sure that we don't get any trolls trying to spoil <laughs> rebirth at all. But I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for subbing just to let me know. That's very kind of you. Very, very sweet. All of his cards are four stars, but I'm a four star. I'm a five star. I'm a ten star, you see? Ah, damn. I really lost. Even with good cards, he sucks. It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. Nice but, of him to have a little sword stand. Today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Bash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? 
Oh crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. Yeah, so give it back. This is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. What? Is that so? No, seriously. I I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. Oh my a god. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done. Am I right? Come on. Let's go. Let's go threaten the card collector, Tifa. Oh, he's kind of far away. Where is he? Thank you so much for this sub. Thank you for using your prime. Welcome on in. Thank you for the support. Much appreciated. Keep about to kick some ass over some cards and I'm here for it. I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go for this next part? Quest. Oh my gosh, okay, it's all the way over there, hmm. You know what, I guess we'll just head out. Let's just go. I thought we could complete it while in calm, but I guess not. Come to break their fingers and take it from them? I know. Are we... Are Guys, are we the bad guys? Are we the terrorists? Oh, what? I can walk in the water? Oh, I can't walk, but I can swing. I can someday become as strong as our Bailey here. I'll come back to you. I'll be back. Wow, I feel totally overwhelmed with all the different quests going on right now. Okay. Okay, we're back outside calm. Let's just take a moment to gather. Okay, so there's the card and there's the flowers on the hill. Right, let's let's finish the flowers on the hill first and then we'll do the card and then on the way we will unlock more stuff. Um Field Intel investigate the newly detected species. Hi. Where is that? Okay, let's keep let's keep walking this direction then. And on the way we will keep and then we'll come back to calm and then we'll finish up the card quest and then oh my goodness. <laughs> There's so much we are just bullies at this point. <laughs> Actually, yeah. That guy, like, literally spent his life savings on it. He's so happy. And we just come and rob it from him. We were the bad guys all along. No one to be spoiled. My game arrives tomorrow. <gasps> hope you, I hope you enjoy. I, I totally understand. But I hope you have a great team with uh, Rebirth tomorrow. Enjoy, enjoy. It's, it's really fun so far, but oh my goodness, there is just so much content. It's like, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. 
<laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time, but it's difficult for me. I need to get over there for the flowers. How do I get down from this? How do I get off this bridge? I am enjoying the music though. Can I slide down this pole, maybe? Huh? What's that? Midgard is on lockdown. Avoid Shinra checkpoint. Ah, okay. I can't go that way. back this way. Yes, this is hollow. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god, I love this song. Alert! Alert! Oh. Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. Uh-oh. <laughs> my sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. Chadlina! It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. No, no, I'm gonna call her Chadlina. Chadlina. Detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. She's to pretty good. The biological data that we require. You'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. The fiend that Chelly wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique bees and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials. Okay. I smell fiends. Let's go. Let's Rare fight. Grasslands wolf variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Let's He's gonna talk the whole time. I'll show you what I can do. Speed. In fact, our business is a report that it is capable of catching prey with lightning quickness. Can you take over? Let's assess, assess, assess. Absorbs lightning immune to this. Weak oh, it doesn't really have a weakness. Inflecting detrimental status effect on them will pressure them. Detrimental status effect? What does that mean? Oh, 
Don't stop now. Leave the rest to me. Yeah. Well fought. Nice. Well, perhaps you could polish off those objectives next time. Wait, why is this? Why is this area familiar? Am I missing something? Pressure an enemy? Wait, I didn't. Wait, I didn't pressure them? Wait, what's the difference between stagger and pressure? I can't remember. in the manual maybe in the field basics gameplay uh battles spells unique ability summons shortcuts choose your party switching target info detrimental status effects yeah okay But what is the difference between pressure and... Stagger? Hmm... Aha! Inflicting enough damage or exploiting an elemental weakness will... Uh, make them pressured. Oh, but that one didn't have a... To discover an enemy's weakness, use assess. Okay, maybe let's try that again. We need to pressure them. Abilities, assess. But it doesn't say anything under weakness or detrimental status effects, so... Or uh, maybe any detrimental status effect is okay? In which case... Red has bio. Yes, okay, we did it. Okay. Ow! Came to pressure, I won't be able to move for a bit and segregate her race super fast. Ah, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Keep it up. Synergy ability, let's go! Eric. Just for fun! Yeah! <laughs> I got a trophy because it was my first time using the synergy ability, and my trophy is gonna be of Aerith and Cloy! <laughs> perfect, perfect to the video that it captures. Certain synergy abilities can raise characters' limit level. Ooh. Which unlock more powerful limit break attacks. For example, a cloud can perform cross slash at limit level 1 and ascension at limit level 2. You can also unlock three limit break attacks through your character's fully. Lovely! Love to see it! There we go, that's better. I didn't want to move on without getting it perfect. Focus in their name, we're great for reason the stack of gitch. Yes, yes. Like, focus shot from, uh,. Barret, I remember that one was good for it. Let's jump on our chocobo. Oh, I keep messing up the dash and dismine. <gasps> Little chocobo! Hello! I follow you, BB. The 
this music, it's so good. I'm glad that they didn't just draw Hollow because Hollow was like the theme of Remake. So I thought maybe they wouldn't even include it in this one, but good to know they haven't. It's so catchy. Use a cushion. Let's wipe out a little cushion from Clyde's soft booty. He's so precious, you know? Sniff something. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. This way. Sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> oh, back that way. Okay, hold on. I see stuff to pick up. I can't just ignore it. Exploration is so good so far. We only started. I can. I'm starting to understand why people are able to spend so long on this game. Bum bum. What? Oh, what do you mean you couldn't find anything? It's right there. Again. Hi, baby. Wait, where'd it go? Two hundred R's. Oh, my God. So much to do. I definitely, I feel like this is the kind of, kind of game I would love to 100%, but probably better to not 100% it on stream. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd never play anything else for the rest of forever. Unless. Maybe this is our 2024, guys. Maybe this is it. Not against it. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Unless. Wow, I can feel my wig falling back. Oh, come forward. Ooh. If you guys start to see my, uh, Forehead growing bigger? No, you didn't. I love that. Oh, this is where we pick the floors. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Floor picking. Uh oh. There's evil radishes here. <laughs> You know when you go to pick flowers and then there's little radishes around? Mm. Is that battle music? I'll show you what I can do. One more shot! Let's do this. Uh-oh. 
so long. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Oh my sort of god! Reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house. Me too. He just whipped out his basket. He's like, let me just get this out right now. I know how to do this, Aerith, okay? You taught me well. I know how to pick a flower or two. So cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. Pick stalks of yellow candulas. Yes. Let's get a mix of all of them. <laughs> so precious. That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Barrett likes these blue ones, huh? Mm. There's blue and red. Ooh, now these are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? I do. Let me think about it. I need to think. I need to think. This is a very tough decision. Can I only pick two? Hey, that's a good find. Those symbolize familial love. Pretty spot on for our purposes, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Okay, let's get these ones. Forget-me-nots. That's perfect. A few more couldn't hurt. Yes, let's get more. Red Gabara. All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go give him to Chloe. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, we can fast travel there, right? We could just teleport over there and give them to her. Oh, that's Oliver's farm. How do we travel? We have what? Why does it matter? What's the difference if you're fast traveling? Oh, maybe it it means you end up on your chocobo or not? <laughs> I can't help it. Their moments are just so cute together. Oh, oh my goodness. Chloe, we did get you the flowers for the flower crown, but I have destroyed part of your shop. I hope that's okay. Wow. Look at all of these. Thank you. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried, though. What if mine's not as pretty as Mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? We'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. Ah! Look, you like? It's not the same I as mine. I need to be put on quite Yeah, I do. Thank you so much, both of you. There's something I can help you with. Oh, Billy. Here, for you. Oh. oh did you make Pull this? some. Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. So. Ah! <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> dying, dying, dying. Oh yes, a feast for all. They always do though. For everyone. 
Do you think Grandpa would like one of my flower crowns too? Damn, we should have made three of them. We should make one for everybody. Okay, I've got five Chukabo plums. Might as well buy these while we're here. If you ever want to change your Chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. I just wanted to get rid of that discovery on my map. Oh no, no. There's another one. Chocobo, look at me. I can't see. I don't have enough for the third piece yet. <gasps> One on red, please. That would be so cute. Stop. Okay, let's go beat up that guy with the, um... Let's go beat up that guy that fair and square bought a collectible card. <laughs> for our own reasons, shall we? Shall we? Quests, okay. Oh wait, there's, wait, I completed that one, okay. The objective on map, it's over here. Let's track it. Can I fast travel here? Yes, I can. Is this one I haven't been to before? I haven't been to it yet, sugar. Let's go over here to do this side quest first. Oh, this is where we started. Whoops. I don't know if this counts as a spoiler, but I heard, I heard that the only did options are not just, uh, the usual four plus, no. Yeah, usual four plus red plus Kitsid, there's more. I don't know if that comes as a spoiler to say so. Oh, cause we were fighting? I didn't listen to that conversation fully, damn it. Not really a spoiler. Right, right, right. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Sir. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here Neither. for the card. Oh, this guy's gonna be really hard. At least not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. Mm-mm. So you game? Maybe I should buy cards. Oh my god, Fat Chocobo, a legendary Queen's Blood card? What does it do though?
Oh, this is a full set. Hmm. I'll buy them all, fuck it. Um, okay, let's challenge him to a game. <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. Excuse me, sir. That was rude. You now own a card that can lower the power of or enfeeble other cards. Oh goodness. Okay, new mechanic. New mechanic, guys. Turn your brains on for a minute. When a card part is reduced to zero, it's destroyed and the position it was occupying becomes empty again. Oh, okay. And also cards your abilities activate only when they are destroyed. Therefore, sometimes it benefits you to use an enfeeblement abilities on your own cards rather than your opponent. Oh, it's getting deep, it's getting deep. Okay, these this Titan and Fat Chocobo is way too strong. I'm not gonna be able to use it yet, so there's literally no point. Uh, which one enfeebles stuff? That looks good. This also looks pretty good. And this one looks good. Okay, um, what one should we get rid of? Um... I don't really like those ones, so I'll get rid of them. That oh, one's pretty good. To get rid of two. This one is like a really hard to use. Okay. Let's go with this. See how it goes. If you want a challenge, I'll be here. Oh, I hope that's saved. I don't want to do that again. Only one way to get that chocobo and moogle card back. Beat me, fair and square. Titan is a two pawn card, so it should be okay to use. Oh, but the oh, maybe it is. Then bust out those cards, boy. But its par level is pretty high. Okay, let's bring it out and put away. Maybe this one. Okay. Let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try. That is one chunky bird, true. True. Mm. This is fine. got five there from Titan alone, so that's pretty good. So far, not bad. Ooh. What does that do? Still not sure what the like the green means. Know what I mean? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I finally got I can finally use this one if I can use it next turn. cards though. Damn, did he get me? I might still be able to win it. Oh no! Woo! Whoa. Actually, it might work out well for me. If I put this down, then it brings me up to it.
Nice. Nice! That's what you get, Thorin. You suck. What kind of collector are you? I just started this game like 30 minutes ago. Oh, nice. We got the legendary Chukabu and Moogle card. Riz par by one for each other's... For each other enhanced ally. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Excuse me, baby girl. Just teleport straight back here, huh? Easy, easy. Tom is currently on high alert. I hope this guy's gonna treat us to a nice cocktail. This rare is definitely wasted on me. Here, it's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? Yes, please. So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. I don't know if you heard of the joint. Oh, I might have heard of it. They called it the Cosmo. Ah! Uh, <laughs> pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. So cool! Thanks. Tifa, say something. Um, excuse me, that's me, by the way. You know, that was just what I needed. I knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Is it Johnny? Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that seventh heaven bartender. How did he know? Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. Oh my god. So cute. I love it. I love it whenever the side quests also have so much development in it. I want a Cosmo Canyon. Surely there's a recipe online. Everyone, I was starting to work. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up. How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what's going on? It's the Mako Pipeline. It's sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. 
some hot shop from Midgard's Undercity, or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Uh, ask about this Merc. Who's this Our Merc? Our town technician's laid up in bed at the moment. I know. From a fiend we asked Shinra to send someone to fill in. Anyone who knows the word. I want to do all of the side back. quests, but I need to make sure I get the air of the deal. mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. You will? <gasps> Good night, Krim. Oh, we'll be starting I stream at the same time tomorrow? I'm yes, Fritz most likely. Around this time. I'm sure 9 a.m. mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? It so depends on how late I go to bed tonight. <laughs> to be please. honest, it's only quarter past two. I think you're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the undersea. The so you don't know who he's talking about? We're working as hard as we can to get the power grid back online. Don't go bragging about being the next soldier. Do something. I know that this I know that this side quest is trying to beat us into thinking it's Zack. <laughs> That's what they're trying to do. Um okay. Lifeline in peril. Let's track this one. Da -da. It's over there. I haven't activated that, but I can fast travel over here. Catch as much of the rest of us as I can before next stream. No worries, Krim. No worries. Good night and sleep well. See you soon. Maybe I should go to this tar as well. They're also marked on the map. Oh, it smells something. Okay, hold on. Sniff, sniff. Thank you! Loki rules, thank you so much! I appreciate it. I think the so whenever Final Fantasy VII Remake came out, I also uh, cosplayed as Aerith for the first uh, day of playing the game. And I think that it would be kind of interesting to compare how I looked on that stream to how I look in this stream. The improvement, I think, is a lot. <laughs> Or at least I hope it's a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> because I streamed like 14 hours that day in cosplay. Like by the end of the stream, I'm pretty sure like it was falling apart. <laughs> I like took the lenses out and put my glasses on. <laughs> Megani, Aerith, let's go. Mm. Wait, it says there's a tar right here. Where is it? Eh. Am I blind? Oh, yes I am. It's over here. Da -na 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 -na. God, I love this song. It's so good. There's so many. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! The oil is back. We need to follow it. Uh, Chocobo, come here. I might need you.
Take me to your life spring. Very good at this. Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This chip likely contains an exceptionally rare formula. I recommend searching for it. A what? A rare formula? What is that for? Oh, do I need to be up there? Head to the maintenance warehouse. Hmm. How did I get up there? Can I walk around this way? today is the game living up to the hype so far it truly is it really is i mean we've literally just begun and there's so much content we've just started but i heard from some reviewers that the first 10 hours of the game is like very open um like it's a very open world game and it feels very very different to remake and then like after the first 10 hours or so, um, it kind of goes back onto like the linear Final Fantasy vibe. But I'm sure it goes back to being open as well in between the story beats. So I'm kind of curious to see how the piercing of that all plays through. Right now I'm getting just very like open world, do whatever the hell you want. There's a bunch of side quests, enjoy them. A lot of freedom. But of course, like, the story is so important to Final Fantasy, so, like, I know a lot of people think of linear as, like, a negative thing, but I think often, especially in storytelling, linear can actually be a very positive thing. So, I'm interested to see how the pacing goes. Really, guy? I mean... It might happen. Oh, yeah! Is that Cloud? Kyrie. But I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? She's no Merc. Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is... Uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. <laughs> <more parts. laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we look for him together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you. I swear I'll do anything. Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so... These are the parts that I need. 
More would probably be better, but that number there is the bare minimum. So, any questions? Uh, where are the parts? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Here, this is a mechanic that I really appreciate. Oh, Kuro! Kuro Hin, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. I'm so sorry I missed that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Um, this is a mechanic I really like. And other games need to take note. If you want extra information and extra dialogue from these little side quests, um, if you want the extra information, you can ask for it. And if you want to skip it, you can. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. As someone that really does like Genshin Impact, this is a mechanic that Genshin Impact needs. Badly. Right? Like, you know whenever it's like a side quest and it just goes on, they ramble on and on and on and on and on. And then at that point you just, you just lose interest. This, you can choose to listen to it if you want to, or you can skip through it. I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for food and boats. She's busy, can't you see? She's a girl at work. I already got that one, okay. More this way? Oh no, that's her. Oh dear, I just need to turn- give this to her? Did you find what we need? Oh, I don't have nearly enough. I believe in you, fellow Merc. Ah, okay, I need to go further away. <laughs> the game music sound a bit distorted. Really? Is it? It shouldn't be? Is anyone else having that problem? Is it just the game music or my voice too? a little bit bigger it's just my internet it's yeah it seems like the stream should be running smoothly i did get a new microphone so i am a little worried maybe that is changing things but it shouldn't right normal okay yeah we got a new mic set up yesterday uh, my friend gray from blues came over and he set it all up yesterday very well i have no idea what it, i'm doing when it comes to like sound specifically i'm not well versed Interesting, very interesting.
Maybe it was that song? What is that? Huh? Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? Yes. What a coincidence. I do. I do. These are known as guide stones. Mm -hmm. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. What? The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary sent to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Is this how we get his crystals? He created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Oh, thank you. Oh, I should stretch, you know. I really should take a minute to stretch. Oh. Roll the shoulders. Oh, even just a little stretch felt good. I should have stretched this morning before streaming, to be honest. I think I lost it. I don't know. Oh. Never mind. Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to a sanctuary is aligned with guide stones. Break one to release the light and it will lead you to the sanctuary. Streaming for almost six hours already. I think we're gonna be here for probably another six hours. <laughs> Cause it's only two o'clock. This is positively incredible, Cloud. I know, I time flies. It's a memory game. Examining a summoning crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order and you must memorize their positions. Unnecessary timing? Oh my god. The points will then disappear and you must make inputs at the correct time to replicate the matrix. Oh my god. Oh no, it's over for me. I'm not good with memory stuff. Oh no. Okay. Commence. One, two, three, four. I mean, that one was kind of easy. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that one was easy, but I have a feeling that that is going to possibly get harder in the future. Perhaps. Perchance, it could possibly. Analysis complete. I managed to 12 hours later. I know. I know, I'm gonna try and not be silly this time because, yeah, when Remake came out, I streamed for 14 hours a day. For three days until I completed it. But this game is like much longer than um than remake, so like it would be kinda silly to rush to the end this time. I want to enjoy it a little bit slower. Not that I didn't enjoy it uh when I was doing remake. I enjoyed it a lot, but then I just played it alone again a lot slower off stream.
But this time, it's like, yeah, I probably will play this off stream uh, after I finish it. But at the same time, I don't know. It's a, it's such a long game, so I don't I don't want to rush to the end as much. I do want to keep, I do want to try and complete it pretty quickly, but not super quick. Not not like detrimental to my health quick. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm having trouble locating these other parts. It's all the way down there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Take my time with it a little bit more. I did not take my time with Remake at all. At least not my first playthrough. It's over there. Um. Aha! Find it. Okay. Oh, are those enemies there? Whoops. They're so small I didn't even notice them. Okay. The beat? The beat? Okay, back to Kire. Let's go. Since you're restricting chat to subscribers in this game, should we avoid gift subs for night? Oh no, that's totally okay. It's totally okay to do gift subs. The the sub only is really just a case of um keeping trolls from coming in. And I think whenever you give subs, it usually subs people that like are in the chat pretty often. But usually people that have like troll accounts or whatever, they just made a brand new account, so I wouldn't really worry. Daman, I'm good. How are you today? Yes, I'm having a blast so far. This game is amazing. Having a great time with it. Can I just teleport to where she is? Out of laziness? I can. <laughs> laziness wins again. It wins again. Stop! <laughs> Stop. Thank you for gifting another 10 subs to the community. <laughs> thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And XBB, thank you so much for the sub as well. Welcome on in. I just saw your friend clip on Insta. You literally became her superb work. Thanks, Brian Twerk. Thank you. Yeah, cosplaying her was a lot of fun, actually. I did, I did. XBB, thank you so much. Thank you for the six months. And guys, let's go! Freedom! Damn, she runs fast. Jesus! Grandma didn't send you out here to find me, did she? Because if she did, I'm not going back. I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid, ever letting me join her on a job. So I packed up and hit the road. Now I'm out here making my fortune. I can't wait to rub my success in her smug face. Pelomer, defend me! Time to take out the trash! <laughs> So a lot of people tossing around. Yeah, it's super popular. It's a very popular anime at the minute. It's a, it's pretty good. Let's get going.
Well, here we are. And you're sure that you can fix this? Huh. You shouldn't underestimate an undercity girl. I can spin garbage into gold and will. Whoa! Ooh! Oh, that's an interesting monster design. Um, interesting, very interesting indeed. Take it from here. So it's my turn? Go on! Get up! I'd keep my distance if I were you! This one's for you! Oh damn, she's silenced. God, the music really stands out. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Gangan Rumpa? Nothing. You know what? I agree with that. <laughs> Kyrie does look like a Dangan Rumpa character. She there's something about her that looks a little out of place in this world and I'm not sure I'm not sure how to place my finger on it. Why would you even fight a mushroom? Looks like they can't go after you. That's fair, we if they can't move, we could literally just walk away, huh? <laughs> Still, where's the satisfaction in that, you know? Ooh, treasure. Lucky. Oh, there's another treasure around here. Ah, okay, okay. This is a unlockable area on the map. Gotcha. Mako Pipe Junction. <laughs> Report to the mayor. Okay, we can we can fast travel then back to this area. It shouldn't be an issue. And then there's one more. I'm going to assume the last one is um, doing the quest for Red. Tom is currently on high alert. Please limit your activity to recent security operations. Just... 
there you are. I heard everything from the Merkers. Oh yeah, yeah. Told me <laughs> Maybe that's why. Pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is. We all saw what happened in The Last of Us. That's You're why we need to fight those mushrooms. Where's your Merk now? I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I paid for another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. Sounds like you still got competition, Merc. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. What? Insisted that her fellow Mercs be compensated. What? She left us 3,000 gil? That was pretty generous. Thank you, Kyrie. Wow. I'm impressed that she would do that for us. <laughs> this guy has been waiting here for so long. Patience is always rewarded, right? His deer better show up by the end of this game. Look at the size of that bouquet. Livestock spin. A clever fiend of some sort has been preying on livestock of late. Okay. We can take care of that. Whoa, it's all the way out there? Jeez. Uh, I haven't activated that one. Is this the closest place that would get me there? Or maybe going this way is better? No, I think this, this is the closest one. I kind of want to, on the way, stop by here. Am I tracking this quest? Kyrie in pronunciation. I think it's Kyrie. Kyrie? 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 I think it's Kyrie. that bridge over there. Can I jump across? No. Cannot. <laughs> I dream one day that we get an Aerith and Tifa duo with you and Lena. Me too. I'm also dreaming of that day. You know what? I'm gonna go do this tar because if I don't do the tar, I will forget. Oh, oh no! Okay, okay, okay. We gotta fight. We gotta fight first. And I saw a little baby chocobo. Unfettered friendship. Let's go. My friendship remains unfettered. Ah, there you are. Hello, little chocobo. I'll follow you. Oh, oh my god, it's so cute. He's stuck. Come on, come on, little guy. There is Segway and sunglasses. <laughs> Here 
we are. Okay, uh... Ooh. I always struggle to get off the chocobo, I don't know why. Like, my muscle memory is not developed for the mining and dismounting. <laughs> I always make mistakes with it. Keep it together. So it's my turn? This one's for you! It's your turn. For it. I'm coming! You can do it! Let's do this. Chadley in the game? Yes, Chadley is in this game. That's who we're doing these TARS for. The TARS are for Chadley's uh, research. Basically, uh, all of the like different discoverable things that are in the open world are for Chadley. And then he can make you more materia and unlock new uh, practice battles, stuff like that, summons. Pretty similar to the stuff that he did last time. Just that there's a lot more for us to gather for him. Why do the pumpkins have all the pumpkins? I, you know what, still, I'm still asking that same question. I'm yet to discover why there's a little turnip pumpkin thing on their butt yet. Um, but hopefully the, the game explains it at some point. It's a little, uh, like, I'm pretty sure when I played this game at Tokyo Game Show, it did not have that on it, but I could be misremembering. But I'm almost certain that it didn't. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way. Owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume it means to blame. You could find and deal with it. How do you know Broden? The ecosystem here is something special. Worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up. And I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that community is able to connect people. Sure, we'll deal with it. Appreciate it. That your dog there? Mind if I pet him? I don't. But he might. Who's <laughs> a good boy? It's you. <laughs> 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 Something tells me he's not all bark. Mm -hmm. You know, your pup might be able to track the bean scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. Let's go, Red. We can do this. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Red lets Aerith pet him. Here. It's been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. Have your chocobo sent the area? Come on, Titus Blitzball. 
When the question mark icon appears above your chocobo, it is detected a scent that warns investigation. He's got something. What? Excuse me. <laughs> well, I still have a faint impression of the scent. Together, we can find the beast. Hmm? Where'd it go? Oh, whoops. <coughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. Hey, David! It's going well. It's a lot of fun already. But I feel like even now, we've still barely scratched the surface, of course. We're like five hours into the game. Can you add rims to your Jugaboo? I mean, actually... Yeah. <laughs> you you can. From here on out? No, the Chocobo has led us this far after all. sniff it out oh thank you guys okay posture check need to do a stretch Ugh. feels good feels good Whew. thank you guys for reminding me uh it says to go this way i guess Am I supposed to scour there? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to scar here. No? I'm confused. It says to go here. I'm here. I'm sniffing. Do I need to get off the chocobo? Uh, I think I need to get off the chocobo and have a little- Ah! Get off! And investigate? Nope. I'm gonna drink and refill a snack for my cat sleeping next to me. Oh! Yep, you're trapped. You're trapped. It's the rule. You're not allowed to move. Am I missing something? Please be good to follow the perpetrator scent trail. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Sure, it doesn't stray. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> not really sure what happened there, but it's working now, so that's what the main thing. 
Oh damn, there's an aisle over there too. I need to follow it too. I'll follow the aisle first, because if I lose it, then I can't come back to it. Oh man, distractions. I'm getting distracted, but I need to follow it. Get me off. Crag Sheared Life Spring. Flora and Fauna of the Grasslands. Nice. I love these areas. So pretty. Okay, back to the quest at hand. <laughs> I was hoping the choker could like glide down. Um, huh? Is there a day-night cycle in this game? I'm not so sure. I don't think so. But I'm not 100% certain. I don't know if we're even close to the objective anymore. Where is it? This way, okay. Oh no! Another chocobo! Okay, I need to follow this one now too. <laughs> I need to follow this one now too. Okay, this quest would be very, very straightforward if there wasn't so many distractions around. I have to, I have to pick this up. It will greatly help me out later. Thank you. Okay, sniff again. Now, where were we? Okay, this way. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is actually having a collab with uh, Red Bull. <laughs> if you buy two Red Bulls, you can get like a special sticker. Um, so I actually did it last night. I got, I got the two Red Bulls, so I'm kind of I kind of want to drink one. I don't usually drink uh, energy drinks, but I did it for the sticker. I got the sticker with Tifa and Aerith on it. Of course. Of course. Ooh! It's a 
fancy fancy looking wolf. White terror. It's the white terror. Firebolt blade? Yeah, let's do that. I'll take care of them. This one's for you! Can you take over for me? Hey, you're for it. Let's assess it. Ooh. It gradually amasses energy over time. Dealing damage or blocking its attacks will cause it to lose energy. Once its energy has been depleted, it'll become pressure. Oh, I couldn't steal anything. I'll show you what I can do. Keep my distance if I were you. Ow! I kinda I forgot how to guard in this. Oh, okay, it's R1. I was trying to steal one more just in case. Nah, I'm getting it. That's fine. Keep it together. Yeah, let's go. GG's. Easy, easy. I already had two energy drinks today. Probably not a good idea what? to have a third. Oh, yeah, probably not. It's my sense of Most likely not. Oh, my floors my fell again. I didn't really fall. It hasn't been the same. Hold on. My floors. There we go. <laughs> okay. I just want to keep them up, you know? Tifa is so far away. Yeah, so basically you have like your main party, which is the main three, and then the other ones are kind of on the outskirts, but they're still doing damage, which is kind of handy. So right now my main party is Claude, Aerith, and Red, and then um, Tifa and Barrett are kind of like on the outside. <laughs> Oh, am I hungry? A little bit, yes. I am a little bit hungry. I could have lunch. I could stop and have lunch for sure. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though. <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. <laughs> what is that? World Intel from. Phenomenon Intel? Coastal Lookout? Should I go there? Let's let's check that out. I wanna know what that is. I am I am a curious curious girl. What color of monster the can meat? Oh, their monster zero sugar is too much, probably. Mm. I actually never really drink energy drinks. Do you guys find that energy drinks help you? I usually just drink tea if I want caffeine. I do like Red Bull though, but I never really drink it because I'm like, my god, Red Bull's expensive. <laughs> I have some gamer subs that was sent to me to try. Maybe I'll try some tomorrow. Keep us going through the games, gamers. Let's go. When you got them for rebirth, to be honest, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I guess I did the CM. I got Red Bulls. As a kid, I used to love Red Bulls, but yeah, they were kind of expensive, so. I don't know. So far I've drank two, I've had two cups of tea today. 
two kind of regular sized mugs of black tea. Ooh. Another sanctuary. Bro, the exploration's really fun. Oh, hello, little ghost. What are you doing in here? When did you get here? Oh, goodness gracious me. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? What are you playing with? Hello. Oh, you're playing with a leaf, yes. A leaf from my flowers. Ghost is here, guys. If he wants to come up, I'll let you know, but he's very entertained by uh, a leaf that broke off of these floors, so. They're not real, so don't worry. They're not real. He came for the floors and cables, true. I didn't know, like, to mention it, but I posted, like, a photo of a uh, ghost, like, sniffing around these, these floors. When I got them for my Aerith cosplay, because he was like sniffing around them. And uh, I got so many messages being like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Cats are like... Like, lilies are deadly to cats. And I'm like, oh shit. I didn't like specify that they were fake. I thought it was kind of obvious that they were fake flowers, but I guess not. Um, I had so... Like, my DMs were flooded on Instagram being like, What are you doing? Like, you're gonna kill your cat! I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. They're fake flowers. They ain't real. Excellent work. I hope we can procure data from other crystals as well. He's gone. He left me. Gamer subs collab win? Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. They sent me some gamer subs to try, so I want to see how I feel about uh, gamer subs first. But so far, so good. They sent me some anime thigh flavors <laughs> that should be interesting they are they are pretty good quality they weren't cheap let me tell you but anything for the Aerith cosplay that oh hello ghost Ooh. oh the proto relic should be somewhere in your vicinity it may not be in plain sight but I trust you'll be able to find it a proto relic Oh. Well. Ooh, I can sneak in. Oh, 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 what the, what the? What? What is that? Yep, this here's something that will appreciate. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Wait. What is going on? We appreciate it. When something appreciates it. Who are these guys? Who are these clones? These guys again. What the hell you people doing here? What who are you? I remember them. What did you find? Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I Is it ready or it like should I come out? Let me know when it's ready and I'll come out. I'll have a little lunch break. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey Cloud, isn't that I remember them. Who are you? I didn't, I didn't, yeah, but Clyde might have. Oh, you're 
responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization. Oh, are we? <laughs> News to me. Hold on. Now you're after our treasure? The well, sucks to be you. We found it. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. <laughs> Hand it over. Now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the lights? No, please, it's all yours. <laughs> me, me coded. Jesus, we're freaking out. Now listen here, no nuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it use a decoy. Yeah. Use the decoy. All of you. That's who. He did a lot of damage to me. Sugar. Deal with that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. So it's my turn? Oh. <laughs> you okay? One more shot. Um, okay, heal Claude. Listen to this music! My god, so good! I have no choice but to bop. I have no choice. I wasn't listening to. Oh goodness! I wasn't listening to Chadley. What did he say? I was too busy bopping. Well, I think something good happened. So, <laughs> oh, there's another one over there. I see. I see. Oh my goodness! So dead. Bless. <laughs> These clines, these clines. Still can't get in there, huh? Hmm. I was hoping if I killed them, I could get in there, but I guess not. It's fine. I wonder how you unlock it then. Do you know the way? Okay, that's been completed. That's been completed. Uh, what were we doing? We were doing red side quest, right? <laughs> red side quest. And it ends over here. Rich, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Final fun happy Final Fantasy Day, Era. Thank you. I said to play Final Fantasy 2 when my copy comes. Is it coming today, Rich? I hope you all enjoy it. I've only, yeah, I've, I'm still like in the beginning area, I guess, but it's been fantastic so far. This is gonna be an amazing journey. I know it. I'm so happy. I just can't wait to keep going. <laughs> That bastard pay. Hell yeah, we did. I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? Correct. <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Don't worry. I didn't Take it. You. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Rose not feeling so hot. 
If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Mm -hmm. I haven't checked my equipment in a hot minute, so probably should do that. Uh, oil bracer. Ooh. An ornate bracer crafted of honor of a hermit philosopher. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat. Um, I could probably throw on some materia. Auto cast materia, no point, because I usually play as Clyde. Um, auto cast would work for bio. No, auto cast would work best for uh cure, right? Does that mean that she'll automatically cure when they need cure? No point in putting that there. I want to get some magic for Red. He should be decent at magic too. Lunchtime? Fridge ready. Okay. <laughs> Why is his tail on fire? Um, I think it's just like a feature of his species. I don't know if they ever tell us why, but I think it's just part, yeah, part of his species. Because, um, Red is like the only one of his species left alive at this point in the game. But at the end of Advent Children, you see Red with like his cubs. And his cubs also have the little fire on their tail. So, yeah, I think it's just part of their makeup. I'm not sure if it's uh, explained at all. Rich, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. <laughs> it's coming in today. Yes. Just waiting for the postman. Let's go. I know that feeling. Sitting by the door waiting for the postman to arrive. Like, thank you for waiting. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Ugh. The wig is getting all messed up. It's fine, it's fine, we'll be fine. Ghost is here for now. He's messing around with a leaf on the floor. <laughs> Being a wee brat. How was food? It was good. Just very simple. I had a little, uh, fried egg on rice and a little cup of fruit, a fruit cup that I got at the combini yesterday. Yes, definitely energizing. You know, um, I realized something like last year. I used to kind of, when I first started streaming, I used to kind of be like, oh, I don't, I don't want to be like taking a break for too long. I don't want to switch to the BRB screen. Like I need to, I need to like stay on the whole time. I, I can't take a break, I can't take a break. Like, and if I would like stop to eat, I would like rush it and try and shove it in and like, but then I realized if I didn't like take, you know, a 15, 20 minute break, then my energy overall would dip so much faster. But if I just take a break, take a breather, eat my food, then I come back completely refreshed and it's definitely the better way to do things. Because back then, it would, I used to think like, oh my goodness, like, if you stay away and you're on the BRB screen, then like, the viewers will like, switch away or they won't want to hang out and they won't wait. And then, yeah, I guess over the years, I've kind of learned, it's like, who cares, man? Who cares? <laughs> I actually, for the past, I want to say almost two years, I have had the viewership on my streams hidden. So I don't even see them anymore. And 
I can say without a doubt, it has made my streaming experience a million times better because I could give zero Fs anymore. <laughs> Ruby, thank you for the bits. Peach has been freed. Praise the sun. Thank you so much, Ruby. Appreciate it. Yeah, you need that second win. Exactly, exactly. And I brought a Red Bull for later. I don't need it now because I just add, but... And then these are the stickers, look. The Red Bull stickers that I got yesterday. I don't think I'm actually gonna take them off, I'm just gonna keep them, but I think they're pretty cute. Hello, Grey Spectre, welcome. How are you today? Being a streamer is so hard. It's so much harder than, you know, like a regular nine to five, you know? Guys just don't get it. Being a content creator is so difficult. <laughs> For the record, I am joking. <laughs> Wait, is Audrey and Tifa cosplay today? Let's go! Are you serious? I didn't know she was doing Tifa cosplay today. Let's go, Audrey. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, did I do this one? I did. Oh, there's still a quest that I'm missing back in calm, so let's go to it. Let's pick up this other quest. And then I think after we finish this quest, we can probably progress a little bit further. Is currently on high alert. Please limit your activities to recent security operations. So, uh, what exactly are we doing? Where's the bulletin board? Stepped away for three minutes and I'm lost. Aha, it's over there. That weirdo's whispering sweet nothing's to me. That's easy to me to seem for sure. It's true. That is very true. Uh, yeah, I think that definitely having content creation has its um, drawbacks, like with any job. And I think especially for very, very, very large content creators, like I think that um, there's definitely a lot that you have to deal with that maybe you don't have to deal with in a regular job. But... That being said, I think you don't really see a lot of streamers retiring streaming to work in retail, for example. And I think there is a reason for that. <laughs> you know, when people like to say, like, all oh, content creation is so much harder than a regular job. It's like, well, if it's so much harder, I think we would see a lot more content creators retiring to do normal jobs. And we don't see that. Ever. Hello, ghost. Hello, ghost. Can we help you? We're a little busy, baby. Oh no, he's standing on the he's standing on the thing. He's standing on the signboard thing. Can you guys hear me? Okay, he's standing on the signboard. Oh my god, he pushed things. Oh my god. Can you guys hear me? Okay, does the sign still still sign the same? Because he was stepping on the signboard and doing things. Sounds good, okay. <laughs> okay, I have like, with the new microphone, I got like this new sign board thingy and it's kind of big and, uh, but the problem is it is sitting in this path that the cats like to stand on when they go and look out my window. Just making sure my window's closed. I know that my window is closed, but like it'll, oh, my worst nightmare is that window being open and they go over there. Oh my god, oh my god, what's the matter? Are you okay, Goose? What's going on? You're, he's standing on the signboard again. Can you stop? <laughs> stop? Can you stop? This is mommy's thing. 
These are mummy's things. Stop trying to knock them off the table. How do I get to where he is? God damn it. Do they knock things off a lot? Ghost likes to. Em, it's not as bad, but Ghost likes to um, push things over the edge. Breaking news at this hour. Avalanche. It's one of his favorite pastimes. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. The word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. You don't look so good. What's wrong? You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess. <gasps> calling for me. Urging Is he a remnant? Oh, God. Crazy saying it aloud. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound crazy. I was a company grunt years ago. Oh no. But when my parents died, oh no. I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. Why are you pissed at Shinra? I'll spare you the grisly details. And just say they stole my life from me. My family. My home. Is that reason enough for you but i thought calm was your home not anymore this isn't the calm i grew up in my calm was destroyed by shinra and this a soulless imitation but i stayed because i won't let myself forget what those bastards took living in hate can poison a man well dead thank you my friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. Okay. Speak with Mildred. Damn, they really be talking about us on the news all day, every day. They're obsessed with us. Positively obsessed. Ooh, we have to go all the way out there. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> chokey, 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 boo! Let's go! Da -da -na 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 -na. Oh! It's sniff. Sniff time! Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ooh, over here. Da -da 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 -da. Sniff, 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 sniff. This way. This way. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Eh? This way. Behind? Huh? Mm. Behind again? What? Huh? Is it where Aerith is standing? Excuse me, Aerith. 
Is it here? Aha! Five beast bones. I like the chukubu music. It's nice, right? It's very iconic, too. The music so far has been excellent. I'm just not a fan of that weird remix Chocobo theme that they've got going on. <laughs> I don't know if we'll hear it again, though. I'm sure we probably will. Mildred, I will talk to you in a minute. I just, I just gotta, I just gotta explore a little bit. I'm a gamer. I need to explore. send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? There's the three in this game? Of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off and get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? How do you know Broden? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. What happened between Broden and Shinra? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper was even handpicked to take part in a super secret experiment. Uh-oh. It wasn't long after that we lost uh -oh. contact. Uh-oh. By the mm -hmm. time we reconnected, he had already put that life behind him. What experiment? I have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. Will Broden get better? He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. How do I obtain the parts? Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should Might be, be more. Yeah, there possibly the is more. Because Piece we're gonna game, right? go to the Chocobo races, so maybe it has its own unique one, too. On you, Perhaps I can be of service. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, there's I going to be a third parts. part the still. They contain will reveal the location of transmitter chips, as well as other points of interest. At least, at I least a third search. part. So this one, this one takes us okay. up to. Were Let's you there during our OG FF? Only fitting. Seven playthrough. This one will take us up to the city of the ancients, where something very sad and awful and terrible happens. That's where this game ends. So the ending of this game is going to have a lot of tears for me. There's going to be a lot of tears. <laughs> so let's put off the ending for as long as possible, okay? 
The ending is gonna be... The ending is gonna break me. The ending of this game is gonna throw me over its knee and break my back. It ends on a cliffhanger. Ah! I mean, I don't know, because I don't know the ending. Um, I, I don't want to be spoiled on the ending. Um, so I don't know, but of course in the OG, the, in the original Final Fantasy VII, I don't think it's a spoiler to say, because, you know, I think we all know what happens in the original Final Fantasy VII, but in the original Final Fantasy VII, Aerith dies um, when Sephiroth stabs her. So that's around the spot that all we know, all that's been confirmed is that it ends at the city of Agents. Um, so we're g we have to see what happens, you know? From, from day one, I've never really wanted to let myself <laughs> um, get too excited at the idea of her not dying because it's just gonna be too painful, but yeah, we don't know until we get there. I cannot keep up all this Final Fantasy VII. I know, it, it's a little confusing. It's definitely quite confusing. So there is Final Fantasy VII, the original 1997 version, the KMI, um, way back then. Then we have, we have another game that's about the Turks, but it's not available anymore. Um, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which is a prequel talking about Zack's story and kind of leading up to his death. We have Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, which is a mobile game that's currently available. Um, that is another prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Um, it contains the story, The First Soldier, which The First Soldier is a prequel story to Final Fantasy VII. Um, and it tells the story of Sephiroth whenever he was quite a young kid and fighting for Shinra and his comrades and kind of goes into depth about his childhood a little bit Don't more. And then we also have Dirge of Severus, which takes place. Oh, okay. Then we have Advent Children, which takes place two years. The movie it takes place two years after the original Final Fantasy VII, and then we have Dirge of Severus, which I believe takes place three years after the original Final Fantasy VII, which is a Vincent-based game, a third-person shooter. Yes, a third-person shooter where you play as Vincent. But it's—I haven't played that one in a very, very long time. I don't really remember that much from Dirge of Severus. Hey, Cloud. And now we have Final Fantasy VII Remake, which was originally thought to be a one-to-one -one remake of Final Fantasy VII, but then when we started playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, we saw that they're actually changing things here and there, and there's whispers, and it's kind of being touted as more of a sequel to Final Fantasy VII than an actual remake of Final Fantasy VII. It's a little confusing, but here we are. Anrik, thank you so much for the 10 months. I appreciate it. <laughs> they need to change the series name to yet another Final Fantasy. Just, just seven. So it just needs to be yet another Final Fantasy seven spinoff. <laughs> oh, at excavation points, your chocobo can sniff out buried transmuter chips. Okay. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You smell anything? He doesn't smell anything. Looks like Tifa's Chuka will find something. Reimagining, retelling, exactly. I mean, I I believe it's a sequel at this point. Oh my goodness, Anrik! <laughs> My floor! Was that the cat? God damn it. Wait, holy shit, Anrik. 25? Oh my god. Anrik, thank you so much for gifting 25 subs to the community. Thank you, thank you. 
That's so generous and kind of you. Thank you so much. Was it on my Final Fantasy VII talk that got you? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this girl played Dirge of Severus. She knows her stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much, Enric. Ah, I find it. Oh, that reminds me. I also, um... I also finished watching the Avatar live-action remake yesterday. Our 10 month anniversary- it's 10 months! My gosh! I do not think it goes- think you just bumped the floor. Ah, it was- oh, I'm gonna blame Ghost anyway. <laughs> just kidding. Skyr. Skyr is one of those words that I know in my accent. It doesn't sound right. It's like coward. I can't say it right. Skyr. No oh, I'm still in season one. I'm enjoying it so far. Blade Runner, I hope you love it. Trust me, it only gets better. It only gets better. Avatar is one of those very rare TV shows that season one is not the best. I, but it's not bad either. Season one is still very good, but it just continues to get better. Season two, season three, it just keeps getting better. What the? Ooh. Here it is. My favorite season three. Season three is amazing. Season two is great too. I think season three is also my favorite. So episodes back in the day, but never watched it from episode one. Oh, watching it in order is so so much more fulfilling, I guess. You need only collect the requisite materials and craft the part. If you're having trouble tracking them down, then you may want to try analyzing more life springs. Nice! We did it! I like that the chocobo can also destroy the... The boxes so then I don't have to jump off. Okay, what were we doing before that happened? Craft women go, you must procure the following parts. Okay, where do I get those from? Do I have any of those? I might have some of those that I can give to her. Let's see. So, what do you want to know? Step one was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby to work. As for the ingredients, you'll need to bag the Quetzal bottle, this rare bird, to get what you need. Not that okay. anyone's seen it lately. Sure Shinra's to blame for that, too. But maybe you'll have better luck. Time to tap into some life springs. Yeah. Okay, we gotta tap into a life Wind spring to find out. Chico is called Titus. That's a tar. Water wheel. How would I find the life spring? Oh, is this it? Maybe this one? Should I fast travel to it? Hmm. Not here. What does it mean, tap into some life springs? Or just find more of them? There's one. 
Maybe I need to go to this one? kind of glide. The the chukaboos can't really fly, but they can like glide downwards a little bit. Huh. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this one. Maybe I need to find more springs? Full name, we are what? I'm kind of curious to know if in between um, Rebirth and the next part three, if they will actually um, remake Dirge of Severus, because they remade Crisis Core and they re released Advent Children. Dirge of Severus is kind of like the last piece of that puzzle. But I'm not sure if it's necessary to remake it. <laughs> Of the Final Fantasy franchise, it's probably my least favorite, but I'm sure some people love it. Right? <laughs> I don't hear people talking about it very much. I mean, people love Vincent, so... Lucrezia. I just remember him brooding a lot in that. I'm saying Lucrezia's name a lot. I have not played Before Crisis. It's not available at all anymore, unfortunately. Whoa, okay, another earthquake. Third earthquake of the day? That's a little concerning. Still going. Still going. Okay, I think it's stopping. Right? The fact that there's so many is a little uh, concerning, right? What do you do? Like, what can you do? They're all in Shiba? How's Shiba doing? Are they getting bigger or are they getting smaller? How modern is the apartment building you live in? This one was only built one year ago. So it's a very it's a very brand new apartment building. Actually, that was um, 
a big reason why I decided to move. Because the old apartment building I used to live in was built in the 70s. And of course it was still like a... Well, can... Wait, I thought I saw a chocobo here. I thought I saw a chocobo. No? No? I imagine it's about as safe as it gets. I imagine newer ones have built more strict standards. Yes. That is true. That is true. I mean, I feel like Japan in general, like, they're really strict with earthquake standards. Really, really strict with them. Because earthquakes are such a big issue here. The drinking water tastes nasty. Really? I never noticed. Oh, it says I'm right by a tar here. Where's the tar? Is it up there? Oh no, it's over there. I am so blind. I am so blind. Whoopsie. FGC Stone, thank you so much for the read. Hope you had a good stream today. Welcome on in. Does this tell me where more springs are at? Like, I'm so confused. What I'm supposed to do to find these other parts. But then again, it's... Oh, I mean, I'm at level 20. It says I need to be at level 22 for this quest, so I don't know. Oh, I'm way... It's way heavily chlorine. Ah! Yeah, I mean, that's true. Ju uh, Tokyo, specifically. The water is pretty heavy chlorinated. Breakfast was always there. Yes! So convenient. I guess I'll go here. I should go this way. Maybe I'm not supposed to do that quest yet. Oh, Japan definitely has great strawberries. Especially when they're in season. I think strawberry season is just ending. Which is really weird, because to me, I always assumed that strawberry was like a summer fruit, but in Japan, it's a winter fruit. in general is really sweet and very very good the only problem is it's expensive mm, I guess I should start traveling across that way You think fruit season were in summer, right? Especially strawberries. I've always associated strawberries with uh, summertime, but here it's a winter thing, like early January, February. What is this? 
An area of interest has been discovered. Hello? What is all this? Oh, cherries? Ooh, I do like cherries. Okay, I need to unlock three treasure chests in this area, so... There's one. Pop inside the mushroom ship mog still to get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein. I wonder what could it could be, but first, let's find the treasure chests. It says that this was an area of interest. Oh no, it's giving me too much. Ah, here's one. And I'm gonna assume the other one is maybe over by the other windmill? I hit somewhere when cherries are in season. I would go to Costco and still eat the entire box. I want to go to Costco so bad. There is Costco in Japan, but um, you kind of have to drive there. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And of course, if you're going to Costco, you want to buy a lot of stuff, right? That's kind of the point. I want to go... Okay, that area has been completed. Now I can move on. Check out the Moogle Moogles. Me! I want to play with the Moogles! Look at this. <laughs> How adorable is that? It's a little photo spot. Too cute. Let's have a knock. Enter the mog still. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I used to dream about having IKEA on my island, but I changed my mind. Really? Wait, does Hawaii not have IKEA at all? Or they do not? I need you were disappointed. Claude picked up a little herb on his way here. I think that's what's happening here. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa. Claude drank the cactus juice. He drank a little bit of cactus juice on the way here. Now we're having hallucinations. <laughs> Go should cosplay one of those. Oh my god, stop. That would be too adorable. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back to their mog still. Or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just beware, they're playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end, Kilpo. Oh, okay. Bring all five Moogles back to the mob still. <sighs> okay. Wait. There's Mo Lulu. Mo Lulu. Ah! What do I do? Okay, one's in, one's in. Mookie. Go, little monkey. Okay, two. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. They're so cute. Ah! Ah, Lily! Oh. Thank you so much for the six months, Lily. I appreciate it. Uh-oh. Get in there, get in there, Mo Lily. Mo Lily, come back here! Oh, you cheeky. 
Oh, he's cheeky. Oh, he's a cheeky. Come back here, Molilla. Get in there. One more. Mosh. Where are you, Mosh? Get over here. Easy, easy. Thank you so much. Thank you for the six months, Lily. I hope we're doing well today. Okay, returning all of the Mooglets to their mug still will grant access to a new shop at which you can exchange Moogle medals. Neat. How many did I- Oh, I've got 12. Not bad. Increases Cloud skill points. Increases Tifa skill points. Earrings which uh, bring HP up. Emerald, a gemstone that glitters with vivid rays and can be found in rabbit burrows. What do I use those for though? That's what I want to know. Speaking of skill points, Just I haven't looked at mine in a hot minute. Stools out there, Kubo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more doors we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Kubo. Sounds good to me. So cute. Over here. Okay. Uh, oh, emeralds could be sold for gill. Oh, I think I picked up some earlier, so I should probably sell them. Good to know. Check the item transmitter. Oh, I can make cushions now? Neat. What does a mixed potion do exactly? Ooh, I can craft this stuff too. I can also craft accessories, necklaces. Ah, okay, okay, this is good. Oh, wait. Oh, I can. I think I can use an emerald for this kind of stuff. Talisman. Let's make one of those for Aerith. Let's make one of these for Red. Can I make another one? Let's make another one for... Make one of these and another one of these. Windmill gear? What do I need this for? Oh, I need. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I need the talon. That's for the quest. How do you upgrade the weapon exactly? Do I just keep using it? Is there like another way I could do it? I can keep that one. Ooh, 
Ooh, Tifa doesn't really need magic attack, so I'll give her this for speed. Oh, this is handy. That is a nice way of looking at things. What did I miss? Did you already finish the game? <laughs> almost! <laughs> Definitely almost. Okay. I think that's everything I can do here. Oh. How do I use this? Oh, do I have to go to, like, the specific folio area? I do. I need to go to the specific folio area to use that. Okay. Makes sense. Does it you let you change outfits yet, by the way? I don't think so. I am not 100% sure. But from what I have gleaned is that there's outfits that you unlock throughout the game for special events so like when you're at the beach and stuff you can get bikinis and swimsuits for the characters depending on the quest you do um but on your second playthrough is when you can equip any of the outfits at any time for any character if that makes sense so on the first playthrough you kind of are stuck to the outfits that um the characters are supposed to be wearing but in the second playthrough you can uh put the outfits on whenever you want I think. Wait, I need to go to that picture spot. Stumble upon a particularly scenic location and press square in the main menu to enter photo mode. Then take a picture. Okay, can do that. Can do, can do. We're doing photography. Oh my god, cute. Oh wait, I want to pose. Let's pose first. I didn't take a photo! Wait, I need to pose! That was a bad photo. Okay, now I'm ready. Why he look like that though? <laughs> Why he look like he's seen shit? What's wrong, Clyde? He looks ill. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Oh my god. That's not... Maybe he's not as photogenic as I thought. He has, I guess that's true. I guess he has. Look at, look at Barrett. At least he's looking cool. He's posing for the photo. He's way more photogenic. Okay. Okay, we need to go back to Cam to turn in our photo to that photographer. Maybe he will like it, or maybe he will criticize us for our bad composition. Tom is currently 
on high alert. Please limit your activities to a... Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. You did me a good turn, so I did you one too. I convinced the association to make you a member. Of course, you're starting on the bottom rung, but you'll work your way up. And the more locations I'm in the photography the association. That ladder. Let's go. I think I should go to that over there. Can I transport to this spring? I can. from using quick nap stagger and animate to fight all enemies within the time limit how do i prevent them from doing that Retry, 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 retry. Okay. How do I stagger them? I need to assess. One more, one more. Barry. That was a very impressive battle just now. Yeah, that's his name, well Barry. Done. Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh, and I helped too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Go on. I want to retry. It's going to annoy me if it's not perfect. Yeah, literally, yeah. We're just talking to VTubers. That's basically what they are. Um, assess. You're up. Ooh, okay, they're weak to fire and ice. Got it. I should be able to stagger it with fire then, maybe? No? Uh, how do I keep them from killing them before they get staggered? Hmm. Too strong. Can you take over? Take over. <laughs> Has Zach appeared in other cutscene after this game's intro? Not yet. To be honest, we haven't really seen many more cutscenes outside of the beginning. Let me give Aerith the fire materia, that might help. And then I'll stick to playing as Aerith, she does the least amount of damage. 
Do you have a second fire material? Only one, okay. And then I'll give Clyde the wind material if he wants it. He can have it. Okay, let's retry. one more time. Maybe there's something I'm missing about these guys. Exploding its element of weakness will pressure it. Inflicting enough damage will cause it to not. But hitting with the part of offensive battles will weak it up again. Hmm. Maybe I'm too strong. Wait, maybe... Maybe bring in... Maybe change up my party? Maybe change the party to... Tifa and Barret? Because I haven't been using them much. Maybe they're not as strong? How do I change the party again? Oh, I forget how to change it. How do I change my party? I remember ha having trouble with this in the demo as well. I can remember. I don't know how to change my party. Okay, in, in combat settings, okay. Okay, let's go Claude, Aerith, Tifa. Let's try it this time. Maybe Tifa can stagger them? By doing little punchy punches? Okay, this will be my last try. Okay, Tifa, let's go. Oh yes, this might work, this might work, this might work. Keep going, Tifa. Go, Tifa. Go, Tifa. Yes, Queen. Go away, Claude. Go away. I don't need you right now. Yes, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. We did it. Okay. Now I can move on. 
Aerith is out of MP. Where's like the closest rest spot? Oh, it's over there. Let's go here and rest. Get R so far. I know I haven't done anything. Oh my goodness, I should probably try and progress, huh? I literally haven't done anything except for wander around the open world. I can see, I can, I can see why this game is uh, pretty long. Whoops, nope, nope, nope. Yes, let's rest here. You know what? Eight hours playing the game is fine. Eight hours wearing cosplay. Oh, look at her kicking her little feet. <laughs> She's so adorable. Oh, I love Aaron so much. Get him. Oh. Take the lead. Ready for you. I think a big reason why I love FF7 so much is just I love all the characters in our party so 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 much. Oh no! Okay, I'll keep heading down this way. It's midnight here in the West Coast, oh my goodness. In Japan it's only... It's not late at all. It's only 5 p.m. so... I've got the rest of the night, baby. We've got the whole evening. I'll whip out some brewskis later, let's go. <laughs> I don't plan on stopping. Also, I have this. Keep me going. I'm 17 hours into the future. until the game finished well i mean technically i am going to be streaming by the way guys all day every day for the next four days i got my days mixed up i thought it was friday today i thought today was a friday and i put on the discord like oh and then i'll be back on saturday i'm gonna be back tomorrow too i didn't realize today was thursday <laughs> so it's thursday today um but yeah i'm gonna be playing this all day friday um and all day saturday and I will be playing it on Sunday as well, but on Sunday I'm actually going to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Cafe with Audrey. Um, and when I'm there, I'm going to try and pick up some merchandise um, so I can do a little giveaway for you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to see what I can get. I don't know how like sold out the merchandise is going to be, but of course I'll take photos of all the different drinks and food and share them with you all. Ooh, we're in a new area. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, it's, you know what? It's getting a little chilly. Put this on. Just became Thursday like four minutes ago. I had no idea that it was Thursday. I was convinced it was Friday.
Is this where I should be? Should I be in this? I'm not sure I should be. Oh, this is back where we were earlier, right? I don't know why I can't bring myself to dismount the bird properly. Oh goodness, what was that? I guess I do have to cross with this, huh? There's something shiny over here. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Oh, what? Legends. Titan possesses earth shattering strength. Uh, I don't think I can get up there. Chadley. Perhaps we have him to thank for the rolling hills and verdant plains that comprise this region of the planet. I don't think I can get up there, Chadley. Can I? What's this? Oh, oh yes, I can get up. <laughs> Hopefully they stocked up on lit, yes. But you know what? Japan is a big fan of like exclusive um, items, so things tend to sell out really, really easily. Hmm. Where is it? Where did the gluey thing go? Did I lose it? It definitely went up here, huh? Where is it? Maybe this way? Oh, oh. This looks promising. Here we go. Let's analyze the Titan Crystal. Price is expensive here. Yes. Japan gets a lot of good stuff. Circle, 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 circle. Okay. Got it. Close enough, right? They'll definitely have something. Did you guys see that today Square Enix announced that they're making like a... Uh, what are they called? Chibi arts? Chibi arts of Tifa and Zack? They're super adorable. I have the Aerith one. I really want the Zack one now. I want the Cloud one too, but I haven't been able to find it. Good night, Essie Birdie. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Hope this is my live spot in the pod. <laughs> good night, good night, and sleep well. Oh, where's your homeland, Gray? Damn, this area is kind of spoopy. Ooh, treasure. Over there. <gasps> it's 
Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. That's not... Tifa really is thinking Claude's going crazy. <laughs> He's like, my god, he's he's lost it. He's he's actually lost it. Ah, Philippines! I'm in there, I'm American though. I've heard Philippines can be pretty nice to visit. I would love to go to the Philippines someday. Just this guy. Hello, sir. Cross the swamp to avoid me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I need to be on a Tukaba. There's nothing else in this little area, right? Just need to do a quick check. Okay. Back on the chocobo. Yes! <laughs> Red 13 is riding the chocobo too. <laughs> of course he is. He's a part of the team. Oh, my wig keeps wanting to fall forward. Guard against attacks to greatly increase vengeance. First, okay. I think this might be our chance. Careful. This thing's already pissed off enough. Cranial dome, go. It resisted against fire. Uh oh. Get back. Oh, that's why it resists fire. Everyone, keep your distance. The damage is internally freezes the enemy hit to have to strike it. I got this. Let's steal from it. See if we get something. Take 
Oh no, where to go? Where to go? Ah! Don't make me jump! Claude, he's in the he's in it! Why? Quickly, Red! Get him I, get him I! Oh no! Um Claude Oh my god! Claude got eaten! What? Can we get him back? Is that it? Uh oh. Oh no, he's back. He's back. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I got this. Synergy ability. Let's go, firework. Blin. Let's go. Uh oh. What's it doing? Oh no. Oh no! God, is Sephiroth gonna save Claude? Oh my god! This is wild. What? So that's how he did it. In the original, we just kind of stumble upon the snake on the spike like that. You remember who I am? Aerith. Oh. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Cloud. Mm -hmm. Crumbs, crumbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him too. They've gotta be. Yeah, I kinda get that feeling as well. 
Let's not lose him. Anrik, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits. My goodness. Thank you so much. There's a lot of changes for remake. Yes, there definitely is changes for remake. They expand on a lot of stuff. Which is really good, I think. Because when you play OG FF7, um, it goes by so quickly. Just how deep it does is that battle. It's pretty deep. for a living not us though yeah good boy you mind taking the lead Merc? <laughs> for two thousand <laughs> enough for her standard course twice right her what now <laughs> ask him <laughs> cloud <laughs> nah nah cuz earth was wild for that <laughs> forget it you guys need to focus <laughs> Five subs to the community. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. you. Happy release, all. Let's go. It's Final Fantasy Rebirth Day. Thank you. Thank you for spreading the love, Onrik. Very much appreciated. Let's keep this hype going. <laughs> so good. I, if you guys are wondering what Aerith was talking about, if you guys remember in Remake, um, <laughs> When Cloud goes to the massage parlor with Madame M. <laughs> she was referencing it's enough for her standard course twice. Not anything specific. No. It's pretty tough. And beautiful besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Oh, is that right, Barrett? Is that right? Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Mm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with material too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. The wig is getting to the point of the stream where it just doesn't want to stay on anymore. It wants to fall off. Luckily my hair is blonde and it's not too obvious but my hair is starting to poke out the front. <laughs> because my hair is blonde it's kind of the same color as my skin so it's not super obvious but... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, finally. Okay, we've got lots of SP we can use, so let's do it. Folio 2 unlocked. Let's see. Unleash wind magic attack without expending MP. Um, let's unlock this. HP by 100, yeah. Um, unleash ice magic without expending MP, yes. I don't have any ice. Cloud launches teeth, or uh, Cloud launches teeth towards an enemy and attack in tandem. Yes. Maybe that was a waste, I'm not using teeth in my party right now. Oh well, we're gonna need it eventually. Who is this, Red 13? Uh, 
unleash wind magic without expending MP. Yes. Unleash fire magic without expending MP. Yes. Increase counter spin potency. bother you whenever you wear the wig PG or is it good? It bothers me a lot. It's quite painful. <laughs> it is quite painful. I couldn't find any um, hairpins today so I didn't have any hairpins to keep the wig cap in place. So that's why it's slipping back. Did you play FF15? Yes, I did play Final Fantasy 15. It's unfortunately though 15 is probably one of my least favorite Final Fantasies. Oh, this is kind of strong. Precision Focus Defense. I know it's a different direction, but I can see why they used it for FF7 Remake. The gameplay is a little different, but a little similar. But I didn't. It wasn't the gameplay I had a problem with with uh, FF. Uh, With FF15, it was the storyline that I personally had an issue with. It just didn't um, resonate with me in the same way the other Final Fantasy games do. is best for Tifa. Oh yeah, the music was good. I do agree with that. The music in 15 was really nice. Show me a Final Fantasy game with bad music and I'll show you something that doesn't exist. It seems we've caught up. Come on. I liked Arden. Yeah, so did I. Is it worth trying to play FF13? Personally, I like Final Fantasy 13. I know Final Fantasy 13 gets some um, bad reputation, but I think Final Fantasy 13 is pretty good. It has flaws, don't get me wrong. It has uh, lots of flaws, and I also have problems with it, but overall, I think it's a good game. I actually really like Final Fantasy 13 too, as well. But you can't really play 13 too without playing 13 first. But yeah, I don't know if I'm in the minority. I think I'm in the minority. <laughs> But I really, really like Final Fantasy XIII too. I think it's pretty good. Hope they're okay. Yeah. Really, Stowe. But if not, nothing we can do. All right. I don't know. We shouldn't just leave them. You know what? I will check. Okay, I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. Oh. 
Okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. Track of the other roads now. Yeah. Of course. Wait, I'm losing red. No. Careful down there. That's okay. We've got Tifa. Both in gameplay and in story, yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't enjoy fifteen. Thirteen is a Final Fantasy game I would be happy to replay, but I wouldn't want to replay fifteen. Oh, this is where I came from. My bad. Let's go, girls. Da -da -na 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 -na. The Mimi 15 was my f Yes! Me too, Blade. Me too. I actually really enjoyed the Final Fantasy 15 movie more than the game. Um, what was, it, what was it called again? King's Glaive, I think? Um, I remember that they released it shortly before the game came out, and I watched King's Glaive, the movie, and I remember being like, oh my god, this game's gonna be amazing! This movie was so good! And the movie actually got me more hyped than anything else. And then, I played the game, and I was like, uh... I was a bit disappointed. Especially, um, I think my biggest gripe with, uh, 15 was character development and character storylines being logged behind DLC. <laughs> a DLC that would eventually never come, right? Like, we were promised, uh, you know, a Luna Freya, Freya chapter, it never came because it just wasn't popular enough and they decided to stop developing it so they cancelled it um i think they did arden dlc but i think that's as far as they got but their whole thing was like we're gonna release you know you're gonna find out more about these characters when we release dlc chapters for each character and because it wasn't successful they didn't do it and now we never get to know more about luna freya who was supposed to be uh, Noctis's fiance, the love of his life, but we got no development in that relationship, and it's like, I need, I need, I need some development. I need to know what's happening. I don't think they interact once, besides letters. Yeah, they did four DLCs and they flopped. Yeah, I never played any of them. For me, it's like, usually, um... And I know that they changed, like, a big part of the ending for 15 as well through DLC. I never did that. I, I played the game, completed it, and never never bothered to replay it. Which was kind of a big deal for me at the time. Because usually when I get a Final Fantasy game, I rush through it, do the story. And then I come, I do a second playthrough every single time. Um, where I, like, take my time and I get everything. And I take my, uh, I go very slowly. But with 15, I was like, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> I used to always do it. It was like my tradition. But uh, with 15, I was like, I don't even want to do that right now. Should I go up here? 
I guess so. Not bad, yeah. It just wasn't for me. I know some people do like 15. Like it's not it's not as if it's universally hated or universally bad, but it just wasn't it wasn't for me. My biggest gripe with uh, 15 was the lack of girls in our party. That would have been my time to teleport. Only one. No, Linifrey was never in the party. There was another character called Aranea. She joined the party for a short time. She was she started off as like an antagonist and then she became a foe to friend later on, if I remember correctly. And then the other female character that we had was C Cindy. Cindy, um, who was the Sid, but again, we didn't get to play as her. And then there was also one of the characters, little sisters, I cannot remember her name. But yeah, they were just not, just, it's not, not. RNA was pretty cool, don't get me wrong. But it wasn't enough to make up for the lack of women. Women! I need women to simp for. And I didn't really like, like, RNA was cool. She was the only one for me that I was like, oh, she's worthy of my simpage. But she just, she didn't get enough screen time. Eris? Yeah, her name is Eris. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, Luna Frey got very, very little screen time and then she died. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, okay, um... Are we supposed to like feel bad? I, I was really disappointed when she when she passed away because I was like, oh, finally, like we're gonna get some development. We're gonna get, you know, they're gonna meet each other and something's gonna happen, and then nothing happens. She just dies. No, C Cindy's not playable. You basically just go to her for car repairs, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Wow, this place is huge. What's that? to get out of here. Let's see. They did still, they did. Um, er, her original name in English was Eris. Um, but that was kind of made out to be a mistranslation. And they've changed it to Aerith. Her name was always supposed to be Aerith, but it was kind of a mistranslation. Ugh. My hair is poking out. Stay put, would you? 
I wonder if I put my... If I put the bread here. Oh god, the bread is so messed up. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, from me sitting on it all day. Maybe if I put the bread over here, it will help it. Peachy streams. <laughs> Go to BRB and change outfit. Change out of the cosplay. Tis tempting. Tis tempting. I'll see if this works. If it keeps frustrating me, I might change. But if I change, then I would really have to, um, style my hair which would take like 10 minutes because my hair underneath this i'm sure is super messy from having a wig on, on all day elevator is broken. Hmm. The ladder is broken. Find another way to get up to the bridge. Okay. Does Earth ever wear a hat? Unfortunately not. die for Aerith. Aerith is definitely my favorite, but I am still a fan of Tifa. I mean, I've got, heck, I've got two Tifa figures in the back there. I, st I still like Tifa. But Aerith is my favorite character. Me too, me too, me too. They're all great. But of course, Aerith number one for life. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, 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 Wonder if she'll rob her Claude in this too. If she doesn't rob Claude, I'll be kind of disappointed. I mean, that's kind of her thing, right? That's kind of what she does. The robbing. She got to mess him up a little bit. The other character I hear is Sephiroth. He is Sephiroth. Even Sephiroth, I appreciate as um, a villain. Also, the way he flirts with Claude is endlessly entertaining to me. Go, fuck off! Hang back. Keep it together. So it's my turn. Can you take over? This wouldn't work out. Maybe I should use some items. Can I do that? 
Can I go into my inventory and use a couple potions? I can indeed. Alright, that's out of MP already, goddammit. Iconic, but still. <laughs> I know, I know. I can't forget what he does to my baby girl, of course. I wonder how it would play out if he wasn't the main villain in this game. I mean, the story would probably be quite different then. I don't see any black robes. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch up. If any of them are still alive. I've saved once. I feel like I should save. <laughs> I have not saved once. Th that was my first time saving. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing I needed to do. Whoops. So tell me about Reno. <gasps> oh my god, you guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Instructed to take some time to himself. It's Eliana. Relax. Recuperate. Eliana and Red. I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all expenses paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Hmm. <laughs> Probably misses it. <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing. Just keep talking. Uh. <laughs> Just keep talking. Eliana, Eliana, Eliana. I love Rood so much. I love, you know what? The thing about Final Fantasy VII that I love, the main cast I love a lot. Every single character. There's not a character in the main cast that I dislike. Even Kid Sith, I do not dislike. I think he's super cute. But even the antagonist, man. I love the Turks. The Turks are so fun. Stay hidden and eavesdrop on the conversation. Oh, okay. Wait. Let's eavesdrop. I can't hear anything. Hello. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are now orders. that is a cosplay the I could do very easily. Are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Leave this poor guy out of it. Oh my god! I yeah. Mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. True. Assholes. Who's there? <gasps> Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Hey. Where's Reno? On vacation. <laughs> We for you. Reno Earth Crumbs. Reno Earth Crumbs. She may be new, but she's still a Turk and a consummate professional. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. We're straight straight into it. Straight into it. Uh oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? 
stop him. Oh my god, do you hear? Why does Eliana scream like that? Why does she scream like that? Oh my god! Why does she scream like that? That's really... That's really worrisome. It makes me feel really bad. I feel like I'm hurting a puppy. God, she's so cute. Stop. Nice one, Red. We're good. 
Just taking a quick dip to get the grime off. one we'll meet you at the exit okay i get these terms for giving subs oh 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 i see i see <laughs> oil <laughs> gotcha Ojo's gotcha was filled with men like this mako poisoned every last one of them mm. poor bastards what do you think their deal is where are they going they're following Sephiroth, or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. Any weapon for red. Let's give him. I don't think there's much more materia I can give him at this stage. I might buy a fire materia to give to him because I feel like fire materia is kind of useful. It's good to at least have one like magic spell. Comes from calling donators oil princes. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We're giving you full credit, Kathis. Just take it. Just take it. We're crediting you with it. It was your creative mind. 100% kitty? Where? Which one? Red's the kitty? He is super cute. I love him. I went and like took the wig off and reset it so that hopefully it will be a little more secure now. Fingers crossed. Tomorrow I may have a surprise cosplay for you guys. But tomorrow's cosplay will be easier to wear. But it's a surprise. So I'm not revealing it until tomorrow. Got lost in the bathroom. Yeah. I might have fallen in the toilet again. You know me. Oh, posture check. My bad. Roll the shoulders. Ugh. Let's stretch a little bit. Mm. Bald Aerith. <laughs> just a bald cap. Not even my blonde hair. Just bald cap. Focus shot, focus shot, let's go. Yet again, the music never misses. Oh, never mind. Don't, who needs focus shot when you've got red to cast fire?
he reloads like Henry Saval in Mission Impossible. I'm gonna act like I know what that looks like. Where the fuck are we? We are in the Mithril Mines right now. Alright. Now how are we getting out of here? We're still at the beginning of these. Literally, when you were asleep, I did nothing but roam around the um, the open world. I just started progressing the story again, like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Henry, what is it? How do you say the name? I thought that was right, Saval. No, am I wrong? Are, you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? You're gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? She came down in a bubble, dude. Cavill, oh, Cavill. The dude from The Witcher, oh, Geralt. No, you should have just said Geralt, then I would have known. Aren't they replacing that guy in The Witcher? I don't know if that's come out yet. It'll be so, like, how can they replace the main actor? <laughs> Is it gonna be so jarring? With Liam Hemsworth? Really? really just glides up the wall. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but I'll allow it. <laughs> because it's a Barrett, that's why. Excuse me, Red. Hey, if he can get over there, so can I. Come on, come on, Barrett. There you go, there you go. Okay, jump on. Nice, nice. Get some lit. Feels good, feels good. Awesome. Draw exactly, exactly. 
Why else would you watch that show? I heard that like um, Henry Saval, Saval, whatever his name is. Anyway, that guy that plays Geralt, um, he was like super passionate about the actual Witcher, and the reason that they stopped having him on the show is because he was like trying to like be like, hey, no, it shouldn't be like this, or Geralt wouldn't do this, and Geralt would do this, and they didn't like him having opinions. <laughs> He was trying. He was trying to keep it like to the original book slash game. Like he's a big fan of it. So because he's a big fan, he had a lot of opinions. He was fighting for us. I don't know how true that is, though. That could be BS, but I'm going to I'm going to choose to believe it, to believe it based on nothing. Havel a minute ago. Yeah, I do have goldfish memory. We know this. This has been established. This is an established lore fact. My short term memory is ass, and as is my long term memory. <laughs> But you know what, it's mostly only because of the multitasking of streaming. Usually it's not that bad. Otherwise I'd probably be dead by now. Is there like a crystal I'm missing somewhere? We came from down there, right? Oh, maybe we need to go down this way. Cannot? We came from across here. Try to jump off the glyph? Uh, I mean... No! Oh wait, ah, I can jump up this way, I see. <laughs> yeah, streamers have it really hard, you guys. Reddy told them during season two if they kept changing from the bookstore, he would leave. And there's lots of articles. Hell yeah. What a king. It does annoy me whenever they make live actions of things and the people that are making the live actions seem to hate the source material. Or don't like the source material. And it's like, why are you doing this then? There's just no passion anymore, huh? Damn it. Uh. 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 
So I love anime live actions. Most of my streams are bad adaptations. Yeah, I think the only good anime adaption I've seen, and good is a strong word, it was the One Piece one. Even after watching the new Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender live action remake, um, it did a lot of things that I'm just like, why would you do that? Like, <laughs> the first two episodes, I was like, whoa, this is pretty good. Like, uh, okay, okay, I see what they're doing. And there's other thing. There are some stuff that I actually really enjoyed. Um, one change that they made in the live action version of Avatar: The Last Airbender um, is they did a little bit of a backstory slash, um, like they added a little backstory and a little bit of character development to Zuko's crew, right? That that never really happens in the TV show. Which one was the worst? I think that the worst live action remake of any show that's ever been made is actually, you know what, even worse than that Dragon Ball movie that they made all the way back then is that Death Note one that Netflix made. What the hell was that? I think that was the worst one I've ever seen. What the hell was that? <laughs> Where it was like set in America and stuff? Like what is happening? Yeah, the Death Note live action that Netflix did a very long time ago. It's just, oh my god, it's so bad. I haven't seen a Cowboy Bebop one. I'm trying to watch that Death Note. I watched it before the, the the reviews came in. I watched it when it was released and I was like, okay, okay, Death Note. I like Death Note. Let's, let's check this out. And then I watched it and I was like, oh dear God. What on earth? I did go to see the Dragon Ball movie when it came out in cinemas when I was a kid. But because I was a kid, I was less critical then. So, like, I remember even as a kid being like, well, that was pretty bad. And nothing about this is Dragon Ball except for the names that they have. They're just called Goku and Bulma and all these characters, but besides that, there's nothing really else in the same. Yeah, I don't understand why they don't change the scripts around to be more, like, believable. Of course, if it's like a cartoon and anime, the way they talk is going to be a little bit silly when you translate it into real life. I don't understand why that is not something they ever change. But then again, the One Piece one, I think, was pretty good. But I never watched... You know what? I know a lot of people like the One Piece one, but I never watched or was attached to One Piece. I have seen the first couple seasons of One Piece, but I want to say I watched it like 10, 15 years ago. So I was able to watch the um, live action without much comparison. Whereas Avatar The Last Airbender, like every single thing they said, every line they like spewed, I was like, that's different. I can't, like I couldn't help myself comparing every little thing, you know? Because I'm so attached to it. I'm like, why did they do that? But yeah, there was one change I thought was really good, which was um, they gave a little bit of backstory to Zuko's uh, crew. Basically, the story that they went with um, is, you know, when Zuko pisses off his dad um, in the war meeting, it's because Zuko's dad wants to send out some brand new recruits out onto the front line and sacrifice them, right? And then Zuko stands up for the him, or stands up for the soldiers, and he's like, why would you do that? Like, they're Fire Nation, they're ours, like, why, why would you sacrifice them like that? And that's why he gets in big trouble and his daddy disowns him. In this, they made it so that the crew that Zuko has on his boat is the um, the new recruits. So Zuko was the one that saved them, basically, even though they all hate him because like he's grumpy and mean. <laughs> Zuko was the best part of the live action movie. I think that his actor did a really good job too. Wait, I think I missed a treasure chest. I did miss a treasure chest. I have to go. I have to get it. I'm gonna have to pull this back, aren't I? 
No, no, get down, Barrett, get down. Nerd that knows all the lines. <laughs> Stop it! Barrett, get down there! Okay, let's go, let's go. Who would I choose to be Clyde? I don't know. Who would make a good Clyde? Robert Patterson? Oh my god. <laughs> True, Robert Patterson really loves uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 7. Robert Patterson also said he's Team Aerith, so I have no choice but to stand. I have no choice. Edward from Twilight. I used to be Team Jacob, but I guess I gotta be Team Edward now. <laughs> you know, not that long ago, maybe like two, three years ago, me and Lena decided we were gonna watch all of the Twilight movies. And it was such a trip, man. <laughs> it was actually, like, they're the kind of movies that are like so bad that it's good. Like, they're so ridiculous, but in a good way. They're very enjoyable if you don't take them seriously, you know? Like, it's just silliness. It's all around silliness. <laughs> it's very, like, middle school girl, like, self-insert. Wants a hot vampire and werewolf boyfriend to fight over. <laughs> like, that's what that entire thing is. He's not Batman. That's true. I watched the new Batman movie as well. I didn't like it that much. I don't know what it is, but all of the um, what what's Batman? Not Marvel, but the other one, DC DC movies. I hate all of them. They're all so boring to me. I didn't like Wonder Woman. I didn't like Superman. I don't like Batman. Too boring. Really? The Batman one? I thought Robert Patterson was good. But yeah, it just was like, uh, I'm kind of bored. I don't even know if I finished it. I think I might have watched it on a flight. I know I watched Wonder Woman on a flight. Better than the Justice League movie. I, ha I haven't seen the Justice League movie, so I don't know. Well now, look who it is. <laughs> Y'all taking a breather or what? The they resting. Out. They're resting. Do you think you can give us a hand? Hmm. Let me see.
Oh, there's bad guys in here. He's going for a wee rest. We buy. He doesn't need a cushion. Eh? How did I get this materia? Hmm? Ew. Something to do with this side gather. I want the materia. There is a big rock here. Jump up on it, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty much at the beginning. <laughs> We're only on like the second area, third area. Does anyone know how many chapters it has? Like 14, I think. 9:30 a.m. here in the UK. Japan is 6.30 p.m. Is this the right direction? Much longer. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yes, that's right. Today's a leap day. I almost forgot. Oh, no, I messed up. I think I wasn't supposed to do this yet because of the materia. Whoops. Barrett just perpetually being in debt to each other. Uh oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh. Another earthquake. Oh god, it feels like a big one. Oh my god, it feels like a pretty big one.
This is the fourth one today, or at least the fourth one that I know of. Four today, four so far. Okay, I think it's passed. I think it's passed. It's a little hard to tell. It woke up Emmett, oh my baby. Oh my wee baby. For a baby Emmy. Oh, hopefully that's the last one. This keeps happening today. Not a fan. I don't think we can open it from here. See a button or a lever? One sec. Huh. Thanks. We owe you. I can yep. just pick up two grand. That's huh. fair. <laughs> shot on its head. I wonder if I've unlocked the synergy ability for Red and Barret, because that would be very helpful if so. I do have them unlocked. Take over. Let's go. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. Potion, potion to bar it. Give potion to bar it. Okay, feels good, feels good. Oh, how does he like thunder? Ooh, does not like thunder. Okay, good to know. Thunder is his weakness. 
Let's do that again. Hey! Kill ye! Get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shot again. Go, 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 go. Ow, 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 ow. Need another potion for Barret. That's what that healing material is for that we didn't equip. Oh, damn. What the hell? He was almost pressured. What happened? Ah, there we go. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Synergy ability, let's go at Uberfine. Hell yeah! Yeah! <gasps> Dude, the synergy abilities are so good. He's a very tanky boy, I have to say. Mm -mm. Oh great, he's getting more tanky. That's just what I was hoping he would do. Okay, let's summon. Let's summon, let's summon, let's summon. Yeah, let's go! Ooh. Summons fight alongside you for a brief period and the remaining time is indicated. Yeah, yeah. This is, it's pretty much the same as the last one. Oh, what should I attack first? The right arm or the maybe the head? I think we should heal. We should heal. We should heal. Uh oh. Good damage. Come on. Flashy. Very flashy. That's what we like to see. No synergy abilities can be used yet. Okay, let's use Maximum Fury. Red. Do your Crescent Claw. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go. Got him! Okay, that was sick! That was so good! Flashy, very flashy. That's a mighty fine staircase. Thank you kindly. Yes, Jerry, I did play the original Final Fantasy VII. I played it once when I was like... Ooh, I want to say like 14? And then I played it again very very recently just uh in december a couple months ago uh, on stream to prepare for this one coming out i didn't really 
didn't feel like I needed to play the OG to remember part one of the remake because I was very familiar with the Midgar part. But I felt like I forgot a lot of the other stuff. So I really wanted to play it again before we got into Rebirth. And I'm so glad that I did. Because I remembered about all the different stuff that I'd like forgotten about. And it made me even more like hyped and excited to play this. Because I was like, oh my god, there's this part, this part, there's this part, there's this part. First try. GG's Reunited. Hey! What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away. Right? <laughs> we remembered pivotal moments like Tifa calling fire at the R world and Clark going and seeing him beating up Aerith. <laughs> True. <laughs> Amazing moments in gaming history. <laughs> Who did that? Who? Listen. <laughs> the ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True. But don't forget. Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. You're right, Anrik. We're almost at 10 hours. I'm not ready to stop yet. Okay, 
Pray, pray. My turn. Let's go, let's go. Try using it. Let's go. So kick ass. So good. I love them so much, my babies. Gently hold them. <laughs> I'll be on day off in five hours and nine minutes. Let's go! I can enjoy my stream and not a casual after three years of hiatus. <laughs> Listen. When Final Fantasy Rebirth shows up, I show up. <laughs> when Aerith shows up, I'll be there. Are you sure you want to when Aerith shows her face, don't overdo it. Suddenly I'm there. This one's for you. Suddenly I got something to say. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I got places to be, things to do. Anything to spend more time with her. Anything. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. Hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. They're going for a wee walk, that's all. territory. Come on. Listen, they just had a really good night last night. We've all been there. We can all relate. Really we know what they're feeling right now. They had a really fun night. It was last night I... They were enjoying themselves. There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the island, or at least none that I'm aware of. They just finally reclaimed what Jim was still. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not. <laughs> And my energy comes it comes through looking at my cute babies. I just I just love these characters so much. I love this game so much. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be experiencing this. Like I don't feel tired at all. I can't, like, if I was to stop streaming right now, I would just want to keep playing. So it's like, what's, what's, why? What's the point? If I was to be like, okay, the, it's 10 hours, that's enough. I, I'll rest. I would just be thinking about wanting to come back and play this. Because it's only, it's only 7 p.m. here. So like, you know, there's still at least like another 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4 hours before I can like go to sleep. 5 hours before I go to sleep. So like... What am I gonna do for those five hours? I'm just gonna be thinking about this. I'm just gonna be thinking about this game. When I'm at the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Cafe on Sunday, I'm just gonna be like, hmm, I could be home playing Rebirth right now.
I've waited so long for this game, you know? We can pet the baby chocobo, we can. Well, look at oh, that. there's Chadley. Another chocobo ranch. I wonder where the owner's hiding. Let's go say hi. Is that another little earthquake happening right now? So many. Tell the earthquakes to Wait, stop because it is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth suggested. Day and we don't have time for them. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. Do what? God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Choco Back. I'm gay, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't got to fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Aww. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Yes, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Anything you say, Queen. Sweet. I wasn't really asking, but I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here, they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot, though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. And she ain't Dude, a Dude, I gotta fan. stay off Twitter. All right, let's roll. I follow a lot of shipping accounts, and though, you know, I'm here for the celebration, I want to see the moments for myself, so I'm trying to stay off Twitter. Every time I open it, I see a new screenshot that I haven't seen before, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I just, I want to experience these moments in person. Not in person, but that would be weird. <laughs> Claude and Aerith standing back to back, holding hands, me in the background, like, oh my God, you guys, this is great. This is great. This is great. Keep going. Good job, guys. Good job. Uninstall until you finish the game. I cannot. Sorry for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. That can't. I have an addiction. I hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? Aww. Afraid so. <gasps> <laughs> Jerk. Oh. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos. Yes! Exactly, exactly. Aerith is an animal lover just like me. But of course she is. Not using X would be good, but I'm kind of worried that like if I stop using X, like I need it for like work as well. I want to post my Earth cosplay stuff. I have some videos from my cosplay shit that I want to post. <gasps> Korean, I blame Square Enix for showing leaks in their trailers. Trey, Trey, how are you doing? Are you enjoying Rebirth? The chocobos are sad. Got some chocobo tracks. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm getting distracted. This way? 
Aha. Aha. Wait, they're going in all all directions. This way? <gasps> Where is it? He's ducking, but I don't see the chocobos. It, surely it's not these ones. It is those ones? I just woke up and thought I'd say hi. Good morning, good morning. I'm I'm loving it so far as well. So good. Just so excited to be playing this right now. Mm? Bell, use the card to cover your approach. What? He's looking at me. Look at that chocobo. He knows I'm here. He knows fine rightly. He's like, um... To be fair, he probably thinks I'm one of them. I mean, look at Claude's hair. That chocobo's like, oh, that's just one of our chicks, right? It's one of us. Yes, Red, Aerith, and Claude. Perfect. Red is so fun to play as. Seems legit, seems legit. Eh, wait, oh god, it's moving. That one's staring at me too! <laughs> don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. I think I'm just gonna try, if I open ads, I'm just gonna try not to scroll too much. Um, and just... Oh, I have to distract it, maybe? Unless I have to go back here and make it go again? Okay, go. Go. Ooh, smooth. Real smooth. Don't look at me. I'm just one of the chicks. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. I'm just a cho cute little chocobo just like you. We are one in the Sam. Will that one see me? No, don't look at me. Ah! No! Damn it. I messed up. Retry. Neither the game is out right. I mean, Square Enix did share so much, but at the same time, I know... I know that, like, I watched someone doing a review and they said that, like, there's still... Even though the marketing has been massive and we've seen so much, there's still so much to see. So, I'm super excited. Before the game came out, I was like, I can't, I can't. I need to look at everything. I need to look at everything. But now that it's here, I'm like, okay, okay. I can pace myself. Uh, let's try from the checkpoint. No need to go back to the beginning. I guess I need to throw a rock, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, look over here, Mr. Chocobo. Go. <laughs> the Chocobo shows no interest in the rock. Bruh. Bruh! This chocobo is watching me like a hawk. What am I supposed to do? Bruh. Bruh. Ah, don't look at me! He shows no interest in the rock! Come on, bro! Please! Please! I threw a rock. Please? Please pay attention to it. It's a very nice rock. 
どうしようどうしよう Go What do you mean? Damn it! What did I do? Eh. No, it spotted me. What do? Huh? We try, we try, we try. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for that support. But I don't understand if it won't look at the rock, then what am I, what do I do? Please. Please look at the rock. Ah. Oh god, whoops. Well, never mind. That um That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Favorite moment yet? Do I have a favorite moment? I think my favorite moment so far is probably whenever uh, at the beginning in Calm when Aerith takes Clyde up the tar and she grabs his hand and it's so cute and she's so excited and it's so wholesome. This chocobo got me fucked up, man. This chocobo got me fucked up. What do I do? Do I need to go another way, maybe? Is there like another lever I need to pull somewhere? Because at this point, we're, this is the definition of insanity. Do I, do I need to go this way? But then that chocobo will see me. Maybe I need to distract this chocobo? With a rock? Hey buddy, look at the rock. No! Why do none of these chocobos care about rocks? Fod watcher skip to ours. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Can I move this one? I cannot move it. Chat, am I going crazy? Am I missing something? No, stop looking at me! Ah! <gasps> this is just embarrassing. There's no mechanic to throw like bait. There is, but it's the rocks. You're supposed to throw the rocks. And the fact that it lays out rocks at that point makes me think, okay, I, I have to throw the rocks at that point. Like it gives me rocks right here, so it's telling me you should throw the rocks. What I'm, what I'm, the signals that I'm getting is throw rock. Maybe I'm supposed to lure this chocobo closer to me. Belle, do you like rocks? Belle, what is your thought on oh, how do you feel about rocks? Not interested, huh? You don't care, huh? You don't care about rocks. I don't understand. Why none of these boys like rocks? No, don't look at me. Ah! 
It wouldn't give you rocks if you didn't need it, right? Like, it gives me rocks at that stage, but none of them are interested in the rock. <laughs> Why don't you like my rocks? I brought them just for you. Throw the rocks at the machines. I'll give it a go. I don't think it will work, though. But at this stage, nope. <laughs> and the chocobo still doesn't care. Saw a switch. You can use rocks to activate switches. Maybe? Maybe I can throw it at that switch over there? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, it goes the opposite way! Okay. Well, at least I know what I was supposed to do now. What? How did you spot me? I was behind it! Am I crazy? How did it spot me? Hi. Okay. Retry. I'm dying of heat. It's warm in this room. I'm gonna open the. I'm gonna open the window a little bit. Oh, sorry. Under this big wig, I don't know how Aerith does it. I don't know how she does it. It's a lot of hair. Okay, I'd be stealthy, super stealthy, very slow, slow and steady wins the race. There's another chocobo over there. Uh, can I, can I, you know, do this? Oh no, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, you can't see me, you cannot see me. You can't see me. I'm stealthy. You can't see me. <laughs> okay, we're almost at Belle. But Belle is facing the wrong way. Oh no! No! Don't look at me, Belle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. with me, Belle. <laughs> GG's. Chugabos of this region have legs and talents strong enough to scale certain cliffs. Ooh, okay. If you spot a surface marked with the garish graffiti, approach it. Awesome. Okay. Let's go, Belle. Oh, we all have our own Belle. Cute. Very cute. Excuse me. Oops. <laughs> Can I turn this quest in now? Maybe?
Oh no, we have to go here. Right bell to reach the hut atop the mountain and obtain parts needed to repair Gabe's carriage. Ah, okay, that was part of it, but we still have to go further. Got it. Where are you, Belle? Skill somewhere with graffiti, but I'm not sure where exactly I'm supposed to be scaling. I need to get over there. Aha! I see. Over here. Has Bell multiplied? Apparently. Oh, cool. The oils in this area change to a different color. That's interesting. Yo, Ridge! Months, that's almost my IQ level. I'm still really enjoying FF7 Rebirth, Mrs. Peach. Still waiting on the postman with my coffee. That's just Aww. the most for you. Ridge! Thank you so much for the six months continued support. I hope you will love Final Fantasy Rebirth as much as I have been. Hopefully it arrives soon. Hopefully it arrives soon. I know a UK post can be like... It's rough. Been there, been there. Junon oh. is home to the summoned entity Phoenix. Though Phoenix! Is often associated with Joshua? Fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those in touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. Damn, they got Joshua in this game. Let's go. This game has everything. French post was one day early. You know, when I was living in the UK, I used to order physical copies of games and, um, from like this website where the games were always a little. It was like a website that was not very well known. Um, it wasn't, I can't remember what it was called. But I'm sure it's not around anymore, but it always used to be cheaper than every other website. And they always used to ship out their games like three days early. Square, square, triangle, triangle, okay. Commence. We got this. Square, square, triangle, triangle. Ah, oh, what do you mean? Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Square, square, triangle, triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Pirate Bay. It wasn't Pirate Bay. But they always used to ship their games out early. It was pretty hype. So I I was gifted a code from Square Enix for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, very graciously. Um, but I also want to get a physical copy to keep for myself. But because I'm living in Japan, I don't want a Japanese version. I want I want the English version. Um, like just for my own collection. So, I'm gonna have to buy it again. <laughs> Same for Remake. I realized that I never bought a physical copy of Remake. And I just kind of feel like... With digital downloads, I, I like them because it's convenient. Um, like living in Japan, it's, it's pretty good because I can get the English version. But... Um, for like my own collection and for like archiving sake, I do like to keep... Uh, 
physical versions, physical copies. Huh? This way, right? Birdie? I guess if you only have a digital version of a game that you really love, then there's the risk that they take it away someday. Not take it away per se, but like servers are brought down or, you know, they make it so that, you know, you, you can't play it. Whereas if you have a physical copy, the hope is that they're not able to do that. Maybe they would be able to these days still, but... I have all of my old PS2 games from when I was a kid. And when I went home to Ireland, um, I whipped out my PS2 and I was able to just start playing Dynasty Warriors 3, Dynasty Warriors 4. I've got all my OG like Final Fantasy games that I had as a kid for the PS2. Yeah, it's nice to be able to hold it for sure. For games that I'm not like super obsessed with, I don't mind just having digital only, but for games that mean a lot to me personally, I like to have a physical copy. I also I got a physical copy of like a dragon infinite wealth since i was in it and same for resident evil 4 since i was in those games i bought physical copies of those but the physical copies i got are the japanese version so i think when i go back to ireland i'm going back to ireland at the very end of april um for my cousin's wedding i think i'm going to pick up remake rebirth uh infinite wealth the english version and resident evil 4 the english version wait what Hi, so we have a nice Hi, day and so a good mood. Thank you. Nice and good mood. Nice Thank and smooth cosplay air. Zay, I have a question. Will you then post a full FF7 R walkthrough on YouTube? I really want to watch your streams later with that crap. Mikey, yes, I will. I am going to post all of the VODs from the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth up on the VOD channel. Thank you so much for the $5 tip. I appreciate it, but I most definitely will be posting them, so... You can definitely take your time and come back and watch them at any time you feel like. <laughs> would you ever get the collector's edition versions for Final Fantasy if the statue was out? Yes. The answer would be yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> any Aerith merch, I'm all over it. Um, the Sephiroth statue is really cool, but it's really, really big. Um, and I... Like, I like Sephiroth as a villain, but I'm not crazy about him the same way I am about Aerith. So, if it was Aerith, I would be like, I don't care how much money it costs. I will. I don't care how big it is. I will make room for it. <laughs> if it was Aerith, I would buy it right away. But because it was Sephiroth, I was like, eh, I could do without it. It's. I live in a tiny Japanese apartment, so making room for really big figures like that is kind of difficult. Like, I got a massive um, Aerith statue. It, it was an unofficial one. No, sorry, not Aerith. Sorry, Yuna. I got a massive Yuna statue. It was unofficial, but I can't bring it to Japan. It's it's in Ireland at my parents' house because I was like, it's just, it's too big. But yeah, if it was Aerith, I would get it. I would, I would make room. <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> um, actually, I know that you guys are going to call me crazy if I tell you this right now, but I'm going to tell it to you. So, I don't know if you guys know, you should maybe look, uh, check it out, but uh, there's a really old statue of Aerith that was released back in like 2002 or something. Um, and it's really old. And Aerith, let me see if I can find it very quickly. It's called Sculpture Arts. I wonder if I can show it to you. I can't. Anyway, there's a there's a statue of Aerith and it's sculpture arts and it was released in like I want to say 2002 or something and it's extremely rare. It is extremely rare. Um and I find it. I find someone that is selling it. But they're selling it for $2000. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm kind of thinking about it. 
Not gonna lie. I'm like, but I, I literally have never seen this for sale anywhere else before. I find someone that just happens to be selling it. This person seems to be selling their entire Final Fantasy collection, not just the Sculpture Arts Aerith. If you Google it right now, I'm gonna see if I can get a photo and bring it up. It's really old. I'm gonna see if I can bring it up on stream. But it is, it's $2,000 they're selling it for. It's actually 300,000 yen they're selling it for, but because the yen is so weak right now, it brings it down to $2,000. So like, steal? <laughs> uh, but it's massive as well. And I'm kind of like, Ooh. and because it's from like the early 2000s, the quality of this figure like is not the, the best. And Aerith is kind of small on it too, but like still, still, I can't deny the temptation. Oh God. Um. Well, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. But the problem is, like... Aerith is really tiny on it, and the rest of it is, like, really massive. But isn't it gorgeous? I find it, and someone is selling it, and they are selling it in brand new condition, in the box, unopened. Wait, the leg... Wait, is that the... The Twitter, the person that won it on Twitter sold it for 10 grand? Are you serious? Guys, listen, you're not helping me. I need you to talk me out of buying it, not talk me into buying it. It's two grand. It was on eBay, are you serious? Who bought it? You know what, to be honest, if they were selling it for like around five, I might have got it. <laughs> not 10 though, 10's a little much. Do not buy. <laughs> Guys, I need you to like talk me out of it, not talk me into it. Not sure, but it was massive. Ruby, thank you. The voice say buy it, but listen to <laughs> Ruby, thank you so much. Don't be silly, expensive statues. Ah, but. I really like silly expensive statues. I like how like I'm very much like, oh, I don't own any designer bags. Like I don't I don't understand how anyone would spend a lot of money on a designer bag. Like, ugh, not worth it. Who would spend that money? And then I see a piece of plastic. <laughs> Representing my favorite video game characters, and suddenly I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it's only $2,000. Uh, when will I ever get this chance again? Hey, Storm, what's up? <laughs> you might not find this. I know, I know. That's the thing. That's what makes me buy. I am, you know, something I realized about myself is I am very susceptible to like limited edition marketing. You know what I mean? I mean, to be fair, this is limited. Um, there's also a Yuna figure that I have been looking for since I was a kid. Um, it's her and her wedding statue. That I would, if, if I find the Yuna statue of her and her wedding dress, um, I would pay a, an exorbitant amount of my money for that because I've been looking specifically for that for a very long time. I remember as a kid seeing it on eBay and looking at it longingly. And back then I was like 12 years old or something and it was like $500 so of course like I'm 12 years old I don't $500 to me is like 500 million dollars like I $500 cannot I cannot do that but it's gone now. I have never been able to find it since and I look for it all the time um I went to a, a retro store once and I was like hey if you ever find this let me know and they're like yeah sure <sighs> yeah I'm very susceptible to that kind of marketing. They say like, oh, it's limited. Oh, it won't be around for long. I'm like, oh my God, I need it. And then like, it just sits in my drawer and I do nothing with it. <laughs> we self repeat, I I'll give you my buying point. I want it so bad. Can I help you? <laughs> Listen, Storm, no matter parts. how limited edition uh, they are, I trust so you, no one wants parts. them. Well. Except for maybe. Come back tomorrow or Look, the day after. Maybe. 
I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. You think a swift kick could get him up? Oh my god. Wick him with magic, leave him be. Wick him gently. Wick him with magic. Let's wick him with magic. Wake up! <sighs> well, you're not serious, are you? Uh, scared me half to death. Do you want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. Hell yeah! To... Your new trigger was sent to smell to locate materials by throughout the region. Okay. You want to oh, but if I buy it, I want to open it. So then I will never get the market value back. This person that's selling this statue for um, two grand, it's unopened. It's new in the box, mint condition. Like literally, it's still inside the box that it was uh, shipped in. Not just like the original package, but even the shipping box they have. If I bought it, I would open it. <laughs> There's no way in hell I would not be able to. I, I, I wouldn't be able to. It would be impossible. My grimy little mitts would touch it. I am. I'm very susceptible to that kind of thing. And then I end up with stuff that I don't even want. Do I have goods to give him? I don't have anything. Yeah. Put Aerith's bow on it. Do anything. I will buy it. Aerith, Yuna, Riku. That's how you make money off me. It's that easy. Because last year, also, a, a handbag company did, like, a collab with Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I, bitch, I was first in line to get that Yuna bag. <laughs> I was first in line. <laughs> and I've actually used it a lot. Um, But it, I feel kind of bad because it's already started to, like, chip and not look so brand new anymore. And then I was like, ooh, I need a second one so that I can keep one in good condition and one to actually use. Um. Okay, I'm getting a little bit lost. Oh. Oi, what? What happened to the webcam room? Oh. It's back. My Yuna statue? Hope you got a good deal on that. The Yuna statue that I bought? I can't remember how much I paid for that. I think it was like around $500. So it... I was going to say, that's not too bad. Obviously, that's a lot of money. Um, but it's not... Like, in the four figures. Yeah, around $700. Something like that. So it was pretty expensive, but... I, I Honestly, I feel like it was worth it. Because it's massive and it's beautiful. I just don't have anywhere to put it. Gather the materials listed on the Wainwright's note. Okay, but how do I look at the note? Is it in my inventory? Yes, it is. Bruh, I'm so bad at map navigation, I can't do this. Um... <sighs> oh boy. Around here somewhere? Right? Ooh, I didn't unlock this yet. Okay, I'll go to this one, then I'll unlock the tar, and then I can... I can do this. Damn, I'm getting mad, um, like a dragon vibes in that I'm trying to continue the main story and yet I keep getting distracted <laughs> with other things.
Uh, if this is a quest to increase my relationship with Aerith, then I have to do it. Aerith wants to see if the chocobos, then I want to see if the chocobos. If you get a bigger pl yeah, honestly, there are some nice non-official figures of Aerith that are also like massive and very beautiful. But the only reason I don't buy them is the price. But I would maybe make room for a Aerith, like an Aerith one, um, in terms of money, if I had enough room in my apartment. <laughs> but I live in a tiny, tiny Japanese apartment. I mean, it's not as small as my old place, but. Like, it's still not big enough that I can be like, ooh, let's display massive ass figures. I, can, I have enough room for a modest collection. A modest collection of uh, normal sized figures. But that's about all I have room for. <laughs> to be honest, I'm already struggling to keep those ones in a... Uh, nice order if i buy any more i'm messed up because i bought that hatsune miku one and it takes up an entire shelf by itself Oops. i think if i was to get a bigger place i would have to move further outside tokyo because right now i am um, like the place that i have is like it's kind of perfect. But it's very, very convenient. That's why I like it. Even though it's small, it's not cheap. But that's because it's a very, very convenient location. Very, very convenient location and modern. The building was only built last year, so... Protected against those earthquakes that keep happening today. At least I hope so. I hope I'm protected against them. But yeah, Japan is very strict with their um, earthquake stuff. And especially a newer building, so it should be fine. The old building that I was in was built in like the 60s. So anytime there was like an earthquake of any... Um, any kind of... is the word I'm thinking of like normal like median strength it felt like oh my god the entire building's gonna collapse even though it wasn't listen it's been around since the 60s it that means it stayed standing in 2011 so it's probably fine but it made me worry a lot I've confirmed proto -rel energy signals in your vicinity. Would you mind I think if you added a pin shelves to the, your office walls you could fit the unit pin shelves oh uh, the unit one is really big. I don't... I think even with a pin shelf, it would not fit. Like, it wouldn't even fit inside that display case. Because the problem with the unit one is, it's not just tall. It's... It, it's very, very tall, but it's also very, very wide. Because there's all these, like, flowing water pieces that come out of it. And then they also released a... And these are all unofficial figures, so... But uh, they also released one with Yuna with Valfour standing behind her. And I would have bought it, but it's, it's way too freaking big. Like, I just can't. I can't justify it. I have nowhere to put it. I think if I was living in Northern Ireland, then I could uh, live that full-blown figure collector life. Because Nor in Northern Ireland, you can get a much bigger place for much cheaper. But in Japan, you're kind of... You're very limited on space. It's just kind of the sacrifice that you make. Unless you live way outside Tokyo. No, it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit there. I bought a pair of... Um, Yuna's guns from Final Fantasy X II. They're controllers. They're actually PS2 controllers, but they don't work anymore. Um, but I, I find a pair of like old pre-owned Yuna guns from Final Fantasy X II, and I bought them, and they're freaking huge too. And I'm like, ugh. 
got no space for this. But yet, it's limited, so I need to buy it. <laughs> I can't help myself. Oh, I need to get on my chocobo, huh? To sniff sniff. Okay, okay. Sniff, sniff. Where are you? Where is it? This way? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Go on! Here? No. Is that the first item? Driftwood. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. Okay, one of three. Let me look at the map again very quickly. Yeah, this. The play arts rest spot. What do I use this for? A model for benches. The server plays the rest spot for weary travels. Yes, but why? Which one did I get? Um, having to go back and forth and check in this map is kind of annoying. I wish they would like let us view it somewhere else. Okay, one is like right in front of a windmill. That's not the windmill. Where is the windmill? Yeah, I genuinely, to this day, I'm not actually sure how the Yuna BB guns work as a PS2 controller. Like, I'm not, I'm not really sure how it works. But I never saw them in Ireland, of course, in person. I only saw them online. Back at that time, I um I was very obsessed with Final Fantasy X. So, like when I was a kid, uh, I would just go online and look up Final Fantasy stuff. The first thing I know that the first thing I ever ordered online was a uh, was the you know Final Fantasy X two figure. It was the first thing I ever ordered on the internet. I had to beg, beg my parents to let me do it. I'm pretty sure like just ordering it took us like two hours because we were trying to figure out how the hell we do this. And it was like the early 2000s, so my parents were like, I don't want to put in my credit card information. I was like, Mom, please, please, I need this. I need this Yuna figure. You don't get it, Mom. You just don't get it. It's not a fears, and it is, it's still not a fears. I can't remember map information. I can't remember. I'll show you what I can do. Useless information. One more shot. But I remember it because I was so excited. Like when you. it arrived at the door, I was like, oh my god. This is magic. It's like Santa. It felt like Christmas. Come on. Whatever. I had ordered this figure all the way from Japan. I was so excited. <laughs> And then I got on an eBay bidding war for the Lulu Kotobuki figure on my mom's uh, on my mom's dime, <laughs> and got a little too excited and spent a little too much money. <laughs> Whoops. 
Which one's Lily? She's from Final Fantasy X. My mom was not happy. I think I was grinded for a little bit, but... I, I, I confessed to my mom and I was really sorry, so she wasn't too hard on me. Because I was like, re I was really upset. I knew I was going to be in a shit ton of trouble. I came to her and I was like, Mom, I did, I did a thing. I'm sorry. Huh? Ooh. Aha. Okay, we've got two out of three. We've got two out of three. Let me look at the map one more time. One more time. I need to. Don't judge me. Okay, the next one is like way over there. Okay, under the windmill. It's like up that way. Your mom had the opportunity to stop you from going this time this path if only she knew. <laughs> she couldn't have stopped me. It was too late by then. Deal with that. Ready? I'm coming. But uh last year when me and my mom both had COVID. <laughs> when I went back to Ireland, my parents gave me COVID. <laughs> I never had COVID before, and then my parents went on a cruise. They went on a cruise, and I was like, bruh, you're asking for it, man. You're ask, you're begging to get COVID. Of course, they came back, and they got COVID, and they gave it to me. Um, thankfully, that's the only time I've had COVID so far. Hopefully, I don't get it again. Um, but yeah, anyway, my mom got COVID. She gave it to me. So we were, like, trapped in the house for, like, a week and a half at that stage. Um... And I was like, okay, you give me COVID, so you need to let me sit and, like, play PlayStation. <laughs> you need to let me play PlayStation on the TV, because, like, it's your fault I'm trapped in here. <laughs> so I, I actually started watching this 4R video essay on why Final Fantasy X is the greatest game ever made. <laughs> And my mom sat and watched it with me and by the end of it like basically this it was a video essay but mostly this person was kind of going through every story be a final fantasy 10 so it was kind of like a really long story like story version of final fantasy 10 by the end my mom was crying she was crying at the end she was like wait so he dies at the end special delivery i was like yeah mom because like he's a dream of the fifth and she was like oh <laughs> i got the goods Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. It was a bonding moment. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? <laughs> uh, to ask what he's doing. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not doing much of anything. Other than thinking about the war, that is. This used to be a shelter, you know. One of the few safe spots during the air raids. A lot of folks lost their lives. Good, decent folks. Can't bring back the dead, but the least I can do is sit here and pay them my respects. Yeah, my mom recognized most of the characters from 10 from the figures that I own. Mom was like, oh, there's that character with the big ass titties. Comrades and Lulu. <laughs> she was like, oh, I recognize her. He I'm like, yeah, I'm sure you do. And center in the Chocobo Cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains. Titus does come back at the end of for Shinra too. units and attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls too. Don't know how we survived. We fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic, but wasn't enough. 
Now I'm just hoping to live out the rest of my days in peace. Because the Kutubuki figure that they made for Lulu, like, the tits are, like, insane. Like, obviously, obviously in uh, Final Fantasy X, Lulu has a pretty low-cut dress. And, you know, she sh she's showing the, the very decent cleavage, okay? Like, her nipple is, like, here, and the, the stop-off point is, like, there. Like, she she's showing a lot. But in the figure, they're very... Like, they are gravity-defying. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're gravity-defying in the game. I don't know how to explain it, but I guess in figure form, it's very 3D. So the boobs are very much like, wow. <laughs> so, like, I'm, like, 15 years old, and I'm getting this figure with, like, these tits. These, mu like, these tits that are, like, up to her neck, you know what I mean? <laughs> My mom was like, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so we do have something to tell us. I just think she's very pretty, Mom. I think she's very pretty. Junon versus Shinra. Before your time. You didn't think all those buildings it, demolished themselves. Lulu hits did different you? in 3D form, anyway, I have to say. I fought in the Republic Army. And let's just say it wasn't pretty. I just think she's a very Her beautiful woman. What can I say? And what you see now is all that remains. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do. And that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. <sighs> like catching some seeds for one. So if we're all done here. This guy is me. I I live for his energy. <laughs> it's the Kutubukiya one. I got it on eBay way back when. Can I teleport over there? I can. Let's do that. from your good friend Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. Yeah, Earth, you tell him. She won't be swindled again. Whew. Good as new. Oh, oh, I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my character's ever looked even half this good. Appreciate it, kids. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So, there you have it. I just... let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. Hell yeah! Let's go! So I can keep the carriage moving. And make sure my birds never get bored again. 
You hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself. Let's go. Ain't she? Yes, yes she is. Listen, I would do anything she asked me today. Listen, what Aerith says, I do. Aerith says jump, I say I hi, hi hi. <laughs> This is strong Yakuza energy. It does, doesn't it? Now the gear is back a business. You can travel between Junon region. Oh, and the grasslands without entering the mines. Oh, great. Speak with the stable hands. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I don't need to go back to the grasslands yet. So let's head on to Junon, shall we? Mm-hmm. Happy wife, happy life. Exactly. I love that she cares so much for chocobos. But of course it makes sense. Even morally questionable things? Yes. Uh-oh. Under Juno. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stomp on. <laughs> it's their friggin' MO. Barrett makes my day every time he speaks. <laughs> he will never give up a chance to shit on Shinra. He will never let a chance to shit on Shinra pass by him. And I respect it. <laughs> oh, stretch. Okay. Oh, I need to do a stretch. Thank you, David. <sighs> I really do need to stretch. I've been sitting here for 11 hours now. Wig on. Cosplay on. Thankfully, to be honest, Eric's cosplay is very, very comfortable to wear. Um, you know, her outfit is like quite uh, easy, but it's it's only her hair that's the issue. Her hair is like very, it can go wrong very easily. <laughs> Make sure my bow's sticking out. The the wig is actually glued to my face. <laughs> I've glued it because if I don't glue it, it kind of like sits out like too far. It looks really bad. So it was slipping back earlier in the stream. So I took it off. I peeled it. I peeled the hair off my skin. <laughs> and then glued it back down. <laughs> this is, this is the, the dark side of cosplay. <laughs> One moment. I know, I feel like I've, I've been playing this for 10 hours and yet. Welcome to Under Junon. Our this, this is all stuff that I've seen before. My name is Rhonda. 
I'm the mayor and but I'm playing all day, guys. every day for the next four days, so <laughs> we shall make progress. Progress will be made eventually. turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it <laughs> well you know what they say doesn't it hurt when taking it off it does it does hurt to take it off <laughs> it doesn't feel good but needs and must Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top <gasps> half a million <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get over her. <laughs> we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Luffy vibes. She's given mad Luffy some vibes. Black suits though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. Mm -hmm. They made a beeline right for the elevator. The Turks. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf, and the same goes for the elevator as well. Mm hmm Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Got it. I'll be on my best behavior. I'm finally yes, I know, right? Don't care what she said. There's gotta be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. They may have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, no profile. Hey, it's this oh, guy again. Made your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. For the fact that Claude just readily poses. Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky. You know, I would expect him to be like, no, no, no. I'm not a model. I wouldn't take photos. Always, I'd welcome tips about other promising spots. This goofball. He's like, yes, you may take a photo of me. Yes, you're right. I am photogenic. True. Many years ago. This stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Hey, you see that trio that took the elevator up top? Oh! Oh, hey there, mister. Queen's Are you blood for someone to play Queen's blood with? Why yes I am. I'd be more than happy to go around or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother, and I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D duo, a team of twins who love Queen's blood. You'll face my Might want to rethink that name. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you got to fork over 3 gil. 3 gil? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Three gill, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll lose the three gill.
Oh, sugar, seriously? 116k retweets in, or tweets in Japan, let's go. I'm not gonna check because I'm worried that maybe they're discussing the ending. Oh shit! I messed up! I wasn't paying attention. Okay. We'll be fine. We still have, we still have a chance. Against D and D. Ah. Oh, the new trailer. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stay off X for now. But damn, it's hard. Kick on my butt. Hmm. It's not over. It's not over. Maybe it is over. Okay, okay. I messed up at the start on this one. I messed up at the start, so I'll try again. I need the bathroom. I do not understand. Sam, like, I, I mean, I kind of understand. I've got a very basic understanding, but it seems a little more in depth than I originally thought. I usually just kind of click on cards and like, see what the optional or what the options are but i'm not i'm not like forming proper Remember, strategies you yet you owe us three gil. i don't really understand the stacking mechanism yet that's the only part i'm kind of confused about is like how i get to three three pawns like how i stack my pawns um these ones are fine we we'll use these ones Like, I want to stack three pawns, but I'm like, ooh, I don't know how. Because I want to use this magic pot, but it's kind of hard to activate. Kids are strong.
I think we're messed up. Oh man, okay. Mm, there's no fixing this. It's over. Minus six kill. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty bad. Yikes. Damn it. Let me check my deck. Maybe I can change my deck. Oh my god, he beat us so bad. Yes, rematch, rematch. Let me check my deck, see if there's something I could put in here that might be a little stronger. Oh, let's put the Fat Chocobo in. Oh, and we also have this card. Um, let me get rid of that one and put in this one. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, whoops. Sweet. Thanks. Ugh. If you lose, Stop you taking my gill, you little again. brats. Okay. Okay. One more round. One more round. Um, maybe get rid of this one. I cannot play any cards. Oh no. I need something. I need something that can just let me. Oh, thank goodness. Still. Did. Did we win? They only have four, right? Because the rest is a draw, so it doesn't count. Ooh, collage! Let's go! Okay, okay. But next, you gotta beat me. Hell yeah. Wait. Another one? Oh, okay. We have to beat both of them. Okay, fair Don't enough. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. Okay, um... I might... Edit my deck a little bit. I need, I need, oh, whoops. Ready to play whenever you are. Sorry. Let me play you. You want to play? Remember, if you lose, you owe us three gil. Matt Minio, welcome. Don't worry, Devin. I'm doing awesome I today. How are you? you? Very much enjoying Rebirth launch day. I mean, I do have plenty that don't require, you know what? I'm never going to. Let me edit the deck. This fat chocobo is never gonna work because I need three pawns for that and I just cannot figure out how to activate three pawns. I need to watch a tutorial. Ready to play? <laughs> Not the in-game one, of course. A YouTube video while I'm doing three other tasks. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you.
Okay, the sooner I win this, the sooner I can go to the bathroom. Let's go. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of that one. Oh, let's get rid of that one for now. Exact same play that I did last time, but uh, we'll see. Ooh. Yikes! That was bad, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. Oh, I can't do anything. Ah! I messed up. Oh no. Damn, this kid's strong. Okay, one more rematch. Then maybe we should come back because I think we maybe need better cards to defeat this guy. His cards are like a lot stronger than ours, like a lot. I'm not just slamming them. Well, I kind of am slamming them in random places, but I'm I am giving it some thought. Not a lot, but a little. Still not really sure what that plus three means. Ooh, that's useful. That's useful. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. 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 Get rid of that one. Nice, nice. Oh no. Oh no! I did so well! Ah! Uh, it was going so well! Damn it! Bruh! It was going so well. Okay, I guess we need better cards to fight this guy. Fair enough. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back, you little brat. You haven't seen the last of me. The card game is actually so fun. I enjoy it a lot. It's pretty good. I'll be back hey, with better cards later. <laughs> Guys, before we continue, I'm going to quickly take a bathroom break. I need to do the loo. I'll be back in a second. Legit, I know, right? I, that one was going really well. And I feel like, okay, if that didn't take it, then maybe it would have been better if I drew a card that was like, Required three of the things, but happy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth launch day, guys! <laughs> the sunglasses, I know. I, you know what? 
I can't put them like inside the hair because the hair is glued to my face. So the sunglasses go over. What do you mean? What do you mean I think I'm cool? I am cool. Does this not scream cool to you? <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> You've worn sunglasses on stream before? I actually bought those sunglasses for Navia and I'm like, well, they work for Earth too now. Oh, there's Chadley. I see that you've made your way to Under Junon. This town sure is have. quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. I'll call a high school teacher, thanks. <gasps> We're just MP cost of spells. Ooh, yes. Maybe unlock Titan now? Yes, I can. Okay, let's try let's try and fight Titan, shall we? Claude, Aerith, Red. The dream team. fight them at like different strengths i'm assuming if you fight them even at the least amount of strength um ooh, ooh, ooh. it will um still unlock him as a summon so i wonder what you get for beating him at the most amount of strength uh-oh Right, still. Thank you for reminding me. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot to see it. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Uh oh, what's he doing? Always been my favorite summon. Uh oh.
Oh, run away, Red. Run away. off me. Quick, quick. Go, go, go. Sentinel stands guard attacks. Yes. Uh oh. How dare you put him down? Put him down immediately, sir. Oh, I haven't done this one yet. better at using her ward shift. Red not use item. Are you not allowed to use items in this? Why cannot? Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Yes! Just a bite. Are you not allowed to use items in VR? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It was an accident, I didn't mean to. She was supposed to use her healing wind. She was supposed to heal us all. I'm a terrible person. Yeah, maybe you're not allowed to use items. On top Lin Titan. Though legendary, his earth-shattering strength was no match for your own. I'm <laughs> sure he'll provide you with steadfast support. You're in good hands now. Hell and yeah. And large ones at that. ATB st increase ATB when staggering an enemy. Yes. Oh, I cannot make it yet. I need more data points. Fair enough. Phoenix? I don't think I'm ready to take on Phoenix yet, but we have Titan, so that's good. What is the purpose? A series of three-person battles? Oh, okay, you get material from doing this. I don't want to do it right now. I can be bothered. We'll do it tomorrow. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating Wait, you want to buy something? Here? Okay. Need some more high potions. Buy another cushion for good measure. It's always good to have. Oh, chakra material. I already own one, so I'll just leave it. Lock up material, item master material, increase effectiveness of items used. Yeah, might come in handy. Precision defense. Improve the functionality of blocking with perfect timing. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's a. Ooh. I'll buy this booster pack. Thank you so, so much. Oh, bless her. Bless her cotton socks. She's not used to having customers, I guess. <laughs> That's sad. Um, let's give. Your boy Claude, the luck up material, because we want to level it up. Mm, precision defense item master. Yes, let's give item master to red. Precision defense, why not? Um, magic efficiency material. Yes, let's give this to Aerith. Okay, perfect. I need more material for Yuffie to steal. Ah, of course. What was I thinking? Equipping the materia on myself? That's ridiculous. We all know who this materia is really for. I'll do this tomorrow. I wanna do a little more main story before we finish up for tonight, so. I'll come back and do more. I'm going to assume that I can do so. Oh, another person to play cards with? Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hope to catch, and a good one too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan, and I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You youngins can thrash all you like. Mm -hmm. but yeah, 11 hours. Oh my god, experience. 11 hours. And I've barely scratched the surface. This is everything that I've seen so far is like stuff I already saw in people's like previews and stuff that they already released. So, uh. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, that one's good. Okay, uh. What should I put away then? Put away this and this. And one of these, because these kind of suck. Oh wait, I need one more. Um, put a flan in there for good measure. Okay, let's try this deck. Mm -hmm. 
Right, a boss fight, true. I almost forgot about it. You bastard. You see what he just did? What the hell? Since when? Since when can you do that? Bruh. You are one bitch. You are a bitch. I hit you, sir. Oh man, my cards suck. Oh, it's over. Oh. Okay, I give up. Start over from the beginning, yes. Um, do you think I need less one? I want this one, I think. Let's get rid of this one. This one seems good. I should take this one. Maybe remove this one, it's kind of useless. And maybe remove this one, and then I need another one that's just one star. This one. Mm, no, I don't need two of it. This one. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, it might be easier now. It's true. Okay, I'll play with these ones. They seem fine. Oh, my circle, or not my circle lenses, my regular lenses are like, ouch. Getting very dry. Can she slap? Haha! -ha. Plus two, plus three. Oh, bro. Oh, give up. I tell you, hauling in a fresh youngster like yourself never gets old. Eh. <laughs> Guess I'll die. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Is 
there anyone that isn't three rank three? This guy, no, you know what? This guy is stronger than the other, the kids. Maybe I should go back and fight those kids. I'm a fisherman, not a businessman. You know what? No, I said I would focus on main story. Let's focus a little bit. I keep getting distracted. I will fight him again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Anybody, please! We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! We got a boss fight to please. lose! get Yuffie so early on. I mean, I'm assuming we get her after this. to the party, this is when things get tough. Do I want to replace Red with Yuffie? I Maybe. I don't know. I really yeah. like playing as Red, but I also really like playing as Yuffie. What should I do? I don't like having too many choices. It stresses me out. Oh, you know, I could really use Barret for this. Barret would be quite useful. Aerith is the only one that can kind of hit him right now. I'm coming! Yeah! Yeah! Ow! Getting up in the air. Come back here. Thank <laughs> you. 
could restart, could restart. Or could accept the challenge. I'm gonna save my synergy ability for... When it's staggered. Oh, let's go. Okay, okay. Now it's the time. Let's go. Firework. Ooh. Ooh. What should I do? Okay, let's do firework with first. Gotcha. Let's finish this. For maximum damage. Make the most of it. And then I'll try and save up for the other one. We hit it pretty hard, we hit it pretty hard. Yeah, it's just getting up in the air that can be kind of... Oh, no! Uh, uh, whoops! Whoops! What happened? Where'd it go? Ew. Um, summon Chocobo and Moogle. Let's go. Have fun. So cute. Um, I'm going to give a a mega potion to Aerith. Okay. Oh god. We'll get you out of there. Uh oh. Quite suffering. This one's for you. Cure Clyde. Uh-oh. Fred, help. It's over. Mm. I'm coming. Oh no! I'll get you out. Sugar of all the people, of all the people, of all the people, please. Just get it right. Get it right, get it right, get it right, get it right, get it right. Aerith, 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 use your little break knife, please. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, we're back. And we're back. We're back in the game. I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried. Were you worried? I was not worried. It's fine. Nothing to be worried about. We are good. We are peachy. Very fitting for Clyde to have that summon, don't you think? Slash. Let's do this. Let's go. Hello. Let me bring. Oh yeah. UV. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Okay, we're in new content. Not Claude teaming up with the dolphin. You want to be Ichiban so bad? Nice work. Let's check on that I know, bless him. 
I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand in the water and play with the dolphin, you know. Breathing again. God, she's so cold. Oh no. Hey yo, I thought this was kind of fun, silly, lighthearted. This is <laughs> this is kind of dark. I mean, I know you will be fine, but my god. There's no time. She's so cold. Oh my god. It's awful to see her like that. I don't like that. Oh my god. Don't just stand there. Help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start. Go, go. Oh no, is this a mini game? From the splinter cell. Splinter cell? They oh yes, Yuffie that. saw them. Left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save her life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Ah! Adorable! Ah! Welcome! <gasps> that guy. Hey, yo! <laughs> that was so red! Oh my god, Baron! What the Fuck! The sass was unnecessary! Per Yuffie. She is a dweeb, but we don't bully. We don't bully here. Oh my god. <laughs> Not Barrett making fun of a child. Let's go. Kids these days, I swear. How now? Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. <laughs> He's a total sass queen. It's true, it's true. Monsters like Gotta that respect have been it. cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Naruto you Rana. guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool. But... <laughs> Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait, you won't be sorry. He changed his Later. chin. <laughs> as soon as he's praised, he's like, oh, she's all right. I know, I know she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm? He loves it. He loves Maybe it. She wants your autograph. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love Barrett. Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. I love it. I love how he changed his chin. He's like, all right, okay, fine, fine. 
You owe me enough. Any new weapons? I have this one. Ooh, I didn't pick this up. Did I miss it somewhere? I must have done. Sold I. Oh, how is it sold I? I didn't buy it yet. E? Or are these gloves? Nani? Why sold I? He does have a soft spot for kids. That's a very good point. If anyone mid fought a Marlene like that, he'd be pissed. Don't be a stranger. I'm looking for a quality harpoon. Special delivery coming in. What do you know? Game and birds are back in business. Brittle houses in the sea air. Pink chipping wood. What does this mean? Oh, it's a it's a bookshop. Um, how do I? How do I get into it though? Oh, up the stairs, I guess. Oh no, that's where the kids are. Hmm? Level three unlocked. Good, good. Team up with your partner in time with the enemy range attack to unleash a counter strike. Yes. Ask your partner to temporary follow up on attacks. Okay. Man, my lenses are so dry and I think the long stream is starting to hit me now, but I don't want to stop because I feel like we finally just got to well, the new content, you, you know? You I feel like we finally started reaching the new content, the post-demo content, only now. in the heroes of the hour i heard about what you did for that girl thank you so much your stay is on us we insist it's the least we can do for you really now then how many we got will four rooms be enough <laughs> oh don't ignore red uh, could you make it five five it is oh everything is comped so if you need anything at all just ask I don't know about you but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's Me nice too. to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It is enough for one day. You're starting to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's just... We just finally reached the new content and I just really want to see it, you know? It's not that I'm pushing myself in the Let's sense go. that like, Oh, I need to keep streaming more. It's more so a case of like... I really want to see what happens next. Hey. So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Shinra Bounties to join Avalanche? Your, I want, I think she wants your autograph. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Oh my Let god! I love Bart so much. He's so adorable, man. Ah, uh, I would like to marry Bart. <laughs> I w I would like to marry him. He's adorable, dude. Oh. Hmm? What is that? Who was that that she's talking to? And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. <laughs> well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Good night, Aerith. Why did... What? Did, why did he have a different voice? Come in. Hello. Sorry to bother you again. But I love you. <laughs> Ooh! Empress's Scepter, we got a new weapon. Hell yeah! about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? The, uh, the church, no, that wasn't the first time! Sure. Fuck, I fucked Reload? Right? No! Oh, so close. No! No! Right. That was fun, wasn't it? Uh, together like that? Reload! Can I reload it? When was the last auto save? Was there an auto save? I fucked up! I fucked up! The last quick save was here after the dolphin. It wasn't that long ago. I'll do it. I'm gonna reload the save. <laughs> I'm reloading the save. I fucked up so bad. There's a timer and it's making me panic. <laughs> the timer is making me panic. Okay, I've been streaming for 12 hours. Give me a, give me a minute. <laughs> You shoved a floor at me, so I did root, so I was like, no, I can't choose the root option, but then I realized that that was wrong, and now I am not upset. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I, I'll just die. I'm sorry. I am going to pass away. I cannot. I cannot. I, it's worth it. It's worth it. I can't. <sighs> okay, remind me to see it frequently, just in case I mess Don't up any more. stand there. Of Help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. You shoved a, sh a floor at me, sounded mean, so I went for the nice option, but then I realized that I fucked up because it's not the first time they met. Now, start. Can skip. <gasps> Can skip. Awesome, okay. No problem, no problem. We're fine. We are good. We are Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. I just, I just can't. Oh, Big fan, L. Take off this cosplay. You don't deserve to wear it. I know. I'm so ashamed. The 
this nerd. This nerd. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter. Skip, skip, skip. Hey, if isn't the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you Remind so me much. to see if <laughs> I need us. to see if more yes, often <laughs> so I don't have to do this world. again. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <laughs> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. Okay, nice one more time. Up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Um, I mean, I know that I know the right answer, but I'm just gonna quickly. I know the right answer, but still, just in case, just in case. It's open. I think so Barrett liked my response team, last time, so I'm gonna stick with that one. With us. Be honest. Your autograph. I wish it wasn't timed. I Wait, really wish it wasn't timed. Your autograph. I need a moment <laughs> to think. Ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Listen, I've been streaming for 12 hours. I can't think that fast. I could feel them slipping away one by one. And the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight I will check. Head. I will check. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. I feel like Claude's at that door being like, you say I talk to you. you seen the I don't recognize that voice. She got another guy friend? Cloud. <laughs> yeah, Red's voice is Who's different. It's very you? strange. Why? Oh. Hmm. He sounds younger? Right. Thought it was someone else. No. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Excuse me. Come in. <laughs> Hello again. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> I, I feel like any time I talk to Aerith from now on, I'm gonna see if. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. I'm gonna check so, and see if I can pause. a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? Yes. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot pause. You shoved a flower in my face. It wouldn't let me pause. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some Don't advice, lie, Cloud. Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. <gasps> She's calling him off. Oh. the bridge. But next time. <laughs> Bro, she called his ass out. She called his ass out. She really said that was for you and only you. <laughs> Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. You got it, Aerith. It'll never happen again. I swear, Queen. I swear. I don't wonder what Shinra's planning up there. I can't believe she acknowledged that. Holy shit. Red, hello. Hey, your voice got deeper again. What's going on? This town. Fish and brine. You don't like fish? Should Shimra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Uh, we'll manage. 
Is that the good one? I don't know. I don't know. It feels like I have fish bones in my nose. I don't know if that was the right one. Does he like me? Okay, he. It, there's a smiley face. He likes me. Okay, he liked that one. My poor nose. Oh, let me pet it. <laughs> he won't let me pet it. He said no. Damn it. Need to get closer. Just about to come find you. Yeah, I. You. Regret what I said in calm. Let's make up. Let's be friends again. Come in. Come on. Let's sort this out. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Uh, oh my god, I don't. Um... Emilio? Should I remember who that is? She could have. Oh no. I think I failed the test. <laughs> I think I failed Sorry. the test. Oh. Oh no! Oh. His family ran the general store. I didn't know that! Man. Right. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all. I didn't remember oh, no. the store guy's didn't name. Recognize him at I don't first. remember that. Really? Yeah. Oh god, I failed the more, test. The She's going to die me. in with him was stunning. Like she could have been a model and You're not interested, are you? Not really. <gasps> I'm happy to listen. So, go ahead. Oh my god. It's okay. Forget it. Clyde, that was rude. That was really was rude. This a test? No, it wasn't. I. That was really rude. Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. Oh. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Yeah, I probably will need a break soon. But for now, for now, we're okay. We're not doing anything too intense. We're just, we're just chatting. You should remember every NPC. <laughs> I can't remember that guy's name. How am I supposed to remember the name of the store clerk? Come on, now. Come on. <laughs> Rest for the night, yes. I ain't reloading for T5, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, we're doing sit ups? Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm getting that Aerith Diet. Come hell or high wind, I'm getting that Aerith Diet. Hello? Oh my god. Come on in, guys. Oh, okay. Guess hey. we're having a meeting in my room. <laughs> okay. 
Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. Listen, listen, I love Tifa and... Yep. I don't want to upset her all the time. I'm going to be nice to her as much as possible. But if I upset her once or twice, and that gives me the edge on the Earth date, I can live with it. Put it that way. <laughs> Which brings me to that. Just once or twice. Just once or twice. I just need that little edge. Just a little. Just a little. HQ. Just a little bit. just didn't understand. But you guys get it. Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? Well, I mean, we've done some shit. That's dark. We ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Come here. She's a delight. She's a delight. Going alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling. Scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man until this, <laughs> I came here and lucky again. Sticking it to the man, let's I go. Rhonda, she offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. Ooh. And guess who the target is? Oh. Oh. Seriously, guess. Um. Just spit it out already. Who else? But a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? Um. And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. I'd love to cosplay Yuffie as well. Stolen from them. This game is and making me want to cosplay Yuffie now. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. Oh. Wow, tell us more. Mm -hmm. She is a okay. delight. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> Wait, what about Bart's autograph? If you manage to get Are we in Resident she's Evil? To find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> Excuse me? <gasps> it's a Roche! I thought it was a chainsaw. Who's that? Listen, that's. Pain in the ass. Let's go. Listen, this is Claude's side piece. <sighs> Who's that? That's another one of my many suitors. <laughs> another one of Claude's many suitors. Listen, Claude just has an effect on people, okay? Red, are you gonna hide up here? Res I respect it. You don't gotta come down. You're just a wee baby. Bro, he be quoting Romeo and Juliet to me? This, he's in love. He is in love. Yeah, um, I'm coming, Roche, but uh, I need to find the way downstairs first. Give me a second. I'm quite tired, Roche. I've been playing this game for 12 hours, Roche. Give me a, give me a minute. Don't forget Elena. Wait, she's here? Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Oh my god. Absolutely certainly makes the heart grow. Sashi booty. Oh my god, did his waist get Did his waist get cuntier? I don't remember his waist being that like Did Roosh put on Did he put on a filter? <laughs> because Something about him is looking extra. He's serving extra today. 
I don't remember him being so. Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think he got blonder. He yassified. He put on the yassify filter. Oh, oh, eh? He's after Aerith. Oh my God, Tifa! <laughs> Tifa was like, um, excuse me. <laughs> I have. I'm having bisexual rumblings. <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. I have got <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. <laughs> He's not my friend. Well, he's kind of my friend. About he's my side here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Oh. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. Then why turn us what in? What if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise, but I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs. Jeez. Okay, I feel like when we go upstairs, we might get locked out of this area, so I kind of don't want to move on without exploring a little bit more. We gotta explore. Maybe we should fight those kids again? Oh my god. Huh? Another girl. I'm looking to throw it on. I was just about to leave port. Oh. Name's Isabel, by the way. Ooh. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, Yo! I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent This fight. music kind of slaps. What do you say? What? I love this bike home. Well, let's fucking go. See him? <laughs> Big Sam. Better batten down the hatches, cause I don't hold back. I w I'll come back later. I'll come back later. I just, I just, I have to do other things first. There's side quests and there's things to do here, and I just, I can't, I can't skip it, cause it's gonna give me anxiety. Oh, Express. No, I won't fight the kids yet. I don't know if I have the brain par to play Queen's Blood. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you guys right now. I'm not sure if I actually have the. Listen, if I am well rested, fed, and feeling good, I'm still not sure if I have the brain par, brain par to play Queen's Blood. But I'm currently tired. Hungry and a little bit tipsy. I don't know if I have. I don't know if I have it in me. <laughs> I don't know if I have the brain par to play Green's Blood right now. It's fine. It's fine. I did this all last time, but I have to redo it because I loaded my seed. You don't have to exactly, exactly get these. Exactly. I don't have the prime power for it normally. But now we have all these added status effects, you know? 
There you go. <laughs> what can I do you for? I really want to go to the next part. I feel so torn. I feel genuinely so torn because there's a big part of me that just wants to keep going. Like, I want to keep going, but at the same time, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I guess we could pick up where we left off tomorrow, but oh my god, I don't want to stop. I like, it's genuine. I really don't want to stop. <laughs> I feel like we're just getting started, you know? Because all of the content that we've gone through is like mostly stuff that I've seen that other content creators were able to post a little bit early. Because some content creators um, went to an event in LA, I think it was, and they shared some content from the first two chapters. And I watched that, so I've seen that. This part, and Nibelheim is part of the demo, so I saw it. I feel like I'm just getting to the juicy stuff. <laughs> So it's hard to like pull myself Don't away, you know. It's hard to be like, hmm, the smart the logical thing to do would be rest. <laughs> but I just I feel like I'm finally Wait, getting to the buy something? the part Here? that I wanted to be oh. at. Addict. I I am an addict. I, and I'm okay with Thank it. I am obsessed with it, and that's okay. Listen, I could be obsessed with drugs, but here I am obsessed with Aerith Gainsborough, so... <laughs> what's worse? But also, at the same time, I don't want to leave under Junon, because if I leave under Junon, then maybe... I Surely I can come back. Anyone in chat, can I come back to this area and take on the oh, people who ride in and stuff? Can I come back to Under Junon if I continue? It's open world, right? I can come back and do these side quests later, right? Should be able to come back, right? I feel like I should. They wouldn't lock you out, right? That's how I feel. Because, like, I can check online, but you should be able to. I feel you should be able to. Has it reached this point, bro? Only you played for 13 hours? No! I'm not the only one! I cannot be. I cannot be. Where's Audrey at? What's, what's Audrey doing? True can see it. I can see it, but I can't. Board. Listen, I want to. I guess I feel like I have the brain power to continue with new story content, but I don't feel like I have the brain power to do side quests and uh, Queen's Blood. To sing what new discoveries Does that make sense? Because story content, I'm watching cutscenes. Maybe I get a battle here and there, but. How she suffers. How she cries out. Yeah, I agree. Are are sort of the new and she's not in chat? She's not in chat. No, no, no! No, but... No, but... Anrik, Anrik was watching Audrey's stream. I just... I want to know where Audrey's at. Guys, go check where Audrey's at right now. Go check what she's at right now. Is she streaming right now? She's still alive, right? Or am I the only one that's still going? <laughs> I'm not... I can't be. Where you save you feet? Oh, she's pretty far. Am I slow AF? Wait, don't answer that. Cause, Kathis, Kathis, stop typing right now. <laughs> Kathis, stop typing right now. <laughs> I see you. I know what you're up to. Has she chosen Tifa or Aerith? I, I'm telling you right now. I know who. Er I know who. 
I know who you... I know who... I don't want to spoil stuff. I know who Audrey wants to choose. And it is not Tifa or Aerith. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I know who Audrey wants to choose. In terms of the gold saucer date. I know who she wants to choose and it is neither Tifa or Aerith. If you lose, you gotta give us three gil, okay? Out of the worry, out of the I female characters, Audrey's you. favorite is Yuffie. But again, I don't want to. I don't want to say spoilers. I also don't think she wants to choose Yuffie either. But I think there's someone else. Nope. But it's kind of spo It's kind of spoilers. I know that there. So, in the original game, you can choose for the gold saucer diet Aerith, Tifa, Yuffie, or Barret. But in this in rebirth it's not just those four and i'll leave it at that and there is a character that i think audrey is going to try and go for and it is not Aerith or tifa i think out of Aerith, tifa you are bad perhaps see if you will be her favorite you want to play or barret but I Don't think there worry, might Devin. be someone else you. that she might choose. But this is my assumption on uh, <laughs> our our line messages, our text messages to each other. <laughs> Not red. I think if Sephiroth was an option, she would definitely choose Sephiroth, but I'm not- I'm- I'm pretty sure Sephiroth is not an option. I kind of wish that Sephiroth was an option, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure he's not. If Sephiroth was an option, I- oh, I wonder if she would choose- but I think she's gonna- I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up, because I might spoil things for you guys. I'll- I'll be quiet. How did I, how did this happen? I didn't mean to do this. How did we end up here? Oh my gosh. Why did I get back here? Find this kid. This wasn't supposed to happen. Should I do this? I'll do this. You bastard. Ooh. No. I said no. I can't do- Oh, fuck my life. I was so excited to use that card, I wasn't really giving it much thought. Restart. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. What happened? Listen, what happened to not having the brain power? The brain power still doesn't exist. The brain power is still not here. And yet here we are. Have I ever told you about my friends and Jill and Genesis allowing me to traumatize? <laughs> Actually, yeah, literally Sephiroth. I hope, I hope that Angeal and, I feel like Angeal and uh, 
Genesis are the only two characters that I actively hope are not involved in this game. Like, just, just, can we just leave that? It wasn't until I replayed Crisis Core Reunion that I was like, I was like, why is Angia like a weird, a weird, why? Why is he a weird angel dog thing? <laughs> what is going on? No, you bitch. Oh, you're a piece of shit. Oh, you are a piece of shit. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I hate you. One more. Just, just leave them in the past where they belong. Oh! <laughs> oh God! I, I don't, I, I can, I, I genuinely cannot, guys. <laughs> My brain's not all there right now. at all in Minecraft. I give up. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hey, that's three so up. few moments. <laughs> I keep giving this kid my gill for no reason. Literally no reason. We're at the 13 arm mark. <laughs> Doshi. Doshi. <gasps> I know that what the right answer is, guys. I know what the right answer is, but I'm just curious to see what happens next. Just okay. Listen, 15 more minutes. Let's let's just see where this next quest takes us. I just want to see, and then I will stop. I, I'm just gonna talk to Priscilla. Oh, hey you guys. I'm just gonna talk, talk to Priscilla to real quick. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. That's all. Sure, I'd be happy to. She's adorable. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose the ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is... How are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then... Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? I apologize on behalf okay, of my grumpy boyfriend. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! Cute, 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 cute! Ah! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Alright then, now what? Priscilla looks adorable now, in this game. Oh my Dolphin gosh. To get you up. I like her voice as well. Be a cinch. Never trust dolphins, okay. why? Which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written <laughs> over it, <Murph. laughs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Too cute. 
good to go. You'll not be able to return to Under Juno for some time. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Just let me know. Okay. <sighs> I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it, but this is probably a good time to stop, isn't it? We've been streaming for 13 hours so far. <laughs> we have been streaming for 13 hours. What time is it in Japan right now? Oh, oh it's only 10 p.m. Okay, guys. I, you know what? I will finish up here. I'll have dinner. And then I'm going to get up early tomorrow. And we are going to pick up again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are right. 13 hours. In cosplay, no less. It, you, I am going to be 100% honest with you guys. It feels like it's been five hours or something it doesn't feel like it's been 13 hours at all it really it really truly doesn't um so tomorrow i'm gonna be waking up probably around 8 a.m so i'm probably gonna start i'm going to aim to start the stream between 9 a.m jst and 10 a.m jst um much like today i'm just gonna wake up get have breakfast get ready and then start up the game um, so yeah, somewhere between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. JST, um, pretty much the same time that I started today. I'm gonna finish up here, go get myself some lunch, or not lunch, it is dinner time, it is 10 p.m. I'm gonna get myself some dinner, and then I'm gonna be back again tomorrow. 12 hours from now, essentially yes, essentially I'm gonna be back here 12 hours from now. If not, a little bit sooner. <laughs> Raid Audrey? Ooh, um, I would love to raid Audrey. Can... Krim is not here. Ooh, look. Can you help me raid? If you guys don't know, I actually cannot raid. Because I can't log into my Twitch from Streamlabs. I need someone else to initiate the raid for me. I'll see if I can get Luke's attention. He's playing, um, Helldivers? He's playing Helldivers right now, so I don't know if he's going to see my message. But I need either Krim or Luke to help me with that. Yeah, it's so annoying. If, 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 Luke, oh, you know what? Hold on, maybe I can do it if I log into Twitch on PC. Hold on, give me a second. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, oops, I can hear myself. Ew, gross. I can hear myself. Nasty, nasty, disgusting. Or slash read. What's Audrey's name on Twitch? Aitaikimuchi. No? What do you mean? It's, it's not an invalid username. I literally copied and pasted it. What? I I copied and pasted it. Hello? Hello? Can you help us read Audrey? Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Never mind, Lee. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, guys. We're gonna go over and read Audrey. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream today. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna be back again tomorrow morning right away and we're gonna continue with the rest of our Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. And I'm gonna be here in a new, slightly more casual cosplay. So please look forward to it. I will see you guys in the morning. Until then, uh, stay safe, be good, enjoy the rest of your night. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Good night.